Bro, I'm sitting here trying to read Euro's qualifying rules, and I feel like I'm having an ice pick lobotomy. I don't know if this is an extreme. If you've been, I feel like there should be, you know, those lawyer commercials. Maybe this is just an American thing where, like, you get those lawyer commercials and they're like, if you've been victimized by this, you're entitled to financial compensation. I feel like I'm being victimized by trying to read Euro's qualifying rules because they're like subtly different than they were four years ago. But they're absolutely abusing my brain right now. Oh my goodness, they're abusing my brain. Gabriel Rosendo, thank you for the prime. Scarp, thank you for the tier one. Prince, thank you for the 22 months. Protein Profit, thank you for the prime. And Brew, thank you so much for 21 months. Monitor your credit. Good tip. Thank you for the year. Medical Car, love you. Thank you for the 21 months. Nigeria Drew Lesotho. Oh, we're talking about that. War Given, thank you for the 41 months. Brother, RCB, thank you for the 16 months. Bad Chemicals, thank you for the five gifted subs. You just made five people's days. You are awesome, bad chemicals. I think you're good chemicals. Yankovskade, thank you for the 23 months. Barso, thank you for the 10. Tom Hawkins, thank you for the 13. Rain, I appreciate the 14 months. Fraudulent hairline. It's not fraudulent. I'm not defrauding anybody. I'm actually very honest about it. There are a few Premier League footballers, though. You know, they got a fraudulent hairline. I'm not naming names. Trappy Gilmore, thank you for the 19 months. Ben Chats, thank you for the 11 months. Schumer, thank you for the 16 months. Moses, thank you for the 22. RTW, thank you for the prime. Daza, 40 months, Daza. 40. Goodness. Strider, thank you for the 15 months. All right. I, uh, seriously, uh, Bad Chemicals, thank you for the five gifted subs. Thank you, everybody, for supporting the channel. Thank you for the uh, the, the, the the tier ones, the the primes. Thank If you're using your Twitch Prime, thanks for spending $5 of Jeff Bezos' money. <gasps> right. Okay, guys, Eric Dyer level, hey, watch it. That man has an excellent square of a forehead, and it takes one to know one. So I, I respect it. Now, I'm trying to understand how qualifying works for the Euros. Um, I thought I did. And then I realized I didn't. Right. So like. It's just all very uh, it's all very complex. Um, and I was trying to do some light reading. But like I said, then I felt like I was getting an ice pick lobotomy. So uh, you want to know what I so so a lot of things have happened to me in the last five days. I'm just going to catch you up real quick. Uh, the U.S. soccer flew out me and some other creators to. Uh, some like soccer creators to Austin for the U.S. national team game uh, against Trinidad and Tobago. Uh, music's a bit loud. You're right, it is. I'll turn it down a little bit. It's actually way too. I, oh, I have it turned down in my ears. That's why I thought it was. Um, I thought it was at the normal level, but I had it turned down in my ears. So you guys are never wrong. Um. But yeah, they, they brought us to Austin, which was cool, right? right? Like feeling, g getting to feel bougie and be like, like that's neat. That's a fun experience. Um, yeah, that being said, I, all I did was land and then I walked to the McDonald's across the street from the O2, which is the stadium in Austin. Um, so it wasn't that fancy. Uh, I did, however, marvel at how inexpensive it was to get a Big Mac meal and three hamburgers uh it, you know it's a lot cheaper than new york um yeah that was I, I went with the extra big order because it was one of those like i hadn't eaten all day because i'd been flying and i had no idea how far the flight was from new york to austin it's like almost four hours so i wasn't prepared uh and then you know i showed up and got the yeah you know, i got the big mac meal i got three hamburgers i'm like this is great and then i ate most of it and i was like i want to explode um First time ever joining the live stream. What's up, ordinances? How are you? How many goals San Marino scoring today? More than zero, baby. Believe. Believe in the process. Paz, thank you for the 11 months. Fallen Dan, thank you for the tier one. Obo, thank you for 25 months. Goodness. Sebadan, thank you for the six months. So then, of course, the United States is playing in the Nations League quarterfinal, which is particularly important because if you advance to the Nations League semifinal, then you get to go to Copa America. Right, so this is like, this is important. 
right? Because the United States won its Nations League group, so it's in a great position because all it or it didn't win its group, but like basically the United States was the seeded team. Oh, bust the net. Thank you for the raid, dude. And so it is playing Trinidad and Tobago. Now, if you are not familiar. If you are not familiar. Let me see if I can find a picture. I'm going to find a picture before I, I show you. That famous Christian Pulisic picture. You know the one I'm talking about? That Christian Pulisic picture that just lived like that one. That one right there. That's in Trinidad and Tobago. America's Vietnam, besides literal Vietnam, is this. Like, it actually is that. Trinidad and Tobago was at the World Cup in 2006, and it got a point, but it didn't score a goal. And that's because Trinidad and Tobago was on a golden generation. 100% Trinidad and Tobago was on a golden generation. But they're not now. Right. If you look at the Trinidad and Tobago starting 11 compared to the Trinidad and Tobago starting 11 in 2006, I'm a CONCACAF boy. I big up nations when they deserve to be big up. Trinidad and Tobago is not very good right now. They have got to be very happy with the fact they made the Nations League quarterfinal. But for some reason, yeah, Shaka Heaslop and Kenwin Jones aren't walking through that door. All right. Kelvin John, what, that wasn't his first name. Sterling John, that was his first name. Not John Sterling, no. What? What was the guy's name? The striker they had. Trinidad and Tobago striker John. Stern John. Stern, not Sterling. Stern John. Freaking awesome name. Now, that dude, at the time of the World Cup, was playing at Sunderland and Southampton. Like, they had guys in 2006. You don't make the World Cup without a few dudes, right? You got to have some dudes, right? Anyways, they don't have those dudes right now, right? They might have them in the future. I, to be honest, I'm buying a ton of stock in their left back because he looked really good. I got to watch him in person for 90 minutes. Their left back was good. And then, of course, for some reason... I'm there. I'm like, well, if we lose, right, because we got to win. We have to win. Because if you win, then you know, we have to go play in a way leg in Trinidad and Tobago. You don't want to have to win there because the field's going to be bad and it's just a weird away day, right? So you got to win here to get to Copa America. Please, you got to win this game. Also, I'm there, right? This is the first time U.S. soccer has been like Zealand. And I'm like, really? <clears throat> And so, of course, first 80 minutes, nobody scores. And I'm sitting there like, and this is a siege. The, the, the whole game is a siege. I mean, like catapults, siege towers, right? The ball went over the halfway line like three times. Matt Turner could have not been there and we probably still would have gotten the same result in the match he could have not been there battering ram i wish like literally just passing around a shell it was like a shell game it looked like a defensive drill i mean seriously like even though they had one shot i don't think the, you know they probably didn't deserve one shot that being said, I have so much respect for those dudes on Trinidad and Tobago because I'm leaving out one important factor. They got a red card in the 37th minute. It was a fair red card. It was an incredibly stupid challenge on a yellow. The first yellow was pretty soft, but you can't slide a dude from behind when you're on a yellow. And so he got sent off for the 37th. And they held on and just battled it out until like the 80th minute. And then we finally scored, and my relief was palpable. I, I mean, 
I would have never dodged the allegations. I would have never dodged the allegations. Okay, if Trinidad and Tobago played Gibraltar, they'd beat them like 7 nothing, right? Like, I mean, there, there are levels to bad teams here. And Gibraltar's on another level. Like, Trinidad and Tobago at least has professional players, right? And they've been to the World Cup, for crying out loud. Just because they're not in a golden generation, right? The starting striker for Gibraltar's a cab driver, right? The starting striker for Gibraltar is like the dude, after you stay in Gibraltar, he comes in and cleans the hotel room, right? Like that, there are levels. And if you think I'm making that up, I'm not. Because the starting striker for the Lincoln Red Imps, who I can only assume is where Gibraltar would be drawing their actual starting striker, because Lincoln Red Imps are one of the biggest clubs in Gibraltar. Again, I have no life. I know this stuff. And they Lincoln Red Imps actually beat Celtic in a in a European qualifier. They didn't win the tie, but they won a game. Like they won the first match in Gibraltar, like one nil. And there was a Scottish journalist that had flown down to Gibraltar to cover the game and he got in the cab at the airport which if you don't know the airport is like right at the entrance of the country and then you drive into the mountain um uh, this is one of the places in the world i've been able to go and there's only one stadium and so he takes you to the hotel and you can see the stadium and he's like oh yeah you know i'm 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 covering this game like are you gonna go to the game like he's talking to the cab driver and the cab driver was literally on the team so he was playing at Koi. He's like, yeah, I'm on a game. I'm going to go to the game. And he's like, oh, that's cool. Like, do a lot of people on, the, you know, he's doing n normal reporting stuff. Uh, and he's like, you know, like, <laughs> do a lot of people go to the game? Do people really care? And they're like, yeah, I think, you know, people are following. <laughs> and eventually it like comes out that the guy driving the cab for this journalist from Scotland is on the tree, oh, like on, on the team. And so when I joke about like the starting striker for Gibraltar is a cab driver, I'm not, that's, it's not a joke, right? And that's what makes how bad San Marino is that much more amazing because San Marino loses to that team, <laughs> but they're on the come up. San Marino is on the rise. I'm convinced the amount of attention San Marino is getting is fueling a certain confidence to change that, right? Reese, thank you for the 44 months. And then the whole stadium clap. No, I mean, Schuber, that, that's like an actual story. The journalist put it in the story. Um, current Gibraltar captain's a 40-year-old who works in the Gibraltar customs office. Exactly. I mean, this is like what I'm talking about here, right? Like, they're not professional players. Like, you pro like you could take Gibraltar's national team and put them in the National League South, and it'd be like, it'd be a good contest, you know? Like, that's the level that we're talking about. And then they just played France, right? You've got Bobby, right, who just had a pint down at the pub like three days ago. A pint! And he's got Killian Mbappe flying down on him. Killian Mbappe's pinky toe is worth more than the entire national team of Gibraltar. I wonder, can we break that down? Can we get, like, a... What's that? What's the equation? A pair of Killian Mbappe's underwear sold at auction is worth more than Gibraltar's entire national team. So it's not impressive that they beat them 14 to nothing. They probably should be able to beat him by more. Like, it's probably a victory. Used or not used? Definitely used. All right. You heard about Azerbaijan having the wrong anthem before their game? Dude. Dude. No, they didn't. Surely not. Surely they didn't. No, no, no. Reuters. Reuters would cover it. Anthem. No, oh, continue without supporting us. I don't support you. The night got off to a bizarre start. When the, how do I even mix this up? When the Swedish national anthem was played instead of that of Azerbaijan to bemuse looks from the visitors and no shortage of embarrassment from home officials. 
Sweden? Dude, what? Okay, are they in like the same group at least? They're like, oh, dude, I clicked on the wrong file. Sorry. I clicked on the wrong file in the iTunes there. My bad. Oh, didn't see you there. Sorry, man. Yes, they were. They're in the same group. That was, that's totally what happened. That's so totally what happened. There's one dude in the stadium who's working the audio. I know this. I actually used to have this job. All right, I worked for the New York Yankees minor league team in Tampa. And when Yankees were playing spring training in Tampa, which is like their preseason tour, baseball teams always have it in the same place. So I used to work for the Yankees. And I was like 17 years old, and I was in charge of the audio that you heard in the whole stadium. That was my job. I was playing all the music, all the... Like, that was me at 17. And so I can tell you for a fact... This dude's sitting there looking at a folder that says anthems and literally just clicked on the wrong one. Like, there is a folder on that computer that says, like, <laughs> Euro qualifying anthems, and he just clicked on the wrong one. Somebody forgot to tell that teenager, right, that they were playing Azerbaijan, <laughs> not Sweden, or he just wasn't paying attention for a second, or somebody mislabeled it, and it's not even that guy's fault. He clicks on the Azerbaijan file and somebody just labeled it wrong, right? Like, let's be honest. Is, is much like, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, uncanny. Thank you for the tier one, dude. Badra Lords, thank you for the tier two for 22 months. How you doing? As much as I would love to dump on this guy and be like, how could you possibly make that mistake? I want one of you that is not Aziri to tell me if you could pick the Azerbaijan national anthem out of a lineup. One of you. And if you say you could, you're probably lying to yourself, right? I could do it if it's my, it's not, that's not his job, bro. It's not his job. His job is to run the audio in the stadium. For all we know, somebody mislabeled the file. I think as somebody that did this job for the New York Yankees, the simplest explanation is most often true. Somebody mislabeled the file. It says Azerbaijan in the anthem. Yeah, but you, you make, you think that's easy. I don't know. I've never heard. I, I probably heard the anthem before because I'm just a sucker for international windows. But, you know, they say it with an accent. And this happens in all sorts of languages. They say something in an accent. And you're like, bro, I haven't heard it. They played the Sweden anthem to pay respect to what happened in Brussels. But they instead first played the Swedish instead of the Aziri anthem. So it was a mislabeled. This dude actually kind of messed up. Here's my here's the question this doesn't so that he was it was supposed to be in the other order. Just listen to it. It's a head bob. Okay, well now we got now we gotta listen to the Azerbaijan national anthem. What do we got? What you got for us? I'm expecting a bop. Azerbaijan national anthem. Anthem. Two minutes, 23 seconds. I couldn't possibly be bothered, but lay it on. Holy God! Jesus! The hell, man? Ow! <laughs> so, what the heck? That was a fucking that was a jump scare. Like 15 seconds into the video, I'm like, oh, where is it? Well, I guess I just can't hear it. Oh, is the video broken? And then right when I... Okay. <clears throat> Here's the anthem of Azerbaijan. Hold on to your helmets. Uh, what do we got here? See, that's the Swedish anthem. That would have been a really funny joke. No, this is actually the anthem of Azerbaijan.
This has got kind of like a somber tone to it, you know? Hey, Fred, thank you for the 23 months. This does feel a little bit like Darth Vader's going to he's going to walk out, you know? Uh. Yeah. What? Hail Ginger, thank you for the 26 months. Lambo. Oh, get it. This is a good anthem. It's got a little bop to it. Lord knows is probably saying some absolutely heinous stuff while this beat's dropping. It's like, as with Bishon, we'll conquer the world. Anthems from this part of the world usually go, they're just flagrant. Ooh, great symbols. Oh, and again, give me one more. Oh, yes. Oh, the fourth. Yes. Oh, it's a sick anthem. Oh, okay. I can understand why they were upset that that didn't get played, you know? I totally get why they were upset that didn't get played because that is, I, I, I would need that to get me ready to play. So for those that didn't hear the story, apparently they played the Swedish anthem instead of the Azerbaijan anthem before the match. That's the Azerbaijan anthem. So that was sick. Yeah. Go rank all the anthems. <laughs> I wonder what the actual physical time it would take to listen to every anthem. That would be a really funny video, ranking the top 200 anthems. Oh. Uh, the, the U.S. anthem is good. The U.S. anthem's a banger. I, I like the U.S. anthem. Around five hours, probably. Maybe if you, like, lined them up and listened to all of them straight. Now, great anthems, Scotland and Wales both bangers everybody loves the italian one the italian one is like we are marching into battle vibes a lot of uh, dude okay maybe my favorite anthem entrance of all time oh canada like it just drops immediately it is a big drop like, there is a huge beat drop at the beginning of the Canadian National Anthem. It goes so hard. Oh, Canada. Well, that's it. You just sing that over and over again. It's freaking awesome. The funny thing is, like, most people love their anthem. In the U.S., we hate most things. The U uh, most, most U.S. people will be like, yeah, the anthem's kind of a banger. The beat's pretty sweet. The words are like, yeah, screw England, you know. <laughs> but um uh the uk like like the uk is not a fan of its own anthem um first time on stream all the way from nigeria oh well i am so sorry because that was what i meant to start the stream talking about today nigeria is cooked nigeria is cooked i don't know if you guys have been on twitter and i don't know the last 45 minutes when I started up a little tweet storm. But Niger I'm talking about Ni the Nigerian national team. We let them cook. They blew up the stove. All right. We let them cook. They blew up the stove. Let me lay it on you. All right. Nigeria. In a qualifying group where the two best teams are Benin and South Africa. Nigeria's first two games are against Zimbabwe and Lesotho. So this has got to be like four points minimum. Because in Africa, you got to win your group to automatically qualify for the World Cup. Nigeria starts 
starts at home against Lesotho. And if you're thinking, what is Lesotho? You're not alone, right? It is an entirely landlocked country that seceded from South Africa, but is entirely surrounded by South Africa. It is a country with not a lot of people, even less resources for its national federation, and literally no footballing history worth mentioning in the national stage. That being said, they went to Nigeria to God's will, Akpabio International Stadium, which, yes, I'm reading off the screen. No, I don't know that off the top of my head. And they drew Nigeria. Not only did Nigeria draw its opening game, it was losing in the second half to Lesotho. Hey, where do you know this song from? I, uh, uh, I've been, uh, wait, sorry. I actually was watching this movie the other day. And if you're like, why do I know this song? I'm going to go back because I actually added this song to this playlist like a week ago because I was watching a movie and I'm, I'm going to hide it. And then I'll pull up literally an image and you'll be like, now I know where I know this song from. That scene. It's from that scene. And I was like, dude, this song is sick. It's from that scene. And if you've, if you've, you know, if you've watched the Harry Potter movies or you've read the books probably and you had this scene, you know, it's from that scene. Which I think is actually one of my favorite scenes in the whole, uh, the whole show, the whole uh, set of movies. I think it's a great scene. You can do exclamation point song and always hear what the uh, what the song is. It's not in the book. Oh, dude, I just outed myself as not have. I I don't read. I just outed myself as not being. I, I outed myself as not being able to read. Yeah, you are. You guys probably already knew that. More tag. Thank you for the prime. Now Nigeria is cooked though. What were we? <laughs> Sorry, I was just, I had, because I had a similar moment. So, Nigeria, Lesotho, they're losing in the second half at home. They managed to draw, which, like, if you don't draw this match, I think you just fire the entire coaching staff on the spot. I know there's no plane to get onto because you're playing at home, but just pretend there is. Take them to a tarmac and fire them so that you can fire them for not getting on the plane, like like before getting on the plane, even if there's not a plane. So then we fast forward a couple days, and you're like, oh, wow, that sucks for Nigeria. Surely they're going to sort it out. Bro. Nigeria has 200 million people, right? It made the World Cup every single time in a year that started with a two. 2002. Two th I think it made every World Cup since 1994 until the last one. John Ito. What were the stats? Oh, let me help you. They were losing in the second half again. They were losing in the second half again. <laughs> again. At halftime, they were down one nothing at Zimbabwe. Now, granted, granted, Zimbabwe is better than Lesotho. Zimbabwe is capable of making it to an African Cup. They have professional players up and down the team that play for actual teams that play in the African Champions League. They are better than Lesotho. And in a vacuum, a draw away to Zimbabwe, you're like, ah, oh, not a great result. But it's like drawing away to Albania, right? And sometimes you're just like, all right. And Albania is going to the Euros because they got a really easy group. So good for them. 
Right, but you're like, we pro you know, if you're France and you go to Albania and you draw, you're like, all right, we were probably better than them, but we just didn't get the result. It's the fact that they drew Lesotho at home and then drew Zimbabwe away, and now you're looking at the standings of Nigeria's group, and you're just like, dude, they're not going to make it. Africa has nine qualifying spots, right? South Africa is going to get the automatic one because it's not going to lose or draw to Lesotho because South Africa is hopping mad because South Africa got screwed out of a World Cup spot last time they, by, by a very controversial refereeing decision in their playoff with Ghana. Very controversial. Like, not a playoff, but like their final group stage match against Ghana where they should have probably won that game. But, oh. So South Africa's coming in with a good team not just because I'm managing their MIFM save, a good team. And then the, 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 the next best team is supposed to be Benin. They've only played one match. They lost to South Africa by a goal. So, look, I can't count out the fact that Benin or Zimbabwe is going to get something done. Although Zimbabwe showed up and drew to Rwanda. Only the top spot is automatic. Second, you go into, like, one of those tables, bro. It's only two matches in. Look, I'm telling you. You draw... The easiest match in this... They started... They started... They started qualifying with the easiest match at home against Lesotho, and last. they didn't three, win it. If you're not sounding the alarm after that, this is this is France, right? I'm trying to think of like an equivalency. This is France starting qualifying at home against the Faroe Islands and drawing. And you go, wait a hold on a second. Right? Like if you're talking about relative importance to the like, you know, Nigeria's winning Africa Hello, Cup of Nations. Esteban. It is the up until Congo, failing to make it to the 2022 South World Africa. Cup. Would this was the longest the tenured World Cup Morocco representative of Africa. Division? From 1998 to 2018, they made every World Cup. And they finally missed in 2022 because they got knocked out in the playoff by Ghana. Honestly, because their goalkeeper made a horrible mistake and they gave up an away goal. Nigeria was very close to the World Cup, but they didn't make it. And now you're looking at a world where it is very possible that they don't make it again. Okay, so all but one, Der Jeremy's. I forgot the stat. It's all but one if they didn't go in 2006. Because they went in 98, 2002. They were definitely 10, 14, 18. Our boy is alive in North Korea. Yeah, don't worry. I was tracking that. So that's why Nigeria is in trouble. Long way to go, right? This qualifying group will not conclude until 2025. So I'm going to be a completely different person. By the time I'm going to be in a completely different phase of life by the time this qualifying group ends. But it is, which is almost worse because Nigeria has to sit there and go, God, what happened for like six months? Like this group doesn't end for two years, but not off to a great start. Certainly not. You know who else isn't? By the way, and this, as an America fan, you know, as a fan of the Estados Unidos, right? There's one thing that I was obviously going to enjoy a lot, and you probably knew that this was coming. Oh, Lord. I think I just clicked it off again. Did I? Hey, can I find CONCACAF, please? There you are. So, CONCACAF's Nations League quarterfinals are going off. And, you know, that's fun. I love that. Um, the Nations League quarterfinals, Panama against Costa Rica. Costa Rica is not good. I have no idea how they beat Spain or whatever. They got smacked at home by Panama. And we beat Trinidad and Tobago. Just ignore when the goals were scored. But we did win that 3-0, which was very fun to go to. And I'm happy we won so that I can go back without feeling shame. Um, and also they gave me a jersey, which was cool. I Zealand! Yeah! 
I'm really an easy guy to please, aren't I? Uh, I, I did see... <laughs> so I was sitting there. I was sitting there. It was after the game. And I don't know if you guys know this, but I've made two videos about the Berhalter Reina situation. And while I think it was, you know, I'm not like working for the New York Times here, but I do think that it was, you know, I like solid journalism, right? I read the report, right? But I also had opinions on the matter and they weren't subtle. And so I'm hanging out there after the game and we're like down on the field, just, you know, I'm basically salt bay at this point but I was trying not to get in anybody's way. And like, I, <laughs> and Gio is out there signing autographs, right? And I'm like, okay, I don't know him. I'm not going to talk to him. Totally fine. He's just standing there signing autographs for like the kids that come down to the front row. And then I see his mom. I see his mom walking down the steps, you know, making her way to Gio just to say hi. I bolted. I didn't bolt. I just turned around. But I was like, look, it's so funny because do I stand by the videos I made? Absolutely. Right? But I am sure that Danielle Reyna is a more nuanced person than that. And she was just defending her son, you know? And do I really want to deal with that situation? No. Am I a coward? Absolutely. Do you want to deal with that situation? I don't even know if she's seen the video. She probably hasn't. She probably doesn't even care. But I was just standing there like, I saw myself ending up on like the front of Bleacher Report, getting my shoot out in the front row of like the, you know, like after the match, she's just laying into me like, you! And I'm like, It was, yeah, it was one-sided social awkwardness. It was one-sided social awkwardness. It was. It was one-sided social awkwardness. I was, I was socially uncomfortable. It was all my own doing, and she probably hadn't even seen the video. Would have been good publicity. I'm not one of those TikTokers walking around with a bodyguard <laughs> trying to be like, well, any news is good news, you know? I would rather meet the Reynas in a nice like ballroom setting and be like, Hey, no hard feelings. No hard feelings. Do you acknowledge you probably shouldn't have done that? Oh, you do. That's wonderful. We can move together. We can move forward together as human beings. Okay. <laughs> in my mind, that's how that would go. You know, probably not. I mean, people make videos and stuff about me, and I hold grudges all the time. So I like, I could, I totally get where she's coming from. But I still, the video, the video was right. The videos are right. She shouldn't have done all that stuff. But it was still just funny to see her in person. I was like, oh, <coughs> oh dude, dang it, ah, blood thinks he's suave. Hey, man, I'm pretty smooth. No, probably not. But you know, in my head. After the fact, I can come up with what the conversation should have been. And that's what matters. I'm going to take Mombot as a bodyguard. Yeah. Sorry. So, on Friday, the other two Nations League quarterfinals happened. And you will never guess what happened. No, not on Duras. Dude, at least lose to like Panama, man. They got dos aceroed by Honduras. So now Mexico has to win. They're down two goals going to an Azteca that is going to be wanting to like storm the field before the game in protest. This is going to be a violently angry 
Azteca that they're going to be playing in. <laughs> and they are going to have to try and tune that out and win by multiple goals or else they're screwed. Right? That game is on Tuesday. And if you want to watch some drama, because if, okay, let me give you a hypothetical. Let, 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 let me give you a hypothetical. You have to get to the Nations League semifinal to qualify for Copa America. That's how it works now. Now, Copa America and Mexico both just assumed that was going to happen. But if you don't, Honduras will have a great time in Copa America, man. Have a great time. I'm going to pull up the qualifying because I know there's some type of playoff thing that goes on. <laughs> Bro, I'm sorry. Wait. Okay. Right. Dude. Out of the four teams that made it to the net, like, so we got a buy in the Nations League, and so did, so did Mexico, so did Canada, so did Costa Rica. <laughs> and then there was this qualifying to see who would get to play in the Nations League quarterfinal against the seeded teams. And Honduras got the least points out of the four teams that made it. They're literally the worst team. Out of the four, under us, for those that don't know, because they've made World Cups, like, I think in 2018 they were there. They're not good now. No, they weren't there in 2018. No, well, they were there in 2018. They made it to the Intercontinental in 2022 and got rocked. Was it 2014? What did they do in 2018? They just miss everything. Because they made it to the Intercontinental playoff in 2022, I think dot and got blasted or was that 2018 because they play it was 2018 oh they got destroyed by australia oh they got run because australia played syria in the dude my brain is just a bunch of useless facts in no particular order so australia played syria in the asian playoff and then it played on duras in the intercontinental playoff in 2018 so that was the same year that they played syria and on duras and australia ran on duras ran them maddie ice thank you for the 20 months brother i'm not a squirrel thank you for the 27 months i appreciate you so anyways under us they might have a very young team like i saw somebody in the chat said they are probably moving on to the next generation because the generation they had last time was not up to the Honduran standard they've not been nearly as good as they were in 2010 2014 as the you know the past couple cycles they're not nearly as good but they did just beat mexico so the rest of the qualifying you go into a playoff. Oh, God. Well, so who are the losing teams? It'd be Costa Rica, Trinidad and Tobago, hopefully, Mexico, and then Jamaica or Canada. Bro, they better be begging for Trinidad. They better be begging for Trinidad and Tobago. Because Mexico, Canada, Costa Rica. If you just lost to Honduras, all three of those teams are better than Honduras. <sighs> oh, boy. What was the first leg of uh, oh, Canada 1-2-1 one, one, and they're at home? Dude, what is Jamaica doing? Seriously, what is Jamaica doing? Don't underestimate TNT, bro. I, I will. They they just don't have any. I, I know it took the US 80 minutes to score on them, and they'll be tough to crack, and they play really organized, and they play disciplined, they play tough, but they just don't have any like explosiveness at all. Like Trinidad and Tobago's currency as a national team right now is well, we're tough. Jamaica should have won. It just can't. F How can they not finish, dude? Who So who started for Jamaica in their first match against Canada? Because they're trying to get to Copa America. Now, I would love 
love to see Jamaica in Copa America. I think that would be freaking awesome. And Jamaica's good enough to get there, but who is their starting strikers? Who are their strikers? Sigmund, Kel Antonio, Bailey dropped a 5.4. Leon! Where's uh, Kamar Roof also? Don't underestimate Canada. I know what Canada's got in the bag, but Jamaica's got, like, guys. Jamaica has some serious guys. Also, and this cannot be overstated, Jamaica's goalkeeper is a lot better. Not a little, a lot. Milan Borian, love the vibe. Andre Blake, very good. Very good goalkeeper. Like, always arguably best goalkeeper in MLS. At one of. Fonzie playing striker? Yeah, why not? You know, it's like, it's one of those things where you're just like, okay. Like, <laughs> Alonzo Davies is just like, you know, arguably the most talented, inarguably the most talented Canadian player. We'll just stick him up top. But where, where's Roof? Was he on the bench? Subs. Um, is Kamar Roof hurt? <laughs> Rangers fan here, he's always injured. All right, fair. But seriously, you've got Brentford's Ethan Pennick. You've got Andre Blake, who I regard incredibly highly. Dexter limbakisa has got great athleticism. I love Dexter Limbakisa. Leon Bailey, Bobby de Cordova Reed, Mikhail Antonio, and this guy's playing in France. Shamar Nicholson, a Clermont foot. They got guys. That's, that's going to be an excellent second tie. That's probably the only, like, even, like, out of all four quarterfinals, well, I, Panama, Panama, Costa Rica is supposed to be even, too. But Canada, Jamaica is a higher level of even but, uh, than those two. Canada and Jamaica can play. Canada and Jamaica can play. So this will be a very exciting Tuesday evening. You got Canada, Jamaica to get to the semifinal, qualify for Copa America. Be huge. It would be absolutely huge for Canada to get into Copa America. Like, it would be massive. And then Mexico playing for its life at home. They got to win by two goals at least against Honduras in order to get through or else they're going to a playoff. And, dude, if they go to the playoff and they get one of these two, I think they lose. I really do. I think Canada or Jamaica would be the favorite. Mexico's in such bad form. Am I following U-17 World Cup? Not as much as I should. But this is fun. U.S. plays tonight, I believe. And uh, as long as the U.S. can avoid losing by three, we're okay. Uh, same with uh, Panama. Panama should be headed to Copa America. They blew the doors off Costa Rica in the first match. Which brings us to today, which I am so excited about. Oh, by the way, somebody asked about Gambia. I literally spent 10 minutes hyping up Gambia. <laughs> I spent like 10 minutes hyping up Gambia on, on stream last week. I have terrible news. I'm never beating the allegations because Gambia showed up in their first match and lost to Burundi. First match, brother. First match of qualifying, they pulled a Nigeria. They played the worst team in the group. And they went down 2-0 in 35 minutes. <laughs> and I was like, man. Oh. Yeah, I know. I was like, again, the, the Gambia. I got everybody all excited about the Gambia. And then they just freaking blew it. I mean, look at their team, though. Look at their freaking team. Like I don't, I can, I can tell you one of these bad. Oh yeah, no, actually, Burundi's got in in Di Shimiwe, who is apparently on um, Lille. But I couldn't tell you any of these other badges, like Musabaro, uh, Omar Kali, Jalo, Adams is on Cardiff. Oh, 
How do you blow it? First match. Now they're losing to, I, I just saw it. They're, they're playing Ivory Coast right now, and they're losing one nothing. So it's, like, basically over already. Because this group, I mean, Seychelles is worse than Burundi, but that's it. They're not going to get easier matches than that. You show up and lose your first two matches, and it's like, okay, we're just... Oh, <laughs> ow. I, that my dream died super quickly. The Gambia was literally one of my dream teams to make the World Cup. But like, I won't hold it against them. I'm not going to hold it against them. There's like a, there's a literal civil war going on in the Gambia right now. So they're not playing their home matches at home. We discovered they were playing their home matches in Tanzania, which like. All right. I don't know if you guys are geography nuts, but I am. So I don't know how they swung that deal because this is the Gambia over here, right? And they're literally the Civil War, and I'm not making this up. It was explained to me in chat, so it must be true, is uh, the people further downriver are upset with what the people further upriver are doing because it's literally this the, 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 the country of the Gambia is just the river. And so they're playing their home matches in Tanzania. Now, I don't know why. The, re the reason I got to the map this way is because if I just go to Google Maps, it like zooms in on where I live a little too much. And so I just wanted to make sure it started on Africa. It's a little unfair yeah but i mean when you're having a civil war i feel like where you're playing your home matches is probably not like chief concern um but yeah that's a bit of an issue for the gambia so surprised that they're not i mean this is like the match but now they definitely need to win it because they lost to burundi and they're super not but perhaps the most exciting thing that's happening is euro qualification perhaps Luke, thank you for the six months. Anyways, just like sitting here vibing. Um, Euro qualification, which brings me back to the ice pick lobotomy I was having not too long ago. Where I was trying to understand how this Nations League nonsense is working out. I'm basically... Group A is done. It's Spain and Scotland. Georgia makes the playoff, but Norway doesn't because they didn't win their Nations League group, which, yeah, fair. Uh, group B is done by ireland england and uh, this is this is one that we're watching today because hold on i need to copy this this is so convoluted but i will try to unpack it for you so you know what you're watching exactly because they've got a really helpful nations league table at the bottom here that i found there so italy Italy. They won their group. They got to the Nations League semifinal. But if Ukraine finishes ahead of them, Italy's going to the playoff now. <laughs> Italy loves, loves the playoff. Now, as far as I understand it, right? I'm going to throw this over here. Now, as far as I understand it, Ukraine is Gucci either way. They are Oguchi on Onyewu. They're good. They're either going to be in the playoff, playoffs, or they're going to be in the actual thing. That's my understanding of the situation. The only thing I don't understand is why Luxembourg is in. 
It's the only thing I don't understand. I figured it would it would be Norway. I don't know why it's not, but you know. Ukraine has playoffs secure. Iceland has it secured. All right. Maybe maybe Azerbaijan, if they play the right anthem, they can get all fired up. They won their Nations League, but it doesn't say that. See, it's got this little group winner thing. The four group. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I get it now. Oh, I just, did you see the light bulb? Did you see the light bulb go off? So because... Every group winner from League C goes, right? Every group winner from League C goes. One of those group winners is Turkey. Now, Turkey has already automatically qualified, so they take the next highest-ranked team and give them an automatic spot into the playoff, and that's Luxembourg. Which, <laughs> which means if Norway... Like, if Bosnia and Herzegovina or Israel had actually qualified, then Norway would have been in the playoff. That's so unlucky. That's such a weird system. Because the only reason Iceland's in the playoff is because Serbia and Scotland qualified automatically. Like, if it had been Wales and Poland instead, which I don't know if that was possible based off the groups, but just indulging the hypothetical here, Ukraine wouldn't be in the playoff and neither would Iceland because that, like, bumps this blue wave down, you know? <sighs> okay. Iceland's just goaded. I mean, how could you... you nobody, like... Gilfie Sigurdsson really ruined the vibe around Iceland, you know? So I was going to say nobody could hate Iceland, and then I was like, well... Iceland needs Ukraine to qualify. Does it? It does. Oh my god, it needs Ukraine to qualify. <laughs> it totally does, because that'll push the blue down. Wait, no, it doesn't. Because if Ukraine qualifies, then, no, 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 it doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't. It does not. Because then this will be blue. Then this will be blue. And that'll push this down. Oh, you can't see. Oh, my God, you can't see. Sorry, sorry. Forgot to switch the screen back. Forgot to switch the screen back. So, like, if, 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 if Ukraine qualifies, this goes green, right? But this goes blue. So then we got three over here. We're still pushing the wall of blue down, right? We still need 12 teams in the playoff. It would be three over here. I mean, you just have one less over here, but it would still just be Iceland. If Czechia wins, Iceland goes to the playoff. Dude, do I have a, do I need a PhD in this? So we're looking at it's all about Moldova. <laughs> Team may qualify directly but cannot advance to the playoffs. Are you serious? Moldova has to qualify directly or they can't go to the playoff, which makes sense. So if they, they qualify directly, then they knock Czechia out of automatic. Oh, yeah, they totally do, don't they? Oh, good gracious. Iceland. So Iceland doesn't need Ukraine to win. Iceland needs Czechia to win. Because if Czechia blows it against Moldova, who's over here. Let me pull this over for you. If Czechia blow, I'm going to zoom in. Oop, not that much. All right. If Czechia blows it against Moldova, right? Moldova's over here. Then we're just getting a green spot in League D of the Nations League. And Czechia goes blue. This spot disappears. Where if Ukraine wins, they just swap spots on like who's automatic and who's in the playoff. 
Did anybody have any aspirin? My dollar. There's so much wildness that's about to happen here. Yeah, this song does hit. This is a very American song, I think, but I, I love this song. My Dixie Land Delight. So, the matches of importance today. Albania's already through. Faroe Islands is already out. We don't care. Czech Republic has to win or draw. But if Moldova wins, riots in the street of Reykjavik. Okay? Riots in the street of Reykjavik. Moldova would go automatically. Moldova cannot make the playoff. Czechia would then go into the playoff, which only three teams make it out of 12, so you don't want to go there. England's playing North Macedonia in a match of no consequence whatsoever. Denmark is playing Northern Ireland in a match equally of no consequence whatsoever. Um, where, 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 where be the North Irish? Um, yeah, Denmark's already uh, guaranteed top of the group. Are they? What are the tiebreakers? Denmark guaranteed or no? Yeah, they're they're guaranteed. Okay. Oh yeah, because it's top two. Okay. Anyways, they're good. Um, San Marino plays Finland in a match that is very important for San Marino in their quest to try and beat an actual team. And then Slovenia plays Kazakhstan. Now this is as much as it doesn't sound like it, a match that will decide who goes to the freaking uh, who goes to the Euros because fire up your Borat impersonations because Kazakhstan, if they win. Is going to the Euros. You might not have known that. Because if Kazakhstan wins, it's going to the Euros. Great success. And that would be awesome, uh, obviously, for Kazakhstan. The way that would also that puts Azerbaijan in. Okay, so if Kazakhstan wins, then Kazakhstan goes to the Euros, and Azerbaijan goes to the playoff, and Slovenia goes nowhere. And then the final match is you, dude, this is so complicated. Okay, so Azerbaijan's not playing tonight, but they are. And then Ukraine plays Italy. And that's unbelievably straightforward. Because if Ukraine wins, Italy's going to the playoff again. If they draw or win, if Italy draws or wins, Italy's going to the Euros and Ukraine's going to the playoff. That's unusually straightforward. So our eyes are on Czechia. Moldova. They're on Czechia, Moldova, Slovenia, Kazakhstan, Ukraine, Italy. And what's up with Croatia? They're like not guaranteed through either. Oh, there's more matches tomorrow. Of course there are. Of course there's more matches tomorrow. Why would there not be more matches tomorrow? Of course there are. So then it gets all weird and complicated at that point. <laughs> because Croatia can't lose. They're playing against Armenia, and if they lose and Wales win, then all of a sudden it flips and Wales is in and Croatia steals a spot and Iceland misses. Like, I don't even want to do that math, so I really hope Croatia wins. Um, but, I mean, it'd be fun for Wales if they didn't. Wales plays Turkey, though, so it's not like they're guaranteed to get the three points they need. No Gareth Bale, no far, uh, no no party, no success. Uh, Greece is already in the playoff, right? They're like already chilling. Yeah, they're already in the playoff. They won their Nations League group, and so they're already in the playoff. Why is Estonia in the playoff? Uh, because the best team 
the best team in Nations League, D goes. Mini Max, thank you for the prime, dude. I don't know why. I do not know why, but the best team in Nations League, D, does go to the playoff. That's just like something everybody agreed that was a good idea. Good for them. Um, I think it was Georgia last time, and they actually like annoyed somebody in the playoff. So let them have fun. That's, we call that the San Marino spot. We're just waiting for San Marino to get that spot. Best team in Nations League D. Schlong Connery, thank you for the 14 months. Bassy Lassie, thank you for the eight months. Luke Ster, thank you for the eight months. A lot of eight months going around. Aiden, I appreciate Love the 10. Dude. Tim, thank you for the 14 months. Luke, I appreciate the six months. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. Spending your prime right here. It's a buy for whoever draws them to the playoff. Wow, somebody hates Estonia. So those games kick off at 245. We'll be keeping track of them on stream. Uh, it's going to be really exciting. Not as exciting as Aruba Cayman Islands. Also, Pacific Games, you acted like I wasn't going to talk about that. I'm offended. Papua New Guinea beat Tuvalu 3-0. So Tuvalu's in the mud, but they're not dead yet, right? Tuvalu's not dead yet, all right? They've only also lost to Vanuatu 6 to nothing, and so now they're dead. But before that, they weren't dead. They were very much alive. And then they went, and then they lost to Vanuatu 6 to nothing, and, and then they were dead. So that happened. Less than three. It was a forfeit. They played the second game, though, I think. This says finished. This just says awarded. So I think they played this one. Travel issue? No. I mean, you could swim it, right? Where are the Pacific games being played? They're in uh, Solomon Islands. Pacific Games are in Solomon Islands. So Tuvalu to the Solomon Islands. 1,700 kilometers. So that's just like a marathon, right? Oh, yeah. I mean, to do that, come on. That's just blue, dude. That's. There's got to be somebody in Tuvalu with a boat, right? There has to be somebody in Tuvalu with a boat who's like, yeah, I can do this for a fee, right? From here, from here to here. They may as well forfeit the games. Oh, I mean, hey, that's not in the spirit of competition. That sucks they forfeited, though. Oh, no. <laughs> Uh, okay, redo the international schedule. I want to see San Marino play the Northern Mariana Islands. I'm sorry. What was that score? Yep, I was just checking. All right. I was, I was just looking. I was curious. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Not as bad as Gibraltar, no. I mean, Fiji, France, right? But, yeah, it could have been worse. Could have been worse. Now, Fiji, uh, n you know, <laughs> raise your desk until Northern Mariana wins. Fiji and France do both start with F. It's the rest of the letters that make the difference. Uh, oh, my God. The whole, oh, oh, oh. Mongolia, I didn't know you were built like that, dude. What? This is a Mongolia that just lost to Afghanistan in World Cup qualifying. Mongolia got knocked out by Afghanistan in World Cup qualifying. Still, Thomas, they give you the tier one. They beat Northern Mariana nine. No Who set this game up? What? When was it? When was that game?
bro, that game was like over two years. It was in 2018? Well, I was pulling it back up. You know, I didn't want to spoil a surprise. The East Asian Football Federation qualification. They lost to Guam 4-0, Mongolia 9-0, and they drew Macau. At which point you have to ask yourself, what happened? They they, they lost. They, they, why do they keep drawing Mongolia and Macau in the freaking qualifying for the East Asian Championship? They got blown up by Taiwan. Guam just loves playing them. Beat them again in 2014. So this is the only thing that, uh, this is the only thing Northern Mariana Island shows up for. They get, though they won, they beat Macau in 2014. No way. No greater Derby than Northern Mariana and Macau. That's what I'm talking about. I still remember when Northern Mariana won in 2014. I was, uh, in high school. But no, I was watching. I was there. I was so there. Where is, I mean, like, I know I've heard of the Marianas Trench. Where are the Northern Mariana Islands? Oh, they're up. Oh, they're up there. They're like across from Vietnam. Oh, they're right next to Guam. Oh, that's the Derby. That's why they keep drawing them in the group. They're like, yo, can we get an easier away day, please? Hey, can we get an easier away day? I mean, these might as well be the same country. Like, what? Like, what? The, the Guam is a U.S. territory. Why? Do we, Northern Mariana is definitely a U.S. territory, too, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Sorry, brothers. Sorry. It seems surprised that Northern Marianas was north. Well, I mean, north of what? Like, there could be a Southern Marianas. It's all about relativity. They call me the Einstein of the Pacific. <laughs> but yes, I was keeping track of the Pacific games, and I do appreciate Northern Marianas showing up to play in it. I think that Having a national team that a uh, dang it Ivory Coast just scored again against the Gambia. Having a national team that's willing to play in that sort of stuff is great. Isn't Guam is the Southern Marianas? It's fair. See, so they could they could be anywhere in the world, right? They could be anywhere in the world. They you know as long as they're north of the Southern Marianas, they're fine. That's the American experience being right. Like is that in, is that in the U.S.? I don't know. It's not a colony, though, bro. It's not. It's not a colony, bro. It's not a colony. We don't do that. Uh, it's not a colony. I love international footy. Guam rejected to join the Northern Marianas in 1969, dude. Why? Probably some old beef. Like, hey, man, you stole my. I don't know. Fun fact, though. I have actually played with a member of the Guam national team. I realize that's probably random, um, but I have. I've actually played with a member of the Northern Mariana national team. Were they any good? Uh, I mean, they were bad, uh, but I was also, it was, a, it was a high school college ID camp. So, I mean, it's not like it was an international level. You know what I mean? <laughs> Skimmy, thank you so much for the pride, brother. I appreciate the five months. Loner, thank you for the 18 months, man. So we're going to keep up to date with what's going on with uh with everything. With the European qualifying matches. We're going to keep this open. So we can keep tabs on it. I feel like that would be helpful. I move this stuff over, so I've got it. I got it open. I'm so disappointed in Gambia, man. I'm so disappointed. Update your dang skin. Why? Have you talked about Ireland situation? Can somebody tell me Ireland situation? That's like the fifth time somebody said that. And I was waiting for a message that would be like, yo, did you hear that? Because I know I have no idea. I don't know what happened. I know that's why I'm changing it, Isle. 
God, Mom. I was going to ignore it. I really wanted to ignore it. But then I didn't. Because I realized that it was, you know, I couldn't just ignore it for fun, unfortunately. We need to test the skin. Well, a long time ago, there was a country named Ireland before the English. The, I mean, that's one of those where you parachute in and you're like, anybody want to fight? Anybody want to argue here? No. It's like, it reminds me of that old post of that dude that posted, like old guy and posted on Facebook. He's like, hey, man, I'm just, I just want to fight somebody. Meet me in this parking lot. If anybody wants to have a brawl, we'll just meet in this parking lot. So this is our final match of the season. We've already guaranteed the title. We saved this match just so we could have a little fun at the start of the stream. Um, but we have already won the title guaranteed promotion with Black Leopards FC and our journeyman. I had no badges or, you know, playing experience. It was literally just me in the game, but we got the job. They've extended our contract through next year. We've studied up to a national B license, and I've actually improved as a manager from, like, all ones to being somewhat competent at being able to coach things. Um, okay. I have also improved my reputation from a half star to one and a half stars, uh, which means we're going to play this match and look at the job center. All right. So what was the Ireland situation? Sorry, I literally asked for that. And then Ireland are completely knocked out. They have no chance to make it to the Euros. No weird convoluted way to, um, to get yourself into, into the European championships. Northern Ireland also knocked out. Is the Zealand Live channel up to date? K, it is. Congratulations. Background looks nice. Thank you. You guys really haven't explored the shelves. Do you want to explore the shelves real quick? We <laughs> have this match. Where's my people? Oh, it's not there. So here is my peepo um sometimes you need to remind people that you are a twitch streamer and i believe this um this accomplishes that goal this was given to me by our stream editor gadget he is the curator of the live channel and a very valued member of team zealand um does a great job live channel's been killing it this is the plaque which i had uh under a desk for a while right here um people really hype these i i um i had it's like mine is very dirty as you can see uh and it also is like chipped like the number the numbers chipped off because i kind of just had it on the floor for like a year and a half um but my mom was like you should put that up and my mom's normally right so i just put it up but it's like super dinged up I got my mom one, though. Uh, my mom has one of those, and it just says Mombot on it. And I gave it to her for, like, her birthday or something. And hers is still pristine. She, like, put it in a frame right away. Um, oh, this is the New York Marathon medal. Um, really heavy. Like, listen to this. Very heavy. I forgot to go get it engraved. You can get it engraved with your, like, you're, the, you're a finisher in time, but I forgot to do that. They had, like, an event the day after, but I, uh, I didn't do that. <laughs> it is actually so heavy that um, I was wearing it, and I literally had to take it, like, after the marathon. I'm, like, walking around. I'm wearing the medal. And I literally had to take it off because my neck was hurting. I was like so sore. My body was so depleted. I'm like, can somebody please take this medal off? All right. And then up here, 
Here, join me. As we rise. Any updates to release in the skin? Should be in the next couple days. One of my prized possessions, actually a piece of fan art that I think is so awesome. Um, so this is from Florence Dorfer, and somebody mailed this to me, and it's just so good. So this is from this is from Florence Dorfer's famous win against Tottenham 3-0 in the uh, Champions League knockouts, our first Champions League knockout win, if I remember right. And that is Xander Hinneman, uh, who scored, I believe, multiple goals in that game. And it's just a really cool drawing of the, the you know, the Dorfers save, the environment. You got the Tottenham players in the background over here. And Xander Hinneman celebrating the goal with the scoreboard in the background. It's so, it's so cool. I know we never won the Champions League with him, but it's it's just I always like that fan art is just so cool. Yeah, and then the second leg we lost five 0 and ended up getting knocked out by Tottenham. But you can still have a magic moment before that, and then this is my FIFA card where I've been done absolutely dirty in my speed, um, but yeah, you know, everything else is pretty good. I'm playing for Taunton. Ugh. That's it. That's everything on my shelf. That's everything that made made it onto the shelves. Very neat. A great present. Yeah, it was Ad Adler got me that for uh birthday, I think. I don't know. Did I run a full or a half? Uh, I ran a uh, ran a full. I ran a whole marathon. Very long. Trained for a very long time. Would recommend once, not twice. But I would recommend it once. All right, let's have fun. We've already won the league. Let's like win this game and enjoy it. <laughs> Is that too much to ask? Seriously. Is it because I can lower my expectations? Have I run since the fall? No, I haven't, dude. It's been two weeks. I haven't run. I have not run since the marathon. I should, though. I should run soon. These fans have been fantastic for us all season. Go get them, baby! So the medals like uh, participation trophies for people that manage to finish. Okay, the word participation trophy there is harsh. But just for the record, I won the whole thing and broke the world record time. Ran it in under two hours. My go-to McDonald's order, a Big Mac and a hamburger. I get a large Big Mac meal and then a hamburger. Just for that little touch-up at the end. You took a taxi or something? No, yeah, everybody that finishes, if you, okay, so you can't walk it. Everybody that finishes the marathon before they start cleaning up the finish line gets a medal. Yes. Don't worry, I looked it up. I was like, can I walk it and get a medal? And they're like, no. If you get caught by the street sweepers, then you don't get a medal. Who actually won the marathons? Dude from Ethiopia, he set a course record. It was the fastest anybody had ever run the, um, the New York Marathon. Like two hours and like three minutes. How long does that take? I think... The street sweepers get to the finish line around like 9 p.m. So you got to be able to run it in like 
eight hours, I think. If you walk it, it's like 18 hours. So you do have to like run at least a chunk of it, a good chunk of it. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. Let's go, boys. Song Winnie. Tommy Song Winnie. It's Potosi. Oh, it's genius. So I looked up the walk. I don't send like 15 hours to walk the whole thing on Google Maps. You might be able to speed walk it. If you really, if you really like speed walk the marathon, you might be able to get a finisher's medal. That'd be a really funny YouTube video, honestly. Well, would, like speed walking 26 miles would still be really tiring. Speedwalking is not in the Olympics anymore. A fact that makes me incredibly sad. You know, you know what I'm most sad for? That one guy that was training to be an Olympic speedwalker, and he was getting made fun of his whole life because he was training to be an Olympic speedwalker. But he was like, I'll show you guys. One day I'm going to win the Olympic gold. And then he's like, finally, I got my qualifying time. I'm going to make it to the next Olympics. And then the Olympics was like, you, you're not making it. <laughs> and then they just canceled the event. And so this guy spent so long training to qualify for the Olympic speed walking championships. And now he'll never be an Olympian. That's brutal. I feel so bad for that guy. And his name was Zealand Shan. That's how I got into running the marathon, actually. That's how I got into it. That's okay. <laughs> That's okay. He'll walk it off. Wow. Wow. Rarely. Rarely, Chad, are we in the presence of true dad joke greatness. Rarely... Are we in the presence of true dad joke greatness? Trouble man. Standing ovation. A plus. That was, that is one of the best dad jokes in the history of the channel. It was topical. It was perfectly executed in the chat. Just tremendous effort. We are connoisseurs of dad jokes here. And even in the land of connoisseurs, that stands out. Whew. Wow. <laughs> He'll walk it off. He will. He will. Probably that's how he handles his problems. He goes for a long speed walk. I have four kids. Now that's cheating. You're, you're, you're going into the dad joke Olympics. And most, you know, I don't have any kids. Right, so I'm over here. I got like a cousin that looks up to me, but <laughs> that's all the practice I get. This guy's got four kids. This dude's an all pro first 11 dad joke deliverer. Things are uh, going well. I know you're, why are you nervous, man? We've already won the league. It's over. This is our last match of the season. We're already getting promoted and we've won the league and we're winning. Why are you nervous? Why are you running? Element, thank you for the gifted sub. Trouble Man totally deserved it after that A-plus dad joke. Thank you for gifting Trouble Man the sub. Your input will be highly valued in the hammer chat in the subsection of the Discord. Do you have a playlist link somewhere? I'm actually, I, this, I did not do this on purpose. I started a radio for today's stream. 
and then forgot to click on it. So we've been listening to my liked songs in the order that I've liked them. So judge me as you see fit. <laughs> we literally went to the top of my liked songs, hit the first song. I tried to start a playlist off it. It didn't work, and we've just been going down. <laughs> I forgot to switch it over. So if, you, if you're enjoying the songs, we're literally just going straight down my liked songs list. I could get exposed at any moment. So yeah, like Dixieland Delight just got added to my liked songs fairly recently. How on earth did Sheffield beat me? Which one, brother? There's three. I've learned that lesson. You can't just say Sheffield. Everybody's going to get mad. You want to anger an entire city? Say, oh, yeah, we just lost to Sheffield the other day. <laughs> Bro, shut the front door and call me Shirley. This was deflected. You guys are like, oh, what a goal. This was deflected. This is the craziest deflection of all time. This got deflected into... It, it. <laughs> what satanic ritual did you do before the game, Nkosi? Because holy... Dude. Yeah, this was not the banger that it was going to be, that it became until it went flying off this dude's knee at about 3,000 miles. Oh, goodness. I mean, it turned into a perfect shot. There's no saving that. Rosemaster, thank you for the two months of the prime. And then you converted to a tier one. My goodness. First time catching a stream live. What's up, Marco? How you doing? How you, how you doing? Sus. Yeah, we'll just we'll keep playing my like songs until we hit the Mongolian throat singing, then we'll pivot. You're acting like I don't have Mongolian throat singing in my like songs. I absolutely do. Batsurik Vonchig years. rocks my Wait. world. I haven't always been able to catch every stream, but I always follow along with the ODs. Thank you, D. Pivot why? Uh, maybe we don't. On Rock, so thank you for the two years. Glad you're able to follow along. Check out the live channel if you never... Dude. Okay, thank goodness we've already won the league because I'd be flipping tables, man. We haven't made a mistake like that all year. Oh, we're already on vacation. Yeah, it's just got... We're already on vacation. You know. You know how it is. We're already... We've already checked out mentally. We're already... We're already on vacation. Nasser Comet. I haven't tried that all year try it now um now nah, we're good i'll just kick us up into attack and try and get the goal back but yeah the teams in can the team can't afford to go to cancun man these guys are making like twenty five thousand a year i think which is professional but like there's no vacation at cancun in that budget oh come on nicer comment Sparkle it up. <laughs> At least it got saved. That was a great save. Maybe the Maldives. Yeah, maybe. Uh, Madagascar would probably be nice. Could just go to, like, Cape Town. Because we are in the far northeast of South Africa, so that's, like, a not a staycation. Oh, nice passing. Oh, well worked. Oh, brilliant. How expensive is it in Cancun? I don't know, man. If you're making twenty five thousand a year, supporting a family off twenty five thousand a year, flights alone to Cancun from South Africa would be a couple thousand. And then it's a resort town, you know. So you want to stay like three, four nights, you're probably looking to like six, seven hundred bucks. All inclusive, probably looking at more than that. So yeah, I mean. <laughs> As long as you, you want to eat ramen for a couple weeks, you could probably make it happen, but. I'm just thinking, like, if you were in, in Ming, Mexico City, and you're like, I want to go to Cancun, that's a different story. If you're in South Africa. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, if you live in Cancun, it's free. Not the all-inclusive resorts. Nice dummy by Inquana. Oh, Potosi. Oh, Inquana. Inquana. He's got us a comet. Ah, Imbacoma. What is that? Encourage. Ah. Let's go, boys. Hey, move it. Uh, ooh, Pogba, little skill. That's Simbi. Mbakoma. Zulu. Potosi. Oh, no. Yes. And one more time in a special season. Black Leopards have come from behind again. 3-2 at Marumo Gallants. There was a hint of fortune about the goal, but there's been a hint of fortune about this entire season for Black Leopards FC. Is that Pogba's brother? No, it's his father. It's actually Paul Pogba in a mustache. Get to him. Oh, no. Hey, pass it. There's actually nobody for him to pass to. Neither striker checked back. There we go. Oh, nice. Not oh, nice. Oh, come on. And then we didn't score that. Prettiest play of the entire season, and we just missed it. Fair. Fair play. Fair play. It's two Pogba's in a trench coat. <laughs> oh, he's got to dodge the band somehow. No better place to play than the South African second division if you're trying to dodge a band. Oh, come on, Nasser. Oh, come on, Nasser. Oh, get after it, Nasser Comet. Oh, get after it. He hit the post, outside of the post, but I might have been able to sneak in there. Hey, give me that. Hey, those two Pogba's in a trench coat. They're getting the job done. Nimbacoma. Ooh, Nasser Comed. Pocket of space. Zulu. Oh, and Quana. What is this? I know he was off, but... One finish. All, all I require of you is one goal. Oh, nice flick. Oh, come on now, Zulu. Give me something to work with. This highlight started too early. It started too early. It's a trap. It's a trap! No. No. Oh, God. Zulu didn't fall off, man. We just haven't streamed in like five days. <laughs> Our goal kid. Shoot! Shoot! No! Oh, come on, man. Could have ended it. It could have ended it. It's another highlight. Run. <sighs> oh, good God, Makavu. Subs, I'm going to break the rule. I'm breaking the Cardinal rule. Give me Lawrence and Swane for the height. Give me... Clotiso Patsisi for the uh, Carl Arrowing. Um... Give me Manjadibadu on the outside, just because I could say his name one more time. And give me Pachie. Sadiso Pachie. Pep talk. I have faith in you. Let's do this. They can handle this. Please, just thank you for the nine months, dude. Appreciate you being a part of the Hammers. Thank you for supporting the stream. Hello, Melder. How you doing? Uh, will Scotland potentially get out of their group? They're in pot three. I mean, yeah, if you're in pot three, you can finish third and you're still... Good. All right, Inquana, take a deep breath. Deep breath. There we go. Hello, my name is Zealand. I am an agent of chaos, and we have achieved victory here today. Squire, thank you for the three months, dude. I really appreciate them three months right there.
I'm doing all right with the names. Thank you. I try. Honestly, it's uh, I, I really do try I'm trying to break the American stereotype where I can. Every once in a while, I get fed up because the name is so difficult or people are so particular. Um, but I, I do try for the most part. Sometimes you don't. It's literally sometimes I, I think we've got to be accepting of a ballpark. You know, we've got to be accepting of a ballpark. And I think certain people aren't accepting of ballparks. Uh, like but when I say ballpark, like being in the neighborhood, like you're close to saying it right. Well, Lopes is just fun to say. All right. That's a whole different. Uh, that's a whole different thing. Always feels good. You have one dead rubber at the end of the year after you win the league. You go win it. That always feels amazing. That was a beautiful, beautiful win. One for the record books. You set a new division record for most points in a season. Well, that's fun. Meritsburg and Tux are going to the playoff. Lamazia is the team that missed it. Dude, they actually got within three points of Tux. That's insane. We were so far ahead of the, every other team in the league for so long. Uppington and City Rovers are going down. Well, that was some big drama there at the end of the year. Uppington drew, but if they won, they would have sent Baroka down. What did Baroka do? They lost. So they opened the door, but Uppington couldn't walk through it. Oh, it was, wow. Wow, it was a 91st minute goal that relegated Uppington. That's a shame. I thought they had a really cool name. So then Orbit College scored in the 91st minute to tie the match up and send Uppington down. I guess they're Downington. Awkward. Ako Taco, man. Yeah, they'll be back Uppington next season, though. They'll be back Uppington next season. Okay, so now we have a very important, uh, we have a very important decision to make. Um, at what point do we look for jobs? When do people get fired? You know, when do people get fired? Real question. Cause we're like, if we're staying here, we probably need to operate like we're staying. Don't we? Cause that's how you end up screwed is if you don't operate like you're staying. Cause every contract on the team is expiring. <laughs> right. So like we've, uh, Resign. I'm not going to resign. That's insane. I'm not going to resign. We'll just look at the job center. We'll 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 at the job center. All right, we've, we've had a tremendous season. <laughs> tremendous season. Gibraltar? No. One more season, one last dance to the top flight. I mean, it is enticing, but there are a lot of jobs open, man. A lot of jobs open. You could probably get a job in the top flight of Indonesia. You could probably go to India. Looking forward to your Faroe Islands videos. Actually, Dude. been on holiday there in September and also paid a visit to Klaxvik and its stadium. What really? What do you think of the Faroe Islands and its beautiful nature? Thank you for the 23 months. I loved the Pharaohs. I had a great time there. Yeah, like I was saying, I had a great time there. Um, really enjoyed the nature and you know, it was a little cold while we were there, but well, it's, you know, to be expected, right? Scottish League 2 Stenhousemia. Can we, can we go to South America? Is business the top league? No, that's the convoluted second division. You go to Western Sydney Wanderers in the A-League. I feel like the A-League's got so many rules that just going there for one season to learn all those rules and get comfortable with them would be wild. You have a maximum squad salary excluding designated players. So they're using, you have two designated players in your squad. You can pay whatever. Uh, uh. 
Yeah, I'm not. I'm not. We're not going to the prim. Um, we're not going to England. We won't go to England, at least not for a while. And we don't know if we can get these jobs. Like this team is three stars in the Peruvian league. Oh, the Peruvian league. Like, what are the rules? What are the rules in Peru? You know. Uh, no more than five foreign players in the playing eleven. All right, so there's a registration as well. I'm saying five foreign players is the max in the registration, and a maximum team size of 25. Well, that's very Premier League of you. Oh, we'd jump right into the season if we went there. That'd be kind of wild. So they fired. Who fired uh, the team in 11th? Cian Ciano fired their coach. Where were they projected to finish? Oh, fifth. Oh, they're in Libertadores. No shot. I mean, I wouldn't get this job. Oh, they got knocked out. They got rocked. They got destroyed. They actually missed by two points. Destroyed. Okay. The Serbia job? No way we get that. Oh, wait. I thought you were saying it was the national team. India in the uh, second division. I don't know if I'd want to go to Europe if it's a second division uh, team. What are the rules? I'm sure they're nasty. Two foreign players, and you must have two under 21 domestic players. Ugh. <laughs> Uh, why can I just go to Turkey? Just go to the Turkish top league. Take over relegated Istanbul sport. Is there anybody that didn't get relegated? Uh, seventeenth Siva Spore. Oh, dude, can you imagine? Can I take over the last match? Can I take over the last match and be the hero? Who do they play? <laughs> No, 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 okay. I'll take over after the season. I'll take over. We'll take over last. After, after the season. It's fine by me. That, yeah, that's cool. That's cool, man. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. Sicaria Spore. Second division of Turkey, I think. Why are there so many Turkey jobs always? Turkey just hate managers. Bastadarki, thank you for the prime. I can stay in South Africa. There are South African jobs open. Um, I won't see them, but I think them jobs are going to open up soon, you know, when teams start moving around. Oh, dude, Austin FC is open. Nice. I might get sacked if I start applying to too many. So let me explore the possibilities. Garter, thank you for the nine months, dude. I appreciate it. I never liked looking at the insecure jobs thing. I understand why people would do it. Uh, you can also go Serious C, the incredibly bizarre Italian lower leagues at Lucchese Libertas. It's not Spanish, Zealand. Or top Korean league. Tokyo's available, but we got, we just managed in the J League. I don't know if that's where I'd want to go. Mexico. How hard are the rules? I mean, we probably wouldn't get these jobs. These are big teams. These are very big teams. Nine foreign players. That's actually a lot. There are no Brazilian jobs open right now. I don't know why. There's like 80,000 leagues there. But there isn't a single national, like, singer managerial job open. What's the top league? That's it. No, it's not. Why is O'Higgins in the second league? So it's Plan Vital. Union Española is in 12th in the Plan Vital. Where are they, where are they supposed to be? Oh, they're supposed to be fourth. This might be a fun job. They're struggling in the Copa Sudamericana, but they're still in it. 
Union Española. Española. Speak the language, Sealand. A lot of matches be able to kind of shape things. Oh, they got a 22,000 seat stadium. They're probably packing it in Independencia. Independencia. Right. Independencia. I really want to go to South America at some point. But I feel like a South Korean job would be cool. Suwon Blue. Ooh. That's a big team. They're only seven points out of second. I smell opportunity. Swan Blue Wings were projected sixth. And they're only seven points out of second. This is a lot of parody, dude, but the rules, the rules are going to be nasty, aren't they? The rules are going to be sick, aren't they? One goalkeeper must be on the bench. Well, that's mean. Oh, what is this? K-League. No more than four foreign players in the playing 11. There must be no more than three foreign players in the playing 11, not including Asians. Well, that's racist. <laughs> Unbelievable. If I apply to Malila, then I could stay in Africa while not leaving Africa. That's very true. Malila is in North Africa. Go to the Spanish. I, you know, actually, the reason I'm not going to go to Spain, at least right now, my brother is doing a save where he's in the Spanish lower divisions. <laughs> so he's telling me all about it. I would know exactly who to sign. But the Malila save is one of my favorite saves in the game because it is geographically on the continent of Africa. It is a Spanish enclave on the continent of Africa that plays in the Spanish league system. So you can win the Champions League with a team that is not in the European continent, which I realize you could be like, well, some of like, obviously only a part of Kazakhstan is West of the Ural mountains. Most of it isn't. And so like, if you win with a team from Kazakhstan, you're doing the same thing, but it's in Spanish leagues and it's cool. I make Real Madrid and Barcelona take the ferry over. Do, do, yeah. And Israeli teams. And I think Azerbaijan only has part of the country technically in like, you know, Europe. Uh, it's according to where they draw the line for all this stuff. Obviously, Russia, you could have done that. There's a small European team that can get European football. Eh. I mean, I look, I'm still small. I'm still a small fry here. Academy challenge. I'm it still a, a very small fry. I had sacked by Real Jane of the Lower Leagues of Spain doing a Youth Academy challenge. Oh, I'm sorry. That's tough, dude. You're trying to climb up the Spanish leagues like that? Ugh. Bruh. That's that's tough. Porta down in the north. That's the second division of Northern Ireland. We can definitely get that job. But this is the competition of it's a semi pro team. I mean, especially as a one and a half star manager, I feel like we got a professional is the line. Europa point, not pro, right? Yeah. Not going to Gibraltar. That's not our breakthrough. Hey, official Chrysler, thank you for the three months. Appreciate you being a part of the Hammers. Union Espanola. That is a, this job's interesting me. Going to the top league of Chile, taking over a team that I feel like we might be able to guide. Um, we're gonna anger our board though. We start applying to too many. I don't think we're gonna get approached. Uh, maybe we get approached by a different team in South Africa. Now I I like it would have to be a big upgrade. I'm not like too much of a mercenary here. We have guaranteed our title. I'm gonna hit continue. And maybe we want to give it to the end of May for me to be headhunted. Now that I've done Chile. some excellent coaching, you know. Ollie, thank you for the six months. Thank you for supporting the stream, brother. I don't think you would get the job in Chile, but try. Yeah. I mean, it's three-star reputation team. I don't speak. I, I don't sprech in Z Spanish. Um, wait for the... Um, 
Ready for the season to end? Probably. You might? Uh, I don't. I checked. It used to be if you put yourself from Florida, then um, you actually did learn Spanish. I just know how to pronounce Spanish names most of the time. I can ask where the bathroom is and stuff, but I'm not. My Spanish is atrocious. In real life. And in the game. Where is the library? Donde esta la biblioteca? Vamos a la playa. We go to the beach. You gotta know, you gotta know certain sentences. Hog. Swinkers, thank you for the prime. Thanks for spending $5 of Jeff Bezos' money to support the stream, brother. Esteban, I, yeah, that is, there is widespread speculation that's my real name. Esteban. Oh, oh, we're getting fancy now. So apparently the top flight of South Africa doesn't end for a couple of days, so we'll see if we've made a name for ourselves to where, like, friggin' Cape Town just shows up. Oh, we added 2,000 followers in our social media. Nice. Wow, they've added uh, Play Direct. I want to remove that. Oh, this is going to get rid of attacking. No. No. What is that? You brought the other one back and you were like... <laughs> Cool. Good year, boys. Have a good uh, vacation. Don't go to Cancun. Be responsible with your money. We got that. No, I, I didn't get fired or anything. They just, I, I was, the negotiation for all that stuff is, uh, is wild. Whoa. Why? Really wanted to relocate the club back to their home city of Polokwane. Oh, we're not playing in our home. Oh. Yeah, okay, I get that. I was like, dude, we have a massive stadium, but it's, we're renting one that's not in our... Okay, okay, okay. We're renting the stadium that's not, like, in our hometown. Then, yeah, I get it. All right. That makes sense. Um, That, that makes sense. Yeah, it, it, we're top flight now. They're like, yo, we need to throw a new stadium out there. Well, now everybody's happy. I don't know what you got going on. Well, now other people are mad. Uh, Nasser Khamed playing in a weak position and role. I mean, that's just not true. I think that's literally broken. Because it just said that he was happy with the... I just broke. Like, we just ran. I just ran straight into a glitch. Because we played him as an attacking midfielder role in the attacking midfielder center. It said he's happy that you're playing him in his preferred position as an attacking midfielder. And attack, yeah, happy promise kept. I've spoken with Nasser Khamed, and he is happy that although you aren't playing him in his preferred position and role, he has been used in other suitable positions, which means we just got two different messages. Either way, he's happy. And now all of a sudden, he's not. Can't help you. If you're that determined to be mad, might I suggest therapy? Probably.
probably be healthy. So when is the top flight season end? They, uh, oh, they still have one more match. They still have one more match day coming up on the 25th, and then the season is done, and then the opportunities will be presented to us, I believe. Mamelody Sundown's job offer in my inbox. Now, they'll sack them over the next couple of days, but they'll, they'll, they, I'm such a hot topic. They'll offer me a job instantly. I am such a hot topic of conversation. They'll offer me a job immediately. By staying in South Africa, I would. You know, if we get one of those, one, one of the big South African clubs to come and say, hey, we want this guy. This guy just did some magic stuff down in the second division of South Africa. We want this guy. That's what I'm waiting for. I want to be headhunted, you know? Sapalele Nene. You've canceled your contract like a madman. Gonna be a contract free for all trying to build a team. Because everybody's contract expires at the end of the year. Bro, you're kidding. They just sacked Ten Hog while I was live. No shot. Come on. Load. Way, 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 is this a joke? <laughs> That's hilarious. Didn't see that coming. Yeah, so it makes so much sense. So in game, Ten Hag got sacked. What does that tell you about where Ten Hag is? That I totally was like, yeah, I see it. <laughs> I thought them being on a date was in game and then Ten Hog was real. Yeah, no, I can understand how that was confusing. I opened Twitter and then just saw something else. Eric Ten Hag had his contract terminated by United to a person, Richard Arnold. Ah, hate to see that. Where did they finish? I'm kind of scared to look. Oh, they finished sixth. I feel like they would be happy with that in real life. I feel like you would be happy with that in real life. Apply, absolutely. View job advert. <clears throat> Hello, how you doing? <laughs> yeah, I realize you may not have heard of me, but I think I can do this job. Thank you. Trust me. I've applied for the Manchester United job. Leaks link shit.
Big news here in South Africa, baby. Big news here in South Africa. Your move, Man United. United are truly finished now. Actually, the one time I've managed Manchester United in FM, I did get fired. But we finished second. I just got fired anyways. Bro, why, like, had the... the I, we literally okay. You guys all saw it. We got run by a glitch. I hate to use the editor, but it, in in a, in a in a world where one year contracts are what we live by, this will basically mean we can't sign Nasser Comet again because of the glitch. So I think it's fine to use the editor here to get rid of his unhappiness. This is literally why you have it on because Football Manager always says little glitches like this. So we're gonna do that. It feels fair to me. Literally says he's happy. And then he, this message, it says he's happy, even though he wasn't playing in the position, which he was. You can look at our tactic. He was playing as an attacking midfielder on the attacking midfield role. So um, he was playing there all season because we knew about the promise. So how do, how do I do this? Remove all, do you just remove all unhappiness? Is that the button? Oh, okay. Remove all unhappiness. These are not the droids you're looking for. Okay. Cool. He's good now? He's, he's, he's good? I don't have to do anything else? Okay, that, those are the messages from earlier, but I guess we're just, we're just fine now? Okay. Make him 200k. You all were there. We'll make some minor modifications. While we're there. You know, while we're there. I'm like the greatest therapist of all time. I can just poof. And now all of a sudden they're just thinking of bunnies and fields full of flowers. Life is good. Oh, John O'Vain Mia. Dude could literally play for me right now. That's so sad. All right, I'll be headhunted any day now. I'm going to be headhunted any day. Any day now. Any day now. We're going to get headhunted. Nothing to say. I got nothing to say over the United links. You know, I don't want to. I don't want to anger the board. I'm under contract for another year. I'm not trying to get fired. No comment at this time. I'll be back tomorrow. Who is linking me to United? Me, but they don't know that yet. I've fooled the media. <laughs> All right, big South African team right here. Big South African team. I'll sign that kid. 
Yeah, you know, I want to leave the club in a strong place for the future, right? Siabonga Impachane. What's up? So top league, do we don't have any age rules, right? Thank goodness. So I just build the best team out there. Yeah, sweet. Max of five foreign players, and that's it. Everything else is good. I got to focus on squad building if I can. Yeah, but I don't want to be left holding an absolute dud of a team if I don't get another job. I just bit the inside of my cheek so hard, I think I might have accidentally given myself one of those buccal fat removals by mistake. Oh. Am I the only one that's creeped out by that, by the way? Do you know what that is? Like, oh, with the, so, like the, the new hot celebrity, uh, um, what, what, a, a plastic surgery thing? So, you know, your cheeks, there's like, um, you know, there's like something there, right? It's not just like skin. There's like something in it. That's called the like buccal fat. I think it's pronounced buccal, like B-U-C-C-A-L. So I think I'm not even sure that's how it's spelled. It's a B-U-C and something like buccal, right? And apparently the reason like so many celebrities look like, you, you know, you have more cheekbone definition because you know, your first thought when you see this face is not, wow, look at those cheekbones, right? Which is fine. This is what I look like. Hi. Right? But apparently, if you go in here and you take out that fat, then you look like, you know? And then your cheekbones are really obvious. Well, you don't look like that. You don't look like you have holes in the side of your face, right? You, but you, you so the book, but what I didn't know and what really creeps me out and what like, I really don't like about it just in a personal level. I got no problem with anybody that wants to do any plastic surgery. It doesn't bother me. You're not harming me at all. I don't care, but <laughs> it just personal, it like nails on a chalkboard, like, ugh, just gives you the heavy jeebies is apparently the buccal fat is like not, you know, it's, this isn't liposuction. They're not in there with like a vacuum cleaner, which was always my mental image. They're not just like, you know, it's like you cut a little slit like somewhere, like one of them, one of those incisions where you're like, that's definitely too small to do the surgery. Right. And they're like, no. And then it's like a solid thing. It's like a solid thing. You seem pretty informed about it. Oh, yeah, I go on YouTube rabbit holes all the time, dude. But why do you think I know so much about Mongolian throat singing? I, my YouTube rabbit holes, they know no bounds. And they, so, like, instead of it just being, like, fat just kind of hanging out, the buccal fat in your cheek is, like, a thing. Like, a solid, not ball, but, like, thing like a solid jelly textured thing and you like pull it out <laughs> somebody would be like well you can look like timothy chalamet I'm like i i'm good man i want to leave that in there yeah it's like an irl implant is what your buccal fat is but then you remove that and then you get like great looking cheekbones right apparently i don't i'm <laughs> I would, I don't know. It ain't my thing. That just, ugh, ugh, it creeps, man. Freaks me out. I needed to share my trauma with you. I needed you to know it so that I wasn't dealing with this alone. You know, I, I need you to know it so that I wasn't dealing with this alone. So I, I'm sorry. Yeah. New sub goal? Yeah, what? Dude, 5,000 subs, I get my buccal fat removed, bro. Ugh. Ugh. No, no. You should have dealt with it alone. Yeah, that's fair. I should have. I should have. 
And that's like a very popular surgery. Like apparently a lot of people have gotten that done. And I'm like, man, I, hmm. How many channel points? Like 10 billion channel points, and I'll do a buccal fat removal live on stream. Live stream from the surgery room. The funny thing is, this isn't funny, actually. This is probably super messed up. There's definitely a streamer somewhere that's going to do that. Like 10 billion channel points, and I'll just get life-altering cosmetic surgery. Watch the national matches tonight? Yeah, for sure, dude. I We went through them all at the beginning of the stream. We're spending like the first hour, hour and a half of the stream now just talking about ball. And uh, we went through like the international window, which I have a passion for. And so I was really, um, yeah, we went, we tried, and I think we successfully did figure out all the teams and scenarios that could make the playoff, could automatically qualify tonight. Like it's a very wild situation. Um, I, uh, I, 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 I have worked in front of people basically my entire life. And at least as of yet, I have never been like, wow, I really need to change the way I look. And for that, I have my brain to thank. I'm not going to get headhunted. Am I? How far did it? We just finished the season. So we're either figuring out whether we want to do a new job or whether we want to stay with black leopards and tackle a second season in South Africa. <laughs> my wife and I just finished the Beckham special. That was a fascinating documentary. That was fascinating. So you got to understand that stuff only gets made like, I know the guy that made it. I don't know him personally, but, like, I know of him. He's very good. The guy that made it. And I think he did a really good job making the documentary. I think particularly after the first episode, it was really good. The first episode was a little, it felt a little clunky, but that only gets made with Beckham's approval. So we're looking at the same thing as, like, a Michael Jordan documentary where this is their story according to them. That doesn't, to me personally, that doesn't make it any less fascinating. Because You just have to watch it in a way where you're like, how do they think about their situation in themselves? It's an autobiography. Exactly. Like, like exactly. I mean... It, 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 that's a great way to word it. Like those sorts of documentaries, they are autobiographies, which is cool. I think that's super interesting because somebody like David Beckham never really tells you how he thinks ever. He's too media trained. He's probably one of the most media trained people on the planet. If not media trained, that dude has been dealing with some of the most intense media scrutiny known to man for north of 20 years, right? Like, the, you will not find a human being that is more trained and conditioned and knows how to manipulate and, and understand and react to and handle media attention and pressure. So this was right in his wheelhouse. But as a result of that, you never get, like, how he actually thinks about how he views himself, how he views his relationship, how he views his time with the various teams he played for. I thought all of that was really interesting. Yeah, like, he, I thought all of that was tremendously interesting. And I think it he is a, you know, he's a unique and interesting guy. I, 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 my number one word for that whole show was, like, interesting. But not overly interesting, but I was watching it and I was like, ah, I didn't know that. <laughs> like, that was, that was it. I, okay. I didn't know that. 
There we go. This is what I was waiting for. Reigning chaos. We scored the most. I just got an achievement for scoring the most set piece goals of any team in the league. Shout out. We won the league, lads. It was a, a, stunning, a stunning season. Aside from a short spell early in the season around October when they dropped to fifth, consistently performed above expectation and were able to uh, become most unlikely title winners. Bro, we lost. Look. At Whoa. I hate journalists. You shouldn't hate journalists. Journalists are like people. There's a lot of bad ones. There's a lot of good ones. Yeah, the English media is really toxic. I mean, they don't have that alone. We we lost one game after October 14th. I didn't realize we were on that much of a heater. We lost one game after October 14th. And it was to Venda, like right at the end of the year. Uh, we cooked. We we cooked. Ah uh, no. You all oh, we lost in the cup. That's fair. We lost in the cup, but that was actually right around here too. I'm pretty sure we lost back to back games. If I remember right, we lost. Oh my God, that's what you guys are saying. 3%. That was our home attendance. Oh, yeah, look, guys. Our stadium isn't even in our hometown. Our stadium's not even where our club is based. All right. So it's a very long drive. Very long drive. There, yeah. Rented stadium vibes, not in our hometown. That's why they're looking to build a stadium in our hometown. Now that we're in the top division, maybe it'll be a bigger feature moment. Oh, man. Goal of the season, what was it? It was uh, Mukumela's goal in yeah. the 78th minute against Tux on March 17th. All right, well, let's go watch it. I think this was just a straight-up banger from, like, really far out. Oh, he picks it up deep. Oh, he gets it back. Yeah, this is just a, a howitzer for my defensive midfielder. With, like, good goal, but as far as goal of the seasons go, it's probably not crazy. All righty. Potosi sold the most jerseys, then Comed, then Pog. I'm five of, I find it hard to believe Pogba was third. Club Awards, player of the season, Sinele Zulu. Young player of the season, Sinele Zulu. Signing of the season, Nasser Comed. Top scorer, Sinele Zulu, with 22 goals. Zepanayan Bakoma had 14 assists. Highest average rating, Nasser Comed. And Clotilso Patsisi had the highest passes completed per 90. Okay. A lot of Sinele Zulu love going down. That's good stuff. So the season is officially in the books, processed by the club, been reviewed. Now we probably look at job applications. Math Maxi, thank you for the 28 months. I appreciate it. Hey, we've already applied to United. Yeah, now off to Manchester. We've proven ourselves in the South African second division. Time to take over Manchester United. It's a pipeline, really. Anybody win uh, South African FA Cup Young Player of the Tournament winner? Okay. Assuming that's the Ned Bank Cup. They just didn't change the name. We could lose Ayanda Potosi. Of course we could. I mean, we, anything could happen. But I love Ayanda Potosi. We're going to try and extend a contract with Ayanda Potosi. Right, we're we're going to start building our team. We're going to make sure that our best players are tied down. Improve the coaching staff? No. I'll keep you a star player, but I want to improve the coaching staff. Don't you dare blackmail me with that young man that's older than me. Don't you dare. Don't you dare, Ayanda Potosi. Don't you dare. Trying to discuss a deal with Nasser Comet. Whoa, Rosemaster!
Okay, that's gonna get annoying. <laughs> Rosemaster, thank you for five. Thank you for making five people's days, dude. Enjoy the bacon. Enjoy the emotes. Soaring goo, bin diddy, sassado, an aggressive bear, trinconium. Luca, thank you for the 33 months. Lee Muir, thank you for the four months. Crispo, thank you for the 15 months as part of the hammers. Master Comet played in Romania. Uh, I don't know. We've got that thing where it just shows plans right now. I forget how we fix that. Files here, I think he remembers. But we will we will keep Nasser Comet around for uh, another season. I believe Nasser Comet's an important player. And I want to stop trying and stop doing these stupid promises, Nasser. Goodness gracious me, Nasser, stop with the dumb promises. Now he does take up a foreign player spot, but uh, the familiarity that I have with Nasser Comet and and all that stuff, it's it's good. What was in the contract that I didn't like? No, all that stuff I was fine with. Yeah, remember that contract I just offered you? I, I called you to offer it again. I don't see Ayanda Potosi leaving the club in the near future. Uh, all being well, it should be settled the next couple of weeks that we re-sign Ayanda Potosi, we re-sign Nasser Khamed, and life is good. Am I rating the asymmetrical hype train formation? Uh, yes, I am. Okay. Back to the job center. The shit. Oh, yes. Uh, yes. A lot of jobs now, baby. Symptom. I don't. I, I don't have my tie. I'm just gonna put it on. <clears throat> Hi. How are you? I still I like the Suwon Blue Wings job. That's like a significant team. Um obviously the fight the Bund Ingolstadt in the Dreit uh, the Dritta the Dritta Bundesliga. Uh I got there. Um Oh, less gaming. Thank you for the 10 gifted subs, dude. All right, 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 all right. I can do this. I can do this. Last gaming, you are awesome. You just made ten people's days. Thank you for supporting the channel as well. Camester, Treese, Dima, Luna, Abstinine, and Charlie. Your conscious low fun gambling this sir. Thank you for existing. Congrats on getting the bacon. Be sure to say thank you if you got this up. And uh, also, it's probably a good time to mention while we poke around the job screen here, because that batch of gifted subs, uh, they did just announce that we are going to uh, the last call for signups to the Hampions League is right now. Now, if you don't know what the Hampions League is, it's a tournament we've done for years. Um, it's a tournament we all add a column for rep. That's a good idea. I, I, wait, can I not adjust? Oh, let's get trippy. Uh, excuse me. Sorry. Just got to break it down every once in a while. The Hampions League, a tournament that we host. We've hosted for the last two years. Uh, this is like the fifth time we've ever done it. If you've ever wanted to play in an FM tournament fantasy draft, the, the, the championship match is literally on stream. Uh, and the way you sign up is if you are in the Hammers. I think I could show this. I just need to hide this. How do I hide text? Hey, Ollie. Hey, Ollie. Can you uh, hide the rules document link too so I can just show it?
Elite Fargus, thank you for the 10 gifted subs. Thank you. Oh, shoot. I just unhit it. How do I? Oh, God. Elite Fargus, you are awesome. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. And if you got a gift, be sure to say thank you because now you'll be able to sign up for the thing I am about to show you. So if I unhid something, how do I hide it again? <laughs> I marked it as unread. That didn't work. It's worth the effort. Bro, we have 2,600 hammers right now. That's a W, chat. That is a big, fat W. I'll leave the channel and go back to it. All righty. So, here you go. I can show you now and it won't ruin the world. This post, so this is the hammer section of the Discord. And there's the D&D. &D. We, we have multiple D&D &D campaigns that are going on in the Discord. But that's not what we're talking about today. <laughs> there, 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 there is this post in the Hammer Herald where registrations are open through Friday of this week. What you do is you click on this if you are a Hammer. If you have access to this in the subsection of the Discord, which if you just got one of those 10 gifted subs from Elite Fargus, or you just got one of those 10 gifted subs from Less Gaming, you can be a part of this. All right. And then you go in here, you click on the form, right? Oh, somebody just reacted to it. Also, I just want to talk about this, just mainly because I feel very insecure about it. I don't post a lot of announcements. Right? I, I don't. I've posted three announcements this year. But the last two uh, about larger community events, there have been zero reactions to them. Now, I realize the reason that happens is because only a few people know you can react to them. And once you do one reaction, then, like, more people see it and click on it. But I did like that. <laughs> but I, did, I was like... Like, wow, does everybody hate me now? So uh, that was, I just wanted to, just wanted to talk about that. You guys are my therapy. So, yeah. Um, so there was that. Um, there was the raising money by running the marathon. And then there was, there was the actual marathon. Uh, nobody reacted to it. And I was like, damn, never mind. Um, anyways, <laughs> if, you go, if you go to the Hammer Herald, um, Ako Taco, if you go to the Hammer, you don't have to react to everything. I was just, <laughs> I'm just saying. <coughs> yeah, I'm a, 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 you know. We can't do the first react in that channel? No, 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 no. I don't think that's true. Really? Oh, dude, that's like manufacturing my own Ako taco -ness. Really? It's true. Oh, my dude, we can't. You can't react to this channel unless I react. If anybody can react on this post, do it now. The notification section, the announcement section, sorry. For years, it's been like this? Bro, I did not know. So you can't react. But then obviously you can react once I like do that, then you can. Wow, that really, that is a great example of a situation where you just kind of like sad boy. You're like, oh, I guess nobody cares. But nobody can react to it. Never mind. Sorry. Sorry. All right. Back to the Hammer Herald stuff so that you guys can, you guys can play in this dang thing. Um, streamer really doesn't know. If you click on the sign up sheet, uh, then you get something that looks like that. Very easy to fill in. You just need your Discord username and your Twitch username. Uh, and then you click submit and you're good. So, yeah. All you do is go to Hammer Herald, click that. You can read the rules. That's also in that document and you're good. Right here. It's perfect. It's perfect. You link some of this. Oh, yeah. You link me some of the screenshots of the players. Here's some of the players. I'm going. 
So the screen test of the players, the all-star team, so you can parade them to a, uh, wet people's appetite. That's what Ollie said. All right. See, you didn't say what it is. I just love this message. Hello. Here's some screenshots of some of the players from the all-star team so you can parade them to wet people's appetite for the Hampions League. Awesome. That's a little small. So. What the ham... Sorry, you're right. What is the Hampions League? All I did was tell you you could sign up for it with if you were getting those gifted subs. The Hampions League is a tournament. It's a football manager tournament. You're going to build all-star teams, and you have the ability... So this is different than the past, where it was like more of a fantasy draft. But we have compiled all-star teams with available legends at their peak in football manager that you can select and manage. So you pick your team up at the beginning, kind of like... Uh, how, you know, a streamer showdown would work. And you can use, you know, Ronaldinho in his prime, who's looking mighty fine. Uh, what about, like, Kaká? You know, what, what about Kaká? We got him there. He's got, outra you know, outrageous Holy Trinity and all that nonsense. Who, who, who is this? This is, uh, oh, Steve and Gerard. Ah, should have 20 long shots, but he only has 18. So, yeah, so it's literally just a tournament. And then you'll end up in a group stage, and then you'll end up in the knockouts, and you'll just be managing against other people. Um, Steve and Gerard, we've got uh, Didier Drogba, Wayne Rooney, Aryan Robin, Mesut Ozil, Paul Pogba, Messi, Cristiano Ronaldo, all at the peak of their power. Manuel Neuer, Christian Eriksen, uh, Virgil van Dijk, Neymar, Salah, Ramos, Lewandowski, Modric, De Bruyne, Kimmich, peak of their powers. Oh. Where's that Ozil page, dude? It's probably sick. Wayne Rooney. Wayne Rooney. There he is. There's Messit with the 20 off the ball, the 19 flare, the 20 vision. <laughs> oh, brilliant. So you can build your team uh, from all stars available, legend all stars, and then you're good. Then you're playing the Hampions League. So sign up. If you want to play in the Hampions League, sign up. I have the Hamp so if you are a sub and you don't see the subscriber section of the Discord, you have to go to settings and Discord and you have to log, you have to, con you there's a connections section and you just connect your Twitch account to your Discord account because then Discord can see that you're part of the Elite Online Gaming <gasps> community. And then you're able to get into, you know, It'll show. It'll unveil it. It'll unveil it for you. Four long throws? Not good enough for my team. Bad. Um, oh, new job. Deportes. Oh, little rescue job. Little Zealand rescue job. Deport uh, Club Deportivo Magallanes. Oh, we could get this. Are they, like, depressingly low on the budget? Oh, no, 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 they're not at all. Well, they've actually got decent money compared to a couple of the other teams, and this is not a league that apparently has huge disparity in the amount of money you can spend either, which is nice. They are also not in debt. They're also nice. They're just, you know, they're just, uh, they're just a little low, but we could come in and do a rescue job, and then all of a sudden we're managing in a top division in South America. Ooh. Wait, the South African job's open. Okay, okay, okay. I'm oh, 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 hey. oh, dude. And they have such higher reputation. Oh, they have so. How much is the reputation of this league? No, it's not. It'd be like, where, where would I find it? Uh, two and a half star rep, DSTV Premiership. How long before this stream goes on Zealand Live? So the live channel editor Gadget just sent me his plan for how he wants to do it going forward. Wednesday, Friday, Sunday, Monday. So that's not a guarantee, but hopefully this will be up Wednesday morning. That's his plan for like when the week streams go up. You know? What's the playoff for? What are you talking about? Here? 
Oh, this is uh, for promotion. So, like, Tux and Meritsburg were in the second division, and Royal AM is the second-to-last team in the league. So it's a promo it's a three team promotion playoff basically second and third in the second division against 15 uh the 15th place team. TS Galaxy is going down. Dude, Cape Town City finished 13th. So what was Super what was Super Sports supposed to finish? Oh, their coach just left. They they were supposed to finish 4th out of 4. Who was their coach? Gavin Hunt. Where are you going, Gavin? Oh, they fired him. What did you do, Gavin? I can get this job, though. I can. Oh, we're, we're, oh I feel so bad playing Black Leopard. So. so both of these are three-star jobs. Obviously, significant teams. But Super Sport finished. In, oh, they're, in, they're playing in Africa. Do I want to do that? What do they qualify for? The African something? The African Confederations Cup. Sounds like a banger. Um, African Confederations Cup. Oh, Confederation, sorry. All right, what is this? The African Confederation Cup. You go in here. Super Sport was in this last year and didn't make it out. Of it. So you play a normal group stage. Okay, there's preliminary rounds, but I'm assuming... Oh, Supersport had to play preliminary rounds. I could just look at their schedule. Like, what does this entail? First round, you play Rayon Sport from Rwanda. Oh, this is going to be lit if I get this job, dude. Yeah, I want to play in Africa. I've never played in the African, uh, like, continental leagues before. Excellent training facilities. Payroll of three and a half million jinkies. I didn't say that. I didn't say that out loud. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> Hi. I can just read chat. Why? No, I know it's the second tier continental. I mean, I knew that much. I just wanted to like look at the format. Because obviously, like, the top the top tier of continental competition isn't going to put the third and fourth place team in it, you know? But, I, like, the, the, the African Champions League is taking the top two teams, and the, the, the next two teams are it's the second tier continental. Oh, I'm going to say I'm super interested. It'd be a fantastic opportunity. Hey, did you see me ball out, though? But, like, did you, but, like, my brothers, did you see me ball in the second division? We want this job. We want this job bad. And it's also, we can get a better job in South Africa because we have more reputation in South Africa than like if I'm applying to Chile, I've got no reputation even in South America. It's going to be harder for me to get that job. Guardiola got fired? They finished third, man. They missed the top by five points. That is savage. That is so savage. No, I'm not applying for it as a joke now, man. I actually want this job, dude. I'm not applying for it as a joke now. I want this job. Too many draws? Yeah, true. He lost the fewest matches of any team in the Prem. He played 38 matches in the Prem and lost three and got fired. Liverpool back on top, baby. Lost away to Liverpool, away to Arsenal, and a, a stunning home defeat to Newcastle, who finished <gasps> seventh. <laughs> like, what? Well, I mean, come on. Some of these draws were probably annoying. Like, home against Brentford is a throw-your-headset draw. Uh, but, like, away to United, Chelsea, away to Villa. Eh, where did they finish? Eighth. Home against Nottingham Forest is a throw-your-headset draw. But they didn't beat Arsenal or Liverpool all year, and that's probably what bothered them. You know, a way to Fulham, maybe a throw your headset draw, but they didn't get relegated. So, you know, that's that's tough. Wolves actually finished in 17th.
I forgot I had. We're just going down my like songs today, which has been a risky proposition. I forgot I had um, J. Cole here. So. But yeah, we, we, we've, how, how am I doing so far? Because normally I set up a playlist that like tailors the vibe, but we're going straight down my like songs on accident. And then I realized it was happening too late. And now we're just doing it. All right, we declare, do, do we declare interest in the super sport job as well? I mean, we might get our butts fired if we go too hard with it, but this is the job we want. I'm going to declare public interest in the job. Uh, just let them know. I'm just going to let them know. You know, I'm just going to let them, I'm just going to let them know. We can get a better job here than anywhere else. I don't want to go to Swallows, but Orlando Pirates is a huge uh, team in South Africa. So that would be, they, yeah, they've got nine premierships, nine Ned Bank Cups. Like, what's their, uh, they had the best defense in the league last year. What's their um wage? Dude! That's like, dude, that's like almost, that it's almost double super sport. Super sport was 3-3. Three, three. That, that, that's, oh, it's not almost double. It's like 75% higher though. They finished fifth. They finished fifth. They're not in Africa, which might honestly be a positive in terms of fixture congestion. So I'm I'm just gonna apply and declare interest for both. I think I think that's the move. I'm gonna apply and declare interest for both. I, I would love either of those jobs. Okay, where was the what was your reaction to being linked with such a high prof high profile? It's an honor to even see my name mentioned. All right. All right, J. Cole. You have to carry me through this one. Yeah, the, the timing was so perfect on that. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. I... Baby time. No, I know if I refuse to go, I get fired, so. I could quit. I don't want to quit, though. But I don't want to lie to him either. You know? I don't want to lie. No, because this, uh, this one's I just couldn't let an amazing opportunity pass me by. I see it was a mistake now, though, and I apologize for it. Tell him the truth. There is no option to tell him the truth. I would love to tell him the truth. All right? There's no option to tell him the truth. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. Oh, I need a bite of my bagel. All right. Resigner, you lose rep. Wait, 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 what?
If you get sacked, you lose rep. Ooh, that's new. Okay. So if you get sacked, you lose rep. I didn't know that. I can resign, though. Right? Why not do it in the meeting? The meeting doesn't have the option, bro. I can't even go into the meeting anymore. I'm about to get fired, I'm sure. All right, I'm resigning. Ugh. All right. We're clicking it, right? Polls going, top of the chat. Why the resign, right? Oh, I need this. This is what I need to make this decision. This is what I need to make this decision. I got the trophy, right? Yeah. No, oh, I'm not retiring. Oh, God, no, I'm not retiring. I just had a freaking heart attack. <sighs> Black Leopards, I want you to know it's been, it's been a wild ride. I'm ready for the next step of my career, but we did more. Than I think either of us thought we could this season. I'll always have a fond place in my heart for Black Leopards FC in the northeast of, uh, of South Africa. Good luck. I'll see you in the top flight. We'll be there together. <laughs> I 
just broke the game. What? Hit F4. Not Alt F4, just F4. Well, that didn't help. Oh, that did help. Okay. Thank you. No, you didn't fire me. I resigned. Bro, I resigned. Oh, my rep is still fine. What the hell, man? You didn't fire me. I resigned. Come on, man. What is that? All right, man. We're uh, we're in for some top South African jobs. Uh, let's let's back up that interest by applying to Swallows as well. Now that we don't have a job, let's make sure we can. Let's make sure we can get a job here. We've now hit the Chris Stapleton portion of my like songs. I don't, hey, I'm going to miss Black Leopards. I am. I'm going to miss Black Leopards. I'm all miss them. All right, Swallows, how you doing? I'm just going to apply. I'm not going to not going to declare interest or anything. I just want to, you know, we want to make sure we have a job next year. Probably in South Africa, you know. All right, uh, we're waiting. Hi. Um, what are your immediate thoughts following your firing by the Black Leopards? Um, I'm not going to speak candidly about it. Leave me alone. We did great things. We, we accomplished great things. I, I get it. You, you want to find the coach that's going to take you in the new direction. You want to find the coach that's going to take you in the new direction. I, I get that. But I think I've done enough. I've showed off my managerial skills in the second division of South Africa. We took a team that finished last the year before, and we won the league and got them promoted into the top flight. So, I, uh, I'm counting on the fact that we'll be able to get one of those two big jobs in South Africa, and this move will be worth it. There's a roll of the dice, though. We've, uh, we've taken the dice of life, and we have thrown them across the table. No, we're not applying to Man City. I don't want to over-clutter our applications. Dennis, thank you, though, for the four months. Aces, thank you for the 13. Virus, thank you for the 16 months. Enders, thank you for the nine months. Arnie, skip tax, thank you for the year. Kyle, thank you for the two months. Nates, thank you for the four months. Connor, thank you for the uh, two months. Major Milosh, thank you for the seven months. Surely they'll want me. They'll want me. They saw what I did. They saw what I did. Wow, a lot of a lot of movement. Okay, a lot of moves happening. Our lives take our chances and roll the dice. And be your lucky penny. And be my four. I forgot I applied to you. My, I, I do. They, Manchester United still hasn't said no. Manchester United still hasn't said no. Silent Shaw, thank you for the eight months, dude. Thanks How for supporting the channel. Fall back matter? Uh, not that much. As much as it matters for a center back. Um, I've used inverted fullbacks of both footedness, and it just hasn't really mattered that much for me. Um, they're basically playing as a wide center back, so as long as they're decent with the ball. Um, if they're super one footed, obviously, I think that could be a problem because then that limits what direction they can distribute to, but they rarely take the ball down the wing. So you're not looking for somebody that like has that outside foot nearly as much. You can just have it. It's set, training center backs to play as inverted fullbacks is helpful. It helps you overcome injury spells or being able to rotate your team throughout the season. Squiggle, thank you for the 29 months. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. 
Super Sport. Super Sport or Orlando Pirates. Orlando Pirates have got crazy money. I would love to spend it. It would be an honor to spend Orlando Pirates money. Yeah, there is an apply to all button, but I don't want to do that. That's, you know, come on, that's desperate. That's like having Tinder, Bumble, and Hinge. What are we doing here? It's not the vibe we're trying to give off. No, yeah, I mean, we won the league. I got sacked because we were applying to other jobs. I declared interest in two jobs, which was a bridge too far for them. Personal attack. Sorry, sorry, brother. Sorry. Nothing wrong with that. This is not the, you know, not what we're trying to do here. All right. Tab, thank you for the 11 months. You do you, man. I mean, you see those fishing boots. They put a lot of hooks in the water. But I know the way this game works. And the way this game works is, I mean, the way real life works, too. We have a better reputation in South Africa than anywhere else. Uh, people in South Africa, they know. People that know ball, they know what we did last year. People that really know ball, they know what we did last year. Of course, I continue to have faith. I wish I could tell you, like, yeah, you got fired for applying to jobs. I didn't get fired for performance. In fact, we performed tremendously. Oh, I'm the leading... Look! Look, it says I'm, I'm 11 to 10 to get the super sport job. Look, I'm not a big better, but that is a weird, crooked-looking number. I, um, I am the favorite to get uh, the super sport job. Some guy named Rude Van Nistelrooy is the favorite for the United job, whoever that is. Whatever. But I'm favorite for super sport. What's interesting, guys, if we get an offer... From Super Sport and Orlando Pirates, which one do we take? If we get an offer from both of those teams, which one do we take? Orlando Pirates or Super Sport? Do we play in Africa or do we go for the bigger budget? What are we thinking? Yeah, I like, do a poll. Do a poll. Do a poll. Let's let's run a poll real quick. Top of the chat. <laughs> No! The heck is in my freaking nose today? Dude. I don't have allergies, he says, with copium. Bradley Carnell is currently under considerable pressure to keep his job at St. Louis. I don't care. Orlando? No, Orlando Pirates are in South Africa. <laughs> so the guy saying, Orlando, don't do the same country, I have horrible news for you. Um, we have only applied to jobs in South Africa because that's where we have the best reputation. They like, we'll only leave South Africa once we've, like, accomplished what we can in South Africa. You know what I mean? Once we accomplish what we can in South Africa. Am I going to do an interview? Like, it's been a while. Luton's available? Ah, no. I don't want to go to England. We might go there at some point, but, like, the leagues I've recently managed in, Japan, Austria, England, um, Portugal, I'm not as interested in managing there. We don't want to run it back, you know? All right. We're still going. We just want to win everywhere we go. You know, we're going to do it the Mourinho way. We're going to friggin' earn it. We're going to win trophies above what anyone should possibly be able to win at our station. And we're one for one in that.
We took Black Leopards from last to first in one season. Got them promoted back up into the top division. Got fired for looking at new jobs because we're a baller. You know, that's what... <laughs> it's just so not me, I can't even pretend. We're Yeah, I'm a baller. It's like me playing... Um, like open world games, I can't even be mean to NPCs, dude. I told you we were in the Chris Stapleton section of my liked songs. Get comfortable. Supersport just waiting? Dude, I don't know. Also, if you haven't heard of Chris Stapleton, let this be your awakening. Dude's super good. Like, if you've ever heard that song, um, Tennessee Whiskey, which you have heard, it's one of those songs that you probably don't know the name of, but you have 100% heard the song Tennessee Whiskey, it's this guy. I've seen him live. I saw him. I, I discovered him because I saw him live on accident. Actually, I went to like a. So I, I went to school in Charlottesville, for those that don't know. Uh, and there was a lot of bad stuff going down in Charlottesville. Basically, the whole time I was there, like in the town of Charlottesville. Um, and so they had a benefit concert for like community healing and stuff like one of those things. And they invited a ton of huge artists. It was like Justin Timberlake and Ariana Grande and Coldplay. And then some dude named Chris Stapleton walks out with a gargantuan beard, huge cowboy hat, you can barely see his eyes, and it's just him and his guitar, and I, he blew me through the back of my chair, dude. You know, he's the best version of, like, you go into a bar in North Dakota, you're on a road trip, somehow that road trip involves herding cattle. And, and you st you're stopping by in a cold evening, and there's a big local crowd in the bar. And he blew me through the back of the chair, like, with the... Whoa, whoa, hey, 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 look. I will die on this hill. That is not me. That is you. That is chappy weird challenge impossible. Chat, that is, I said, so what I said is I saw Chris Stapleton live and he was so good. He blew me through the back of the chair. Like I was so floored. He like, and he sang so loudly, it blew me through the back of the chair. That's what I said. It doesn't involve my back at all. I'm talking about the back of the chair. Sometimes I feel like I can't even talk to you people. What are you, what are you even reacting to? Sometimes I bait it. That time... I don't even know what you reacted to. Goodness me. Did you know exactly? Oh, dude, I had that actual phrase, other than the fact that the word blue and the word back is in the, is in the sentence, Nothing remotely. God. You guys exist in real life or you just exist here? Unbelievable. The hole is getting deeper with all this digging. Brother Snow, no, there's, no, there's no hole. You can't convince me there's no hole. 
Did you guys not even watch my lead role in Brokeback Mountain? Seriously, it's like you don't know my career history at all. <laughs> Just me and Jake Gyllenhaal hanging out on the farm. Were you the mountain? Pablo, what do you want? No. I wish I knew how to quit you, Z. Speaking of which, I just watched the Jewel documentary. <laughs> that was weird. Specifically because I remember smoking those things for like five minutes and then they disappeared again. I don't know. Did Jewel even get out of the U.S.? smooth i no, yeah i realized like i pivoted to something i wanted to talk about the reason i was laughing when i said it is everybody's just gonna be like nice try to change the topic bro you did oh absolutely yeah they were those were unbelievably pervasive in college i remember my my date for like a uh, winter formal i had the cucumber one she's like you want to try it i was like sure I was like wow tastes like cucumber no way man But then, it, uh, I, what I didn't realize watching the Jewel documentary was how quickly it rose and fell. It was fascinating to me. Not Jewel the musician. No, no, no. It was like a, it was like an e cig. It was an electronic. Uh, it was that little like USB looking thing. It was everywhere. One of my favorite pictures of all time is actually a picture. It's like one of the funniest pictures I've probably ever taken. It was a picture of my friend, and he had like four jewels in each hand. And the caption was Edward Jewel Hands, which I just thought was, you know, sometimes I'm funny. Because he had just, like, collected a bunch of old jewels and he was walking around with them like that. Thank you. Yeah, I know. I, I've always been funny. But not today. No, no, no. They existed for, like, two years or maybe less. And just hilarious. Thank you. Explaining it made it even more funny. Thank you. I, it always does. It always does. On your love. This is the song, by the way. This is the song I was insisting you'd heard. So if you haven't heard it, now it's time to make yourself known. I po Yeah, I did post the taunt and save. Just waiting for my job here. It's been like 20 days. Just making sure that, uh, yep, all the applications are in. Okay. I haven't been rejected from Manchester United even yet. I think they're just taking a little time with the decision. Very U.S. centric have heard song. Oh, interesting. See, that's that's always a tough thing for me to diagnose as somebody that has grown up and always lived in the United States. <laughs> Yo, dang it, United! Shoot, Super Sporter offering a job interview. All right, this is the gold medal round. E strawberry wine. Here comes the big one. A glass of brandy. I have no idea how you do that, by the way. How you like are able to sing that. You need a tie? What? Who need Oh, I need a tie for the job interview. Yeah. I'm glad you've given me the chance to talk to the club. Let's get down to business. Are you worried about not being able to speak the language? Do. We're in South Africa, man. A vocal run? Yeah, but it's like a really elaborate vocal run. You know? I don't even know what notes he's hitting. It just over, you know. Americans can't speak English. It's <laughs> fun. This is so funny. Drinking dark whiskey. I actually just knocked my mic clip off the back of the table. Let me fix that real quick. <laughs> oh my goodness. 
goodness gracious! Saturday night. All right, I'm getting it. Ah, I'm getting it. Come here, you. Come on, Lassie. Turn the screws. Come on. There we go. All right, I put it back on. It has a clip, like, on the back of the table. Unbelievably painful to tighten, but we got it. Right, I'm in a job interview. That was a good way to start it. <laughs> you okay, bro? Maybe. We'll see. Um, it's relatively easy. Soccer is a universal language. Kulu. Kulu Sibia. It's a universal language. Uh, can you ease our concerns about your lack of experience? I'm not in the coaching game long, but as a result, I've not been able to build up the... Oh, no. I mean, I don't have the experience you're looking for, but I have done very well in my limited time. Yeah, that's true, isn't it? Can you handle the step up? Soccer, soccer, at the end of the day, I'm more than capable of doing well here. Can you explain why you appear to be in the... Well, Manchester United just said no, so I'm pretty in on you guys. I'm exploring my options. Why have you struggled to maintain a strong financial footing in your current job? Well, I don't have a current job, Kulu. I've despaired at some of the things I saw my board doing. I could, oh, wait, 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 wait. I could blame the board. I could blame, I'm, dude, I could blame the board. Be like, wow, well, the board, uh, there was some trips to, uh, Look, I saw a bar tab from one night out in Tokyo. Let me tell you. It was. Oh, they were running the show, so I couldn't do very much about it. <laughs> hey, they fired me, man. Um, uh, yeah, they fired me. Are uh, you looking to bring any staff with you? Um, I'd require a small budget to make a few changes. Work within the budget. Grow the club's reputation qualify for the ch oh you want to finish top two all right that's an exciting vision let's do it let's freaking do it top two or bus that's what i'm talking about i got nothing for you all right well, i can see lions only swim in salt water super sports seem to like me makes them sneeze Has the music been twangy the whole time? No. We're going down my like songs. I told you guys we were getting into the Chris Stapleton portion of my like songs. You guys feel free to judge me at any point, but we I, we clicked on the top song of my liked songs, and we've just been going down. So we've listened to... Yeah, I can pull it up over here. We've listened to all of these songs. Better than we had a little Foo Fighters hit, then some Tate McRae, then some Led Zeppelin, then some Audion, Hollow Coves, little Tash Sultana kick, Dixieland Delights in there. And we are now, we've listened to some, there's some Julia Wolf songs in here, some Landon Conrath, and we are here. We're on midnight train to Memphis. We're making our way downtown. How the relationship with the Black Leopards in? I declared interest in two of the top jobs in South Africa. <laughs> they fired me. Well, they called a meeting, which I tried to leave and resign, but me leaving the meeting meant they fired me. So they fired me as I was attempting to resign to save face. Freelancer actually is in my liked songs, but it's way down because I added it like three years ago.
the Polish capital of country music. Hey, look, country music's not a problem for me. There's a lot of bad country music out there, but I got a little country boy in me. I'm just a, you know, I'm all about smashing stereotypes. Yeah, you, know, you leave for 20 minutes and I'm a free agent. Look, man, it can happen fast in this save. You got to pay attention. You got to have good agility. It can happen fast. It, it can. It can happen fast out there. It can happen fast. Oh, yeah, this song. You're right. The next, somebody said the next song is a banger. This song. This is like one of my nice run through the wall songs. I got to go pee real quick. Well, we, oh, wait. I want to see if we got an interview real quick. Do, do, do. Orion, thank you for the prime, dude. I appreciate you being a part of the hammers. I gotta go to the bathroom. Enjoy the song. Is that a world record? Was that a world record? It felt like it. Teeman, I was hustling. Fatsoul, thank you for the prime. Thanks for supporting the channel. Teeman, thank you for the 13 months. I appreciate you. Chair, how was your weekend? Very smooth. Ooh. Had me feeling some type of way. Didn't wash hands? Dude, I ran them under the water. Why did he leave the leopards? They fired me, technically. Hey, I want Orlando Pirates to say yes to the dress here. They requested my coaching staff changes. Uh, what's the budget? 269,000. Nice. Also, what? <laughs> Two hundred sixty nine thousand dollars. I'm pretty sure I could sack the entire coaching staff and it would be under that. It would be close. I said small changes. These guys have. Bro, they got the they, they got some firepower, man. Oh, this is the Black Leopard staff. Oh, yeah, we're not bringing any of those guys. No offense. Love you guys, but I also don't. Important, uh, important thing. Uh, I don't. Oh, uh, is that broadcast cash, baby, in the top flight? You know what it is? You know what it do? Oh. Sorry, I get distracted by music really easily. I just love this guitar solo. It's so cool. This was on my running playlist, so this is like having a, uh, my brain is having some sort of like visceral, visceral, like almost PTSD sort of reaction to like me running 27 miles or whatever. I'm like, okay. <laughs> like, uh, I mean, I'm getting like some weird spike in adrenaline from it because it's, you know, it's like wired in that this song means I'm, my body's supposed to be like going through hell and back. 
Um, coaching staff, right? Garrett or Grant Johnson. That's actually a decent goalkeeping coach. We'll keep him on board. Um, then there's Jabu Malaleke, and then there is Carl Tabane. These guys aren't bad, though. That's the thing. I don't know, like, what we can get, which is a tricky spot. Andre Arens Arenze. Arenze. Okay, I'm going to get rid of the assistant coach. Nadunzo Mokoena. Yeah, I'm going to bring in my own head of youth development. I'm going to bring in my own assistant coach. Um, that, wow, that was a little more expensive than I thought it was. I hate math. Um, Jacques. Oh, my goodness. Her head physio is so good. How is Naleen Hoffman here? I mean, we can definitely do better than those two physios, but Jackie McCord Uies. I don't know how to say that, but um, very, very good. Sports scientist Innocent Nchunu. All right, yeah, they actually didn't give me a ton. Luvingo, my... Okay. How are the scouts still bad, dude? The chief scout Mungamini is gone. The chief scout Mungamini is gone. We'll keep the lower stuff in place. Edwin Meyer will stay, because I don't think we can get good coaches, but these coaches aren't bad. Carl Tabane, Malaleke, not bad. I'll keep him. So we're getting rid of the assistant coach, head of youth development, physio, sports scientist, chief scout, if we take this job. Those are our proposed coaching changes, and then they should offer me the job right after that, which I will delay in order to size up our potential job with Orlando Pirates. This is going to be this is going to be tight. We're going to, going to be tight. So I think we prefer Orlando Pirates because they have so much more money. Run GMC, thank you for the 14 months. Hope you have a new shiny suit ready for your new job, Gaffer. Come on, lads. What we got here, lads? They've approached me. Delay. Agree to delay. Okay, come on. You got, look, Orlando, you got a week, bro. You got a week. Can I withdraw my name from consideration? Can I unapply from a job? I would love to unapply from Swallows because we've guaranteed we've got this job offer. Come on, Orlando. Vamos, Orlando. Go. Why do you leave South Africa to go back to South Africa? I got fired because I was applying to two of the biggest clubs in South Africa. But now we've got a job offer from a club that finished fourth in the top league last year. Swallows, I would like to decline our interview formally. I appreciate the offer. I will be attending the Orlando Pirates interview. This is our number one preferred job, I believe, because they have so much money. But we'll see. Uh, hello, Irvin. How you doing? Oh, what? What up, Irvin? Hey, man. These are concerns about your lack of experience. I have a, but I do have a good track record so far. You know, I do. Can I handle the step up? I'll just do the same answer. Soccer, soccer at the end of the day. You're up for a few jobs right now. Uh, I know how it might look, so it's up to you as to whether it rules me out of contention. I am more than prepared to withdraw from all of them if it's a red line. I don't want to give up the other great job offer that we have if you're not going to give me the job. So I'm going to say I'm exploring my options. Uh, I will also blame the board for our financial issues at the last club. Would you be comfortable working with... What? What? It, that's not his name. Screamer Shabalala? No. That's not a real. I don't want to leave the meeting, but we are looking that up. So I'm so I am not just happy to work with Screamer Shabalala. I am over the moon to work with Screamer Shabalala. Yeah, I'm happy to work with him. What? Did the guy change his name? Did the dude from the World Cup change his name? We understand the importance of having the right coaching staff in place when a head coach moves to a new club. Um, a small budget would do. Just make, be able to make some changes. 
Um, exciting vision. Oh, they want us, dude. First season, they're like top two. And then every year after that, they're like, win the league. And then win it every year. Develop the best youth system in the country. Grow the club's reputation. Win a domestic cup. Between, become the most reputable team in South Africa. And, uh, okay. Qualify for the Champions League. Yeah, I love the ambition. Um, I got nothing to add. I am very excited about potentially taking over to Orlando Pirates as well. Um, you declined the invitation from Swallows. Interview for the vacant head coach post. Um, <laughs> the bottom answer is so toxic. Work for them? Be serious now. Oh, oh Screamer Shabalala. Somehow it not being the guy that scored at the World Cup makes this even better. His name is just Screamer Shabalala. Screamer Shabalala Orlando Pirates. Stanley Screamer Shabalala. Oh, it's a nickname. Dang it. Wait, he denies interfering with coaching. Oh, God, this guy's great. <laughs> Pirate Screamer Shavalala on Medley. It's, so it's a nickname, but they do refer to him in news articles as Screamer Shavalala. Stanley Screamer Shavalala. Whoa, he has a website. Oh, this is vintage South Africa right here. Stanley Screamer Shabalala was born in Orlando East in 1949. This first sport to attract him was boxing. He was a student. This is literally his own website. Let's go to the homepage. What, what else has he got? That is Bra Stan. I don't know what that uh, stands for. Was a founding member of the Kaiser Chief. Founding member of the Kaiser Chiefs. He earned his nickname Screamer because of his incessant shouting for the ball. Nice. Screamer Shabalala. Oh, that's sick. Can I zoom? Can I pull this picture? No, there's, I don't know how this website's put together, but that old picture is cool. Screamer Shabalala. All right. Real dude. Nickname, but. The owner of the Pirates' nickname is Iron Duke. Well, this might be the best boardroom you could ever hope to be a part of. Irvin Koza is the Iron Duke. Is that what you're saying? So we have Screamer Shabalala, who is the general manager. Give me the ball. Wow. All right, I'm tweeting it. This is a tweet. Are right, you guys ready? We're going into the Twitterverse. Otherwise known as Twitter because X just feels weird to say. All right. That's uh, too zoomed out. You can't see it. The things you got to think about. Will that work? Is that more like zoomed in? I don't really know how this stuff works. Okay, so like that, and then I... Yeah, it'll work. Potentially the greatest name in football manager history. It is. It is potentially the greatest name in football. No, it's too small. It's too small. Hold on. Hold on. It's too small. We got to zoom it in more. I'm doing it a disservice. It's doing a disservice. If you're ever wondering why I delete tweets, that's why. I do something stupid, and I'm like, oh. Uh, like that, maybe? Yeah, that's, that's how we'll do it. Okay. That. Oh, yeah, there it goes. Potentially the greatest name in football manager history. 
There we go. Now we're doing it justice. Now people will see Screamer Shabalala out there. Did I spell history wrong? I did. Because it's her story. God. No, okay, we'll just leave history then. We'll just... <laughs> There it is. It's ready. Okay. Did I get sacked? No. I left of my own will after they fired me. Continue. Yeah, I think it, I think I added this song to my like songs. Wait, is it shuffling? How did it get there already? This song was added a long time ago. No, it wasn't, I guess. Oh, I had to re-add it. I added this song when I was in grad school. I used to like stare at snowy nights and listen to this song, which is very useful for. But I it got deleted from my like songs, so I had to re-add it. Which is why it's like six months ago. We're probably at about six months ago in my like songs. All right. Was that Clip of Z being sacked? Oh, I mean, I was sacked for applying to jobs, but I, I was fired. I was fired for my job. Hi, uh, you open to working abroad again? Uh, certainly, absolutely. Uh, what's next? Can't wait to get back in the swing of things. I'm already looking at a few potential destinations, and uh, we might, you know, we might have a good spot lined up. So let's do that. Please, Zealand, get a job. We're hungry. Bro, what am I feeding you? You guys are getting food out of this? What? When is, when is lunch? I'm hungry. You guys, Uber Eats should be arriving like in the next 10 minutes. I got you guys all pizza. Hopefully that's okay. Oh, first goal has been scored in Euros qualifying. Who scored it? The Czech Republic, which, I mean, it kind of makes me sad because Moldova making it would be absolutely nuts, right? Moldova's had a tough year, a few years, tough existence. So that would be cool to have them make it, but now they need two goals. So Czechia is not going to waste its chance to get back to the Euros, it looks like. Early goal from Dodera. Uh, but, you know, congrats, if, especially if you're Czech. That, that is a nerve-wracking situation to be in, one of those kind of winner-take-all qualifying matches. Yes! We got it. We got the Orlando Pirates job. Wow, I was in some type of mood when I was putting this together, wasn't I? Oh, this is a driver's license cover. It's time to work with Screamer Shabalala. All right, I'm not bringing any other staff. Screamer's locked in. <laughs> Dude, what are the names? I thought, it was, I thought it was Mandela, but we're missing the E. Mandla Insikazi. Uh, he's bad, so we're, we're going to get rid of Mandla Insikazi. How much budget? Dude, this club is so rich. They just gave me three times the money. Kale Kutzi. Oh, he's not bad. He's like actually not bad. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep him. Um, Orlando Pi. Oh, they have more coaches. Okay, they gotta go. They do okay. Do we need do we need four fitness coaches? Yes. Oh, okay. Never mind then. Because we have them. <laughs> Ezekiel, see ya. Warren Engelbrecht, Percy, you're gone. Hilmi Gweldike, also gone. 
We're getting rid of all four fitness coaches. And how dare you waste all of the spots on our team with that? Tyron Damons, he's actually decent. It'd also be pretty expensive to cut him, but I don't care. We have a lot of money. Malefi Mapakela. Uh, Mapakela, I think we can do better than you, but I'm not sure, but I'm going to try. And if I can't, then I will come back to you and grovel. Rayan Jacobs. Head physio, John Williams. I love your compositions, by the way. Um, all right, I'm going to keep all of our physios because we have one more physio than we're allowed to have. Pirates. So I don't want to cut one. Uh, Chief Scouts, CT Bay. How are the scouts so bad in this country? A 6-7? Six, 6-7? Seven, six, seven? Carlo, you're bad too, man. All right, we're not wasting any of this cutting anybody else. Um, they already don't have – oh, well, they don't have a chief scout because I got rid of the chief scout. But we're, we're going to leave your youth coaching staff in place. All right, we're not going to waste the money that we have doing that. Big Tucker, thank you for the 22 months. On if the, I, I said that you would be able to freely judge me. This might be the part of my liked songs where I will be the most judged. Get Zulu in? We might. Should I drop a uh, performance analyst? Yeah, probably. Ray, we could probably do better than Ray and Jacobs. Uh, have you seen the Python scouting stuff? Thoughts on it? I have been talking to the guy for about a week and a half, and we're making a video. <laughs> so, yes, I am very familiar. I am very familiar with the guy. I've watched the video. It was awesome. Uh, and I have one of the people that I work with that likes to mess with code. And he came to me and he was like, I think we can add to this and make it even better. And I was like, cool. So we got in touch with Squirrel Plays. And now Squirrel Plays, myself and my friend who works with the um, code, are all in a group chat putting together a set of ideas to try and make it even better. So, yeah, I am familiar with it. Kev beat you to it? No, I, I know that. But I also know Kev. Uh, Squirrel Plays is also the nicest guy of all time. Uh, he, The moment I reached out to him, he's like, Lelujo also reached out to me. And my answer was, and I'm not kidding, exactly, I don't care. So we're going to make the video we're going to make, and it's going to be better than everything. <laughs> but Squirrel Plays was very nice about it. He was like, I, I don't care. Cause I, I'm gonna be honest, I don't really watch any other FM creator. Like in that, like I don't really watch Kev, Jack, Ben, um, Clates. I watch Tom sometimes, but he has some like crazy ideas. Clates has those that you know, like where they do like crazy stuff. I just never really watched the daily upload stuff. You know, I never, I never did. And I, and now it's like a thing. Now it's a thing for me. Where I'm afraid if I watch that stuff regularly that I'll lose my ability to come up with like outside of the box things, right? So it'd be a very obvious thing. I'm getting rid of you, Tyron. Uh, so 400000 worth of compensation. They're going to love me. I'm coming in under. There you go. Screamer Shabalala's in the chat. Yeah, somebody changed their name like immediately. And I always love when people do that. But somebody, somebody, somebody changed their name in the chat. Respect, by the way, to whoever did change their account name immediately to Screamer Shabalala. Your account, whatever your account name was before, as awesome as it was, and as much as I probably recognize it because you have golden bacon, Screamer Shabalala is better. It is. Ben and Jack moan too much? No, they're both great creators. I think people say that way too much all the time. People look at content creators that they don't like personally and fail to understand why other people like them. It is very difficult to succeed in the industry that I am in. Unbelievably difficult. Every 12-year-old with a mic wants to do the job we're doing. I got stupid lucky. But I always found I, I, I always try not to disrespect anybody that is successful in this space because they are doing something right. You might not understand what it is. It's actually one of the most powerful things that I think 
I have, I have, fr obviously, most of my friends are people that do this or some form of this. Um, not most of my friends, but most of the friends I've made in the last three years. Um, and one of the most powerful things one of them said has said to me was just because you don't like somebody doesn't mean you can't learn from them. Right? Because like just because you don't like watching somebody does or just because you don't like watching a certain form of content doesn't mean that other people don't like it. And there's a reason that they do. And learning the reason that they do could be really valuable. Right? So like if, you know, somebody's a manager or something at your company or somebody's really succeeding and you would like to succeed that much, but you don't like them and you don't understand why it's happening. Well, you gotta you you, you can learn something from that still. Didn't know you were pivoting to being a life coach. No, I just, I, I it, it's a thing that for, you know, personally for me bothers me is I always try and preserve respect for people that are able to, to do it. You know, I do. Sastius, thank you for converting to a tier one, brother. Ghost Dust, thank you for the prime and Grillito. I didn't thank you. Uh, oh, somebody gifted Screamer Shabalala the sub. But Screamer Shabalala is on Gold Bacon, which means they've been subbed a lot in the past. But Grilito, thank you for the gift and sub to Screamer Shabalala. It's like gigabrained. brained We got it? Chat, our gamble worked! We took a chance. We said, you know what? I think one of the big clubs in South Africa is going to give us a freaking job. And we went, you know, we're going to trust that. We're going to trust that we did enough last year, taking a team from the bottom to the top of the second division, showing off our ability in South Africa, that we were going to get an offer from one of the clubs in South Africa. And we did. Let's go to Africa. Let's see how, what, is this one of the biggest teams in Africa? It probably is. Let's go to the major clubs. So Mamelodi, dude, it's, dude, it's the second biggest team in South Africa on reputation. It's one of the 10 biggest clubs in all Africa. And we have gotten there in one year. We are massive. Joey, thank you for the 21 months. Up the Pirates. Thank you for supporting the, uh, the stream. Up the Pirates. I appreciate it. Wow. That is, uh, we, we've had a, they're bigger than Kaiser Chiefs. I would not have got, I would have said third. I would have said they were probably behind the Sundowns and Kaiser Chiefs. I did not know they were bigger than Kaiser Chiefs. I mean, obviously, we're talking marginally here, but they're bigger than Raja Casablanca? Oh. Oh, you thought I wasn't about to play this song? Two years, we become the king of Africa. You ready? They're giving us a two-year contract right off the top. I always just accept. The Look at my salary. Oh, they're paying me $178,000 a year. Oh, boys, we are balling. Steakhouse every night. Oh, let's go. No negotiation. Give me that offer. We're going to the Orlando Pirates. Woo! Orlando Pirates today confirmed the appointment of Zeeland Shannon as the club's new head coach. Eyebrows have been raised at the appointment of a 28-year-old who recently spent time away from club soccer. And he's sure to face plenty of questions when he faces the media for the first time at Orlando Stadium. He lifted the Glad Africa Championship with Black Leopards in May and will now be afforded the chance to enhance his reputation. By bringing success to his new club, he replaces Jose Rivero. What you got? 
nine-time champions of South Africa, nine-time Ned Bank Cup winners. Got the, what are all these freaking cups? Be the coach, cha African Champions League lost the first round. Jeez. Uh, 40,000 seat Orlando Stadium with excellent tran Oh, we have a $3 million transfer budget. Oh, my God. Oh, we are so in. The vibes are immaculate. Bro, did I try to sign this guy last year? I think I did. Finish above Kaiser Chiefs in the league. Love that. Love that energy. Soweto Darby for the win. I bless the rains out of Africa. Who we got? I don't know if it's Premier League quality, but this dude's definitely got a job on any championship team he wants. This dude's good. Wow. I We might not need to make a lot of changes to this team. They might have just had a lot of talent and a bad manager because that dude is the bee's knees right there. Has he opted out of his contract? Oh, it ends. He opted out of his contract at the end of next year. Power move. I don't need the money, dude. You can... You can, you can get you can get on. I don't need the money. Vibes are great here at Orlando Pirates. We've got ourselves a new job. God, I love midfielders like this. What an athlete. Covers so much ground. Takes the ball away. Good man. He's a good man. All right. Uh, uh, Tim Bencosi Lorch. I don't know if I like you as much. Oh, the fans love him, though. So the best thing for me to do would be to show up and dumpster this guy. North Macedonia have a pen against England. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. After VAR review, Boyan Miovsky goes down in the box after a challenge for the defender, possibly unsighted. The referee waves play on, and they reviewed it and gave it. Penalty kick, 40th minute. North Macedonia, the giant slayers. They're not going to make the Euros, though, which I, I feel bad for them. Oh, they just gave Rico Lewis a yellow. I'm assuming he was the guy that took him down. That or it was dissent. It'll, they'll fill in the information in the co uh, for elbowing. Okay, so I'm guessing that was the actual foul.
Well, I just ruined the VOD. He missed it! He missed it. No, he didn't. He did, but he did. Bro, he missed it, but then he didn't. And he got the rebound. England's losing, man. So yeah, I did just ruin the VOD. Isle's right. Thank you for figuring that out. So all, all of the music that's not supposed to go on the VOD has absolutely been on the VOD. So if you're watching the VOD, the whole thing's going to be muted. And I'm sorry. Um... That doesn't affect, like, the live channel or anything. The live channel will be fine. But if you're trying to watch the VOD on Twitch, we're probably going to have to take it down um, so that we don't get a DMCA. And then we'll put it up on YouTube. We just won't make any money from it on the full streams channel. Uh, and But it won't affect the live channel or anything. Yeah, it won't, it won't affect the live channel, but it will. That we I did absolutely torpedo the VOD for Twitch, and I apologize to those people that watch that. Good find, Dial. Very good find. Dial, if you can figure out how to do that, I'll do it and I won't delete the VOD, but we can talk about that later. Timiko Z Lorch. I don't like him. Oh, some other goals have been scored. Another goal. Hey. 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 Welcome to Zealand News. We've got our latest goal updates to get you to from the wide world of football and sports and stuff. Uh, Zealand, what's our first update? Oh, yes, of course. So, the Euro qualification currently going on. We've got a big goal here in the Slovenia-Kazakhstan match. Uh, you might not think that's important. But if Kazakhstan wins that match, then Kazakhstan, yes, freaking Kazakhstan, will be the team advancing to the Euros instead of Slovenia. So a very important goal here. It's been scored by none other. Do you see that? Janet, can we get Janet? Can we get it on screen, Janet? Dang it. Janet! Janet, we want to get it on screen, dang it. Where is it, Janet? There it is. Benjamin Sheshko from the penalty spot in the 41st minute. FM wonder kid, Benjamin Sheshko makes it 1-0 Slovenia as we close in on halftime. The other two scores, obviously, Czechia has the lead over Moldova. North Macedonia has the lead over England in a match that does not matter. England is still going to the Euros. Other match of importance, Ukraine and Italy right down there. Now, this is very important. Okay, if Ukraine scores one goal, Italy is going to the playoff again. Now, fortunately for Italy, fortunately for Italy, fortunately, North Macedonia will not be going to the playoff. At least I don't think. I don't really remember. We reviewed this earlier, but I don't think they're going to the playoff. So, good news. For Italy, even if they happen to lose. And Ukraine, if it wins that match, Ukraine will be going to the Euros. Slovenia right now needs to give up two goals. Northern Ireland and Denmark are nil-nil in a match that does not matter. And Albania and Faroe Islands, huge shout-out to the Faroese 
for having not conceded yet because Albania is guaranteed to go to the Euros for just the second time in its history is level with Faroe Islands at nil. But of course, the most important match of the day, San Marino and Finland. San Marino is nil-nil with Finland. Now, if San Marino manages to get a point in this match, it might be the single greatest upset in the history of sports. The worst national team in the world trying to get a point against an actual team full of actual professional players, Finland. Now, Finland, rather narrowly, has already been eliminated from qualifying contention for the Euros. I just want to make sure here on my fancy little table that Finland... Wait, Finland's in the playoff. Finland has already advanced to the playoff for the Euros because they were in League B and a League B champion won. Finland was the next highest ranked team. Finland is going to the playoff for the Euros. And San Marino is trying to just ruin their day. Now, the possession, 73% to Finland. The shots, only five. Is this IRL coverage? Yes. Look at that. Only five shots for the Finns there. Yeah, that's a little dicey for them. There is hope for San Marino to get a point against a team that is going to the playoffs to get to the Euros. And that's your update as these matches are getting into halftime. Only three goals scored in the early window. Now for what you really care about, African World Cup qualifying. Mali is choking because, of course, Mali is choking. They always choke. <coughs> like I'm choking now. <coughs> uh, they are not beating Central African Republic, which is a shame because we do believe that Mali is going to get to its first World Cup in this cycle. Now, fortunately for Mali, they did beat Chad in the opening match 3-1, so they can kind of afford a bit of a hook, like a bit of a hiccup here. Madagascar's beating Chad, an L for Chad's everywhere in Kenya. Pretty impressive performance, 5-0 at 75 minutes against Seychelles. The Guineas, Guinea-Bissau and Equatorial Guinea, finding three points apiece earlier today. Then one of my starred matches of the international break, Gambia against Ivory Coast, finished 2-0 to Ivory Coast. And the Ivorians trying to get back to the World Cup after looking objectively not good for a while. That concludes this Zealand News update. Janet, get me off the screen! All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right, we're back. <laughs> There's your update at halftime of the uh, matches going around. Faroe Islands and San Marino trying a bit, uh, trying to get the big results there. So who was next? Vincent Poulet. He's not good either. I mean, relative to those other guys we just saw, he's got the haircut like he's good though. You know, and that does matter. You got to have the haircut like you're good. Wow, the, dude, the step up in quality that we have undertaken. Richard Afori. He's hurt. Is this like a nine-monther? Or no, he'll be back at the start of the season. He broke his hand, though. I feel like that's kind of important. Goalkeeping and all, you know. Uh, in in, in Cosinati Sabisi. Okay, this dude's the bee's knee. I'm, I'm all in. Yeah, he's... I can win the league with this dude at right back. I, I, I can win the league with Sabisi at right back. It's an old squad, but I don't care. Uh, Chego uh, Fatso Mabasa. I feel like I've, I've, I've run into this name before. I know this guy. Chego Fatso Mabasa. Oh, he hates big matches. Ah, I see. A bit of a trend. A bit of a trend in the team. Eight goals, four assists, and 27 matches last year. Very consistent, just struggles with the pressure of the moment. Okay. Shego Fatso Mabasa. That's our first, like, forward. Oh, why, why did I not look at Lapasa? I just skipped him. Oh, he's, he's just a pure advance forward. Oh, they both hate big matches. Well, what am I going to do about that, Doug? 
Hmm. Well, we got to get a better person providing opinions. We got to get our staff sorted first. So this stuff, we can look at their attributes. Those are accurate, but we can't judge their hidden attributes as well if we don't have a good person providing opinions. Bandile Shandu. A lot of tens. A um, lot of tens. God, that center back, though. That center back got my hopes incredibly high. Okay, we got a good left back and right back. Oh, very good. Innocent Maela. Wow, look at him. He's beautiful. Look, look at him. He's beautiful. He's beautiful. I'm so proud of San Marino. What's the San Marino account saying? I am so proud of San Marino. What's my boy at the San Marino account? <laughs> Parking the bus simulator, San Marino edition. Get him, boys. Get him, boys. Get him, boys. Oh, how many people love the name, by the way? The greatest name in football manager history. Screamer Shabalala. People like it. Okay. It's like when you find a shiny rock on the beach and you want to show other people the shiny rock. That's what that name is to me. I wanted to show other people that name. It's a shiny rock. Whew, this guy's like might be a better goalkeeper than the other guy. Malusi Butalezi. Okay. Um, so we have two good keepers. Kermit Erasmus. What do you got against Kermit? He seems fine. I don't think he's much worse than the other guy we got up there. He's 34. Ooh, I'm not trying to develop a team over time. I'm trying to win games this year. And this dude's got 15 long shots and 16 flair. Jumping rate's a little low for a guy that's going to play forward. He could totally play as an attacking midfielder, though. Swaibu Maru. We got a lot of strikers. Cameroonian Swaibu Maru. Okay, I'm not keeping this dude, too. So, uh, Swaibu Maru. All right, we need to handle our staff first. We need to get a good coaching staff in so that we can, like, appraise well. Kale Kotze, I can't believe they have a decent youth development head here. But we need to get a coaching staff in first. There's an order of operations. This is my PEMDAS. All right, coach, determination, motivating, uh, discipline. Give me 10 and then give me attack. Give me attacking. So wait, we have how many coaching spots? We have seven. Okay. Seven coaches. Um, that's like the most depressing thing ever. All right, let's get an assistant coach first. Motivating, discipline. Determination. Four guys. Okay. What are your mentals? Oh, uh, bad coach, though. Oof. Oof. Irv Longunji. They're all bad coaches. Yeah, they're all bad coaches, ain't they? Well, this guy isn't. Nenad Vikshevich. Yeah, see, that is a good coach. That is a very good coach who actually has good opinions on things. I might not be able to speak his language, but uh, I can bring in Vikshevich for a year. And he, I don't know why he wants to work with me, but he does. And Nenad Vikshevich very clearly just stands out. On this list. There's nobody else on this list that's walking those attributes anywhere close. So we're getting a Montenegrin um, uh, assistant coach. So we're going to go with fitness coach, goalkeeping coach. We need one of each. Fitness. Surely we're not getting like 20. It's like 17. Sweet. Vladimir Prokjevic. All right. If there's a dude with great mentals who's at like 15 or over, we'll probably take him. Anybody with good mentals here? Determination, motivation, disciplines, what we're looking at. I'll put those three together. Um, so this guy, uh, Benny Lima, he also doesn't have a job right now. I don't know. He isn't bad, and he's got great adaptability. He'll get here and make it happen. Oh, he wants no money. Oh, this poverty wage, 20000 a year. Vladimir, does he want a senior job? Yeah, 
That's for the senior fitness coaching job. Okay. All right. Wow. $20,000 a year. Nobody tell him how much he could actually make. Just nobody tell him. Yeah, like 11s. Oh, yeah, we can. Oh, yes, we can. Oh, we can definitely get a better coach. Oh, David Priest. No way. Englishman? Well, shame he doesn't speak the language. Hey, this guy under $25,000 a year. Be our goalkeeping coach in the first team. We're bringing an eclectic collection of guys. Understandably. Understandable. Um... Probably can't keep this party in South Africa if we're going to pull this off. So we got five spots left. Five spots left. Is there nobody? Are you serious? Not a one. Not a single person. Bro, what? 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 Oh, wow, that was stupid. I was looking for a goalkeeping coach. <gasps> oh, no, Zealand, Zealand, no. No, Zealand, no, Zealand, no. What are you doing? You fool. <laughs> oh, man. Milan Kirich, they're the only guy. If I drop it to eight. No, it's o Omar Edwards, obviously. Oh, yeah, he's a good technical attacking coach. Tremendous working with you. He's the assistant. How is this guy with these attributes? The assistant coach for Turks and Caicos. Bro, I don't know. Wow. All right. He's like, wait, you want me to be a senior coach? I'm like, yes, dude. You're very good. So attacking technical. Uh, we could go after Mirren Sherich and do attacking tactical with Mirren Sherich. I don't want you to be the assistant coach, but you also don't want any money, so I can just up this, and you'll still be getting paid, like, as much as Omar. Okay, so Marin Sirich is my attacking tactical coach. Defending coaches are usually harder to find, but, you know, we'll take a swing. Imp oh, yes, a South African. We, we need those. We need South Africans. No, I don't. I want you to be a senior coach, man. I'm building, I'm bu I, I'm building an elite group. Impelonye Mkise. He's the only guy that has good defensive uh, coaching ability. I mean, seriously, the only guy that has good ability to coach defense. So we're going to move these up to eight, and then we're going to rock this to technical. Oh, it went to 15. Oh, Omar Edwards is the only one. Or no, mental. Shoot, it's mental. Mental. Please, it's Nanad Vukshevich. How is it Nanad Vukshevich? Because my assistant coach is a god. That's how. Anybody else a good mental coach? Andy Herman. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Reserves head coach. Now, bro, I want you to be a coach. Senior team. I am messing around. I'll give you a big raise to make sure you accept it, but I am stealing you from Cape Town Spurs. You're a coach for me. So we had five left. We've signed one defense, one mental, two attacking. So we've got one spot for one more. If we find a mental or defensive coach that we like more. Okay, no, I need uh, somebody that's really, goodness gracious, defending. There is one guy that's got defending at a high level. Now, if you guys have a decent Holy Trinity, Andy Herman does. Christopher Daves, yeah, he's fine. A Jamaican who is at Sporting Central in Jamaica. 
I'm going to end up with two Jamaicans in my coaching staff. I don't know what to tell you. We're ending up with two Jamaicans in our coaching staff. Yaman. Yeah, Killer, thank you for the prime. When they asked me if I could speak the language when I'm managing in Jamaica. Yaman. Yeah, Wait, do we have that much payroll open? Dude, this is like my ideal start. I got a whole new staff to hire. They've given me like 33, 30, like almost 40% of the wage budget is just open for me to spend. <laughs> Games, thank you for the 27 months. Thank you for supporting the stream. I appreciate you. Thank you for being a part of the Elite Online Gaming <gasps> Holy wow, she got a job at the money. bank. What? We had, it, I mean, you might as well have stropped a jet rocket. Like, to my ass. Seriously. Like, we are going to, with that? And look, look at how much more we have. I have $3 million in the transfer budget. Million with an M. I suppose the only other way that could have gone was billion, and that, that would have been higher, but million with an M. Like, we had it, dude. If we're just signing free agents, which we might, you know, might be wise, we could have over nine million. Nine million a year. That's more than, like, ten times what I was going to have at Black Leopards FC. Is this money realistic in South Africa? Yeah. The top of the South African League is a huge deal. It is a hit. Like, the second division clearly isn't, but the top of the South African League, and like, like they, they have huge stadiums that are full. Uh, <clears throat> like, somebody said the derby that we play against Kaiser Chiefs, they get 90,000. Get your best players from your old team. Yeah, problem is they probably already re-signed. I offered to two contracts, those two guys. Uh, we need to get a scouting staff in, too. We need to ask everybody we're signing for recommendations. Because I think I have a foreign player limit. Um, I have a max of five foreign players. And right now we are running with Inda, which I'm totally cool with. And Saibu Maru, which I'm totally not cool with. And then there's al also Kareem Kim Vuiti. But he's under 21, so he doesn't need to be registered. So that's why he's unregistered. That guy's pretty good. Damn. Well, he will need to be registered next year. Which is unfortunate, because then we have to, like, really assess what the good move is there. But uh, we're focusing on our staff. Head of performance analysis is what we need next. We need to get our staff in first, and these guys sign up, and then we're good. We'll be able to, in an educated way, kind of approach everything. Okay, we're going to take this down to like eight and then start going up. Uh, it's 11. 11 is the line. Shane Dykeman. Analyzing data 11, termination 9. What was, the, what was the fourth thing it said that was like important for this? Head performance analyst, tactical knowledge. These are the two most important things, and Shane Dykeman's the only one that can do them. All right, Shane, you're in, bud. No, no, nope, not chief scout, head performance analyst. I know, I'm excited about it too, Shane. I am. Big opportunity. Moving up in the world, Shane, stealing from Swallows, who I turned down a job offer from, or sorry, an interview that would have turned into a job offer. How many performance analysts do we need? They said we have three. We have three spots for performance analysts. Wow. Okay. Um, 
We'll highlight key for that because it's going to remove two of the things and just the two things that I knew were most important. Ha ha. Shane Dykeman, of course. Um, let's go to seven, and there are eight people, and we can check out the... We'll go to eight. A little too many. Mark Matebula. Well, he's got the 11 analyzing data. I want you to be a performance analyst. I want you to analyze the performance of our first team. You cool with that? Tumelo, Seedorn. No, I'm not really high on Tumelo, Seedorn. All right, he's got the um, coaching attributes. The so I didn't need to do that. Mental attributes. Sure. Analyzing data, I got 11 there. We got the 10, and where's attack knowledge at 8? That's Seedorn. This is Impo Kune. Dang it. Uh, fine, Tamello. Kazakhstan? Kazakhstan? Kazakhstan! Yes! Kazakhstan has scored, chat. It's 1-1, one, one, if you couldn't tell. Kazakhstan has scored. It's... No, Finland, no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No. Right as we pulled it over with good news. I mean, if, not if you're Slovenian, but Kazakhstan's leveled it at one thanks to Orozov. Now Kazakhstan is one goal away. One measly goal away from automatic qualification to the Euros, unthinkably, unbelievably. Oh, England got a big chance. That, that dot usually means they're scoring. Um, and England is equalized against North Macedonia straight out of the half. They got a firm, swift kick. But one more goal from Kazakhstan, and they're going to the Euros. One more goal from Kazakhstan, and they're going to the Euros at the expense of Slovenia. It's a very straight trade. All right. Signing up another performance analyst, Tumelo Sidorn. And then Wayne Roman. Not Rooney. Roman. Wayne Roman. Uh, we would like for you to be a performance analyst at Orlando Pirates as well. And no, I don't want you as a scout. I definitely want you as a performance analyst, Wayne. Okay, so that's it for our coaching team, our assessment team. We have one chief scout, two or four scouts, and two recruitment analysts available. And then we got to build our sports science department. So let's go to scout and judging player ability and potential. And let's just start at 10. I'm going to cry myself to sleep tonight. Do you know if it's possible to have 100% scouting knowledge of every country in the world? No, I have no idea. That would take forever. VAR is going to rule it out for England. We do, have, we do have the little VAR logo. We're getting the little VAR logo. The goal is under review. Kazakhstan's is not. It was clean, no doubt about it. Kazakhstan and Finland, unfortunately. Finland's already going to the playoff. Why can't they let San Marino have a little bit of fun? Okay, so there's three guys, three dudes, three dudes. Oh, yo, this guy is, this is the guy. Mark Lobo, Chief Scout, instant. 14, 15 in this economy? Bro, in this economy? Outrageous. He's a 14, 15, Quinella Copo. He's got very good uh, judging player potential. We definitely want him in. And did he please agree to be a scout? I thought I looked. Yeah, he's a scout. Okay. Walter Steenbach is a 10-10. So we're going to drop this down to nines. See if we can find somebody that's got, nope, literally nothing. All right. Walter Steenbach is next. The scout from Hungry Lions FC who are in the second division and Aviwe Nyaminde. Very adaptable. Maybe we can wire up Africa or something. 
Well, that's our scouting. No, nope, we need one more. Dang it. <laughs> I don't want to go down again. It's just going to make me sad. Nobody has any determination at all. What's wrong with this generation? Who is this? Sia Bonga Valane? Of course, he's the only one everybody else is interested in, too. But hey, I am Orlando Pirates. I can bully people. I need a scouting department, please. We have nobody. Uh, recruitment analyst? Yes. Recruitment analyst. Please and thank you. Um, analyzing data, judging player ability. Sweet. Electric. Well, I was looking for the wrong thing. Aha! Patrick Solomon. I got one. Hey, you want to be a recruitment analyst for me? I know you, like, want to be a scout in your heart of hearts, but also I feel like you want to do this. You want a little more money? I'll give you a little more money. That's how this works. We're Orlando Pirates. We can outbid the other teams around us now. Analyzing data. The 11s are gone. Judging player ability. There's nobody special in that category either. So I think we just go with this guy, Yusha Saad. It's also a little bit better mentally. Oh, we're stealing. Dude, I'm going to steal like three people from Swallows. This is what happens. This is why you got to hire me, man. This is why they, you know, you miss out on hiring me. And I'm going to steal all of your staff to make my staff better. Head of sports scientist, and then we get another sports scientist. Based off everything we know from what we've studied in sports science stuff in this game, you really only need one of these guys. Like the head. We don't know that for sure, so I am going to sign multiple. Um, okay, so we, we got all that. Uh, determination, discipline, motivating. Dylan Kumalo. Everybody's sports science is at 11, right? I didn't miss anybody. Oh, nope. Tapelo Shabalala and uh, Sean Sitole. Moldova got a red card. Oh, it's Jover. It is Jover. If they got a, if they got a red card, it's over. Because they need to score two goals, and now they're down to 10. What? That was a near run thing. Respect to Moldova, man. That was, they, they gave it a real go, and they were one match away from getting into the Euros. Oh, Molly scored, but they're not going to win. Oh, they got equalized by the cent by dude, literally by Jeffrey Kandogbia. What are you doing here? Molly scored. Kamori Dumbia, 20-year-old from Stade Brestua. And then two minutes later, Jeffrey Kandogbia has entered the chat and equalized for Central African Republic. And they, uh, a little 1-1. One, one. Don't count out Carr. If they're getting a draw away against Mali, were they playing in Mali? Uh, Bamako? Yeah, it's in Mali, right? Ukraine still has it. Yeah, so one goal from Kazakhstan knocks out Slovenia and puts Kazakhstan in. A goal from Ukraine knocks out Italy and puts them in the playoff and puts Ukraine into the Euros. North Macedonia is still beating England. The drama is peak. Tapelo Shabalala, I would like to sign you as my head of sports science. Would you like to join us? And run the sports science department and then employ Sean Satole as your sports scientist. Thank you. Okay, that's our staff. We just need to create a tactic. Uh, I like who do we? Okay. Positional distribution to right back. Do I just have no defense? Have you seen my defense? Are uh, the young fullback? Sinzelamuza Sabia. Oh, he can fly. Oh, this dude's so annoying in like the last 10 minutes of a match. I'm so putting this guy on my bench. Get up, man. You're in the senior team. That is so annoying. There is a kid down here. Solani Chaka. 18-year-old midfielder who's supposed to have a very bright future. 
Finland scored a second. Northern Ireland just scored against Denmark. Hot diggity dog, man. They're flying. Denmark is like unbeatable in qualifying if for anything for some reason. And then they show up at the tournament and it's just like a paper tiger. Two godly. Yeah, we have two godly wingbacks, but we don't have any center backs. So we're not going to go four at the back. I'm going to go. Wow, I have a lot of attackers. Okay. Um, this dude's under a bid. So to be so manane, I am okay with sell to, to be so manane, I am okay with selling him. Yes. They're like, do you want to sell it to be so manane? This dude can play right back. Oh, hold on, just a minute there, Buster. Oh, hold on. Hold on. All right, we didn't know he could play right back. Now, I know Denmark's already through, dude. I'm, I wasn't saying that they're, like, not going to make it. I'm just saying it's surprising they're... I think they did the same thing for the World Cup. They won their first nine matches and then lost their last one after they'd already gotten through. I think I remember that happening. <laughs> not with that stamina, he can't. Why did you have to... You know, you're always looking for the flaws, right? You're always looking for the flaws. Where are we selling him? Stellenbosch, Mamelodi Sundowns, Cape Town, and Amazulu. One in. Okay. And Azola Matros... They want to loan him out. Yeah, I don't have the age requirement anymore, I guess. Yo, hey. So I know a lot of players. I'm going to try and uh, do this real quick. Um, nationality is South African. Um, let's turn this up, dude. Who's got five caps for South Africa and isn't an old Cretan? Who's got ten and isn't an old Cretan? Sipo Mabule. Hey, man, you're getting an offer from AAB, but nobody cares. Kadlego Mohame. We don't have any center backs, so we're going to need to solve that real quick. Matuba, instant trial offer. Lebohang Maboy, instant trial offer. Um, Toby Mla Imvala. Instant trial offer. Lapello Morena. Oh, who's offering? Oh, Kaiser Chiefs. Not the enemy. What does he offer? Oh, Riyadh's in. Okay, this guy's clearly a stud. He's so fast. I am just gonna I'm just gonna go in and, and offer immediately. He's so fast that I'm kind of in love with it. $250,000 minimum fee release clause. Dude really wants to play in Europe at the end of his career. But, um, okay, I have so much wage room, it's actually nauseating. There's my offer. Play for me instead. Sipo Mbole. Oh, but he's looking at the, look at the, look at the athleticism on this guy. Did you see that? Oh, England scored. And Finland scored again. It's 3-0. They're pumping San Marino now. Oh, look at the explosiveness of Sipo Mbule. Ladies and gentlemen, the next Luke Edwards. Calm it down. Ah, uh, but the work rate. I see the issue. The work rate of Sipo Mbule. He's playing in World Cup qualifiers right now, like in the game. He's playing in the World Cup qualifiers. He was just at Mamelodi Sundowns for the last two years, who just won the league, by the way. So he just played 20 matches for Mamelodi Sundowns in a league-winning season. And then left on a free. He also played 84 matches with Supersport before that. He's got my attention. You know what I'm saying? All right, trial. Keegan Dolly. Mosa Labusa. There is a center back. He's not tall, but he is a center back. 
And we'll just go ahead and go after the rest of these guys because why not? You guys want to come in and trial? You got like all the caps in the world for South Africa, man. We'll take it down to five caps for South Africa, and there should be a lot more options. Down the road, trying to loosen my load. I should have a winning on my mind. Oh, dude, they called back Finland's third goal. San Marino is still alive. It's only 2 0, lads. It's only 2 0. Go, San Marino. It's two quick ones. We're right back in it. Two quick ones, lads. Katlego Mohame. Oh, yeah, I already looked at you. Lincoln Vire. Now oh, you're a goalkeeper. Lasego Sabatella. Well, you had me at Pacey center back, Lasego. Katlego Mohame. That's the guy I've been looking I've clearly. I'm going to click on him again. See? There I am. There I am. Clicking on him again. He plays center back, too, right? Yeah, but he's not good. Uh, Athan Kosi Lala. We could use a guy in that spot. Defensive midfield. Don't have anybody who prefers it. Tabang Sibonyi. 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 Right. Sorry, Tabang. Kagiso Malinga. Ooh, yes. A ball carrying explosive dude. I am here for it. Kobo. Mm, Jumping reach a little low, but we'll work with it. This guy's also a defender. Kwanda Ngonyama. I right, go down to one and get rid of South African. And we're looking for good nationality, not like Angola. We're looking for like Nigeria. Ivory. Oh, Kabuhu! Dude! Back when I played FIFA career mode before I got into FM, this guy was in the free agency every single time. Every single time. I would like if you're started in League Two in a FIFA career mode, this guy was your goalkeeper. Silva and Gabuhu. There he is. Uh, Cameroon, Francis Elimbi. Yeah, we're just looking for guys that uh, play for or have appeared for big national teams as a way to kind of sort out players that could be good for us. This guy looks pretty good because we have some international spots as well. We have some international spots. Ghanaian Emmanuel Badu. He's, oh, he's 33, but he plays like holding midfield so you can cover that age. And he has 78 Ghanaian caps. He was just playing for Great Olympics. Spent some time at Udinese, Hellas Verona, Qingdao. Went to China, got the paycheck. Ireland. Oh, hey, Shane, I've been trying to reach you. Yeah, no, I was, um, Shane, I, let me, my name is Zeeland Shannon. Um, you know, you might've heard of me, kind of famous in South Africa. And I, I just wanted to, I just wanted to call you. I had something, I had an interesting proposition. Okay. I know, right. That maybe your last stop might not have gone as well as you wanted, right? You were at Reading last year, I think it was, but you, you had a good time at Southampton before that, you were at Reading last year and you only got one goal. Well, I have an idea for you, right? Use that ability you've got to kind of travel the world. Here's my idea. South Africa, right? Beautiful, beautiful country. Great food, of course. Great teams. Shane, I'm offering you the opportunity to play in front of 90,000 people in the Soweto Derby. I'm, as I'm, I'm asking you if you want to play for a Champions League level team, right? I'm asking you if you want to play for a championship in a football mad country, Shane. I just want you to think it over. We'll be able to pay your wage. 
I got money falling out of my ears. Just, you know, if you, I just wanted you to think it over. Well, it might be a good opportunity. All right, Shane. You call me. Yep, I'll see you later. Feet picks, please. Thank you. Uh. What? So we're going to bring Shane Lawning in. Um, hope you guys are cool with that. Yeah, I'm really sorry. I muted my mic there for a second right at the end of the call. We just, you know, some some parts of the transfer negotiation you want to kind of you want to kind of leave private between you and the player. You understand. You understand. Oh, Harold Cummings is still around. This dude would still legitimately be. <laughs> it's amazing that guy was on trial with me in the second division. Harold Cummings would legitimately be a good player, I think, for me. We don't have enough center backs either. Niall, what? Niall McGinn, what is happening? Why are these? Oh, because I'm signing English coaches. I think I'm. That's how I'm learning about these guys. I we are. We're, I'm going to get a lot more global knowledge after this. But we're gonna we're we're, we're going to start with this. Daniel like Peggy. I mean, uh, I think we still got room with the trials. All right, Rwanda, Seychelles, Swaziland, Tanzania. Togo, Zambia, Zimbabwe. All righty. Um, squad distribution of people. Okay. Um, well, we got our left wing, Tim Bencosi, Lorch. I don't really like Lorch that much, but they do, and he's like a club legend and stuff, and so we'll give him the opportunity to win us over. Now, he plays as a an inverted player off the left, like an inside forward with decent finishing and definitely somebody that can go by the opponent. He can also play on the right side, but his crossing sucks. So we don't want to do that to him or us. I think that'll work. I think I'm going to get, I'm looking at like a four, three, three, four, two, three, one, two D mids sort of thing. Cause we have a couple attacking midfielders that we like. So let's go with a, Uh, do we have direct forwards? Do we? Give me the striking core. Give me your attributes. Give me your physical attributes. Uh, not really. We've got some pacey dudes. Um, Aradiapane can fly. And he has flair. This dude's weird. Boy Tumelo Radiapane. He's got a sick name, too. Ton of flair, ton of acceleration. Wild card. Checky has scored? Yeah, I mean, Moldova got a red card. So, well, you know what? We'll head to the news station. Let's go to the news station here. Let's go to the news. Uh, news! Where's Zara? Oh, yeah, sorry. Welcome to Zealand News! I'm your host, Zealand. Who else did you expect? It's it's Zealand News. I mean, goodness gracious, man. You should have been able to figure that out by now. All right. European qualification. There are your teams. Albania and Faroe Islands are still locked at nil. Moldova's red card has absolutely cooked their ambitions. Czechia needed to not lose to make it to the Euros, and they're doing just that. 2 0 win over Moldova gets the job done. North Macedonia and England are level at one as Gareth Southgate's seat continues to heat up. Northern Ireland with the surprise lead over Denmark. The goal scored by yours truly, some dude named Price from Charles, because we're talking about Northern Ireland. Finland up 2 0 on San Marino, but good effort from the San Marinese national team. And then the two matches where the most hangs in the balance. Slovenia and Kazakhstan locked at one. One goal from Kazakhstan would fully eliminate Slovenia from the Euros and put Kazakhstan in, in their place. The loser of this game or in a draw, Kazakhstan, will not even make the playoff. They're out. And then there's Ukraine and Italy. Ukraine needs a goal to send the Italians into a playoff to make the Euros, which would be hilarious because they won the Euros last time, and they've also missed the last two World Cups. Which hurts, but at a certain point, it starts to become funny. That's it for Zealand News. I'm your host, Zealand, on the Zealand News Network and the Zealand News family of channels. 
on the Zealand Twitch stream. Thank you. And good night. That was a, a relatively smooth production there. Relatively smooth production. All right. These attacking midfielders that we have, Vincent Boulay, can really only play there. But I don't like him. But what happens if I don't like Vincent Poulet? Will he get mad at me? He will. We can play striker, though. We have our left wings, and we've got our right wings, and potentially another one. We're trying to sign another one. We've got Kareem Kimvuidi, who is really good. Wait, hold on. That's that DR Congo kid. I like him. I like him a lot more than this cheese. Nico Mabi and Bandile Shandu. All right, I'm going. Going wing play, 4 3 3. All right, our goalkeeper is Richard Afori, even though he's hurt right now. Um, our center back is Nda, who is my king. Dude is nuts. Uh, my other center back is either Innocent Maella, who I certainly don't want to play at center back, who is definitely playing over here as a wing back on attack. And then this guy's inside forward on attack. Where Where is that guy? Lorch. Midfield's going to be deeper. That's why I wanted to do the wing play. Our midfield's going to be deeper on this one than most 4 3 threes we built because we're going super aggressive with our wing backs, and it's just going to be dynamic runs at the channels. And then these guys are going to be late runs and kind of set in the edge. And then we're going to have a core back three of like a triangle right here. That's our plan. Um, uh, Kareem Kimvuidi. Honestly, right now, yeah. On, uh, honest to goodness, right now, I'm going Kareem Kimvuidi. And then wing back on support on the right. Who's our dude? Is it Bandile Shandu? Is that the guy we liked? Or is it... Um, it's not Monyane, and it's not Mobby. There was another guy we just added, too, who is like a, a real flyer. Is it Damons? No, Gregory Damons can only play right back, which is annoying. Was it Sabisi? Oh, my goodness, it was. He was Sabisi. But he's just a good defender. Oh, I know what we're going to do. All right, we're not going to do that. We are going to look for the over. We're not going to look for the overlap on the right. Kim Vuidi is going to be on support. This dude's going to be on attack. So where where is this guy? Sabisi is going to be over here. He's going to be playing as a fullback on support. Or wingback on defense get crossed from deep. Fullback on support can kind of figure out where he's supposed to be but he's a good defender primarily we want that um there's Rowdy Opane there's Maru there's Kelly Lapasa. I liked the guy that could like actually you know, I liked Kermit Erasmus I'm not even kidding I liked Kermit Erasmus this dude's got loads of like i'm gonna receive the ball and make plays and then you can just play off him i don't know if he has the physical ability to hold it as balance is seven but he's slick kermit erasmus is a slick dude uh and then this is going to be a straight center mid on attack we got kim Vuidi going crazy on the right side because we're gonna have kermit erasmus as a false nine and then off the bench, if we need to change the way we're playing, you've got the wonderful Zakele Lapasa. I love this part of, like, I absolutely love this. This is my jam. 
they had to design one tactic that we can start training, and then obviously this will change as we kind of progress. Like we don't have another center back. We're the big. That's the biggest hole in our team, and we knew that. Shego Fatso Mabasa. Oh, this guy's better. Shega Fatso Mabasa is uh, is better than Erasmus. As much as I would have loved to have run a false nine, I'm still gonna run a false nine with Shega Fatso Mabasa. Oh yeah. Oh, yes. One of the rare times I would love to have, like, two inside forwards. I usually hate when teams have that, but I would love to have two inside forwards. Kermit Erasmus, 100% on the bench, 100% off the transfer list right now. I am a fan of Kermit Erasmus. I like his game. I like his hair. He's got a nice, soft smile. Get him in there. Um, okay. Masalesa. Oh. Oh, yeah. Lelangolo Masalesa. Masele? Oh, that's our guy. That's our anchor right there. Uh, that's our that's our defender. Defensive midfielder on defend. Oh, but he has 14 finishing. What? What? You have 14 finishing. Why? Why do you have 14 finishing? That doesn't make any sense. All right, Masalesa, you are here. Why do they hate him? I really like this guy. I mean, he's perfect box to box. Let me fill space sort of dude. I, I'm going to put him literally on box to box midfielder. And then Masele has 14 finishing and is a good athlete. We're going to have him chucking himself forward. He doesn't get involved in that passing as much. And then we are going to wait on um, on everything else. Now, Vincent Poule is going to be in there as a potential substitute. He might get the starting job on the right side. And then this guy. Oh, this guy. Soibu Maru is the inside forward I was hoping for. Kim Vuidi is a sub. Now, Vincent Poule, you can't play any deeper. I might be transfer list in Vincent Poulet. I don't know if I want to get a war with a dude right away, but that might be on that might be in the cards. I don't know if we need that. Um he's I I mean, oh he'll make the bench for now. He'll make the bench for now. So is Lamusa Sabia, that's the guy. Bendile Shandu. This guy plays no defense, but it can be fun to have a guy like that coming off the bench to play fullback, so we'll have him there. Budalese is obviously the backup goalkeeper. We have three good goalkeepers on our team, so they stay. Sign God's Power Tower. <laughs> I wonder where he is now. He's probably playing in Nigeria. Uh, Dean Hotto. No right being that athletic, dude. Transfer listed. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave him transfer listed. I don't know. He only wants fringe player. We'll see. I'm not going to push him out the door. If somebody comes in, then fine. A decent offer. Only because he's a foreign player. We'll probably end up needing that foreign player spot. We're going to need more midfielders, too. We have no backup central midfielders. We're going to need to fill that out. We're going to need to add center backs, obviously, at least two. I need to add at least two center backs. Um, Gregory Damons, I'm going to not do that. All right, those are the guys that we like on our bench right now. Yeah, those are the guys we like on our bench right now. So this is our team. This is our tactic. This is what we're thinking. Um... I think shorter passing, passing to space is fine. Look for the overlap on the left. Um, I mean, we do have a couple good creative players, but I'm not there yet. Distribute to the flanks. No, we want to pass out. We super want to pass the ball out. Uh, is he a good athlete? Mabasa, can you lead a press? Yeah. At this level, yeah. Uh, we're going to get stuck in. We're going to trigger our press a lot. It's going to be a bit of a more intense tactic, but we have screw it. We got like 35 matches all year. 
get after their butts, man. We got athletes right here. We got an athlete up there. Our wings are interchangeable. We got plenty of those. We're good. All right, we got our staff offers out. Oh, he was just being weird. All right, we, we want this guy as a scout. Yeah, okay. Oh, uh, what are they unhappy about? Wants to move to a bigger club. Good man, Maselle. Why? Well, that's why you opted out. You want to go to Al Riyadh? Well, if they pay a million dollars for you, then I'll let you go to Al Riyadh. Goodness, good man. I like you, and you're under contract through the end of next year. So unless you get a friggin' offer, you're staying here, man. Christopher Dawes, cool. Coaching staff already coming together. The tactics already created. We're good. Monthly staff meeting? Okay. I'm starting to gel. Um, who am I talking to? My head of youth development's the only guy here, so we only have three things to talk about. <laughs> Which is fair. I actually want to hire a technical director in, the in an effort. I, I usually don't. I usually micromanage my whole staff, but in this save, I feel like a technical director will be helpful. That will help us build. So I've never hired one before. Judging staff ability and negotiating. Okay. Um, I want one so that they can manage my staff at the lower levels, uh, the reserve and the youth team. Because you want to have the best staff there possible. Oh, this guy's good. Okay. Technical director. That's a lot of money, but we're us. Doesn't really matter. Nkosi Ngabusa. All right. Even good technical directors hire abysmal staff. Yeah, well, at least there's somebody coming into the club to do it. All our trials, right. Christopher Davies is here. He's going on an intensive language course to be able to speak the local language because that is all that they see in here. Where's Shane Long? Where's Shane Long? Somebody show me Shane Long right now. Show me Shane Long right now. No! It's the only one. Shane. I don't get a set piece, coach. The hybrid marking. Um, I want players on no posts. How many players do you want to leave forward defending on set pieces? Um, defend the box. Deliveries near post. Balanced in swinger. Christopher Davies, the only coach I have. Coming up with a quick plan. We will change that before the season. Why am I in training? Why do I have these? Fr Is this just the start of the next season? I just have two friendlies right now. I mean, we like didn't even get an off season. That's what you got. I, I'm handling set piece tactics though. I am handling that. We'll we'll sign a technical director. They're gonna take care of the staff. We've got this random friendly before our off season starts. Away to FC Hotspurs. Who knows why? Oh, Slovenia just scored. There it is. Kazakhstan in the mud. It's Slovenia that will be going to the Euros. You know what that means? Benjamin Sheshko and Jan Oblak are back in the big time. One of the premier wonder kid strikers in the world will have his moment at the Euros to make an impact as Slovenia has beaten Kazakhstan. Ukraine needs a goal also. Just a couple minutes left. If Ukraine scores, Italy's going to the playoff and Ukraine qualifies. If the inverse happens, then, well, the inverse happens, literally. Harold Cummings, still good. Kigizo Malinga, Tabang Sibanyani, Jabulo Inkobo. I want to leave all these trials going because they might be, oh, we don't know if he can play a position we like. They might be good backups for our first team. We need guys around our team that don't want to be important players but are still good in my view. So this guy is perfect. He's a defensive midfielder with 20 South Africa. He hates big matches. Why do they all hate big matches? Can't trust my scouts entirely, but I feel like I can trust him a little bit. Gift Motupa. You see, he looks worse, though, is the thing. Uh, Mo Salabusa. This guy's coming in. Can, well, we'll see. We'll see. We'll give him time. 
Timbazwane, Tommy Mkise, Sfi Solanti, uh, Gabuza, South African striker. We already know how good he is, and we know he's not good enough. Quandam Goyama, Impalele, Niall again, so bad. Niall, sorry, uh, we can reimburse you for the flight. Actually, we can't even do that. Um, funny you mention it. We actually can't do that. So looks like you're on the hook for the flight. Bit of a miscommunication. Um, but you really wish you the best of luck. Re I really do. I wish you the best of luck. Yo, re-enjoy. The North Korean. Lemon Anti, thank you for the six months. Hope you enjoy your vacation in South Africa. So true. That's what we just did to him. Czechia makes it three. Moldo yeah, I mean, Moldova's down a man, and they're probably throwing numbers forward anyways, hoping for a miracle, so. Oh, we could go for the North Korean again. Ryun Choi. Kulani, Kubeka, Sipo, Sibia. These guys are just bad now. Now we're, we're looking back at it. They're just bad now. They're just bad players. Hey, now I have the scouting budget to keep all these up to date. So go ahead and update me on whether these guys are good anymore. And I'll cut them off my short list once we have our scouting department in place. All right, sweet. I feel like we are in the saddle. Our coaching staff should file in over the next week or so. Uh, but I feel like we are in the saddle here. Who's making this offer? Milford and Hungry Lions. Yeah, I think we can go ahead and drop you from the short list. I don't think you're good enough. Don't need to worry about getting sharp yet. All right, head coach support, not terrible. Good team cohesion, which is actually a fantastic thing to start with. I have not made one of the players un, uh, unhappy. Introduce myself to the squad. Um, I'd like to introduce myself as the head coach and answer any questions you may have, particularly if you're not familiar with me. Uh, amen. Um, welcome. It's what you do here that counts, so nobody will judge you based on your past reputation. Okay, cool. I'd like to talk about our aims in the uh, Premier Division. You're happy about that? I think we have a chance to do quite well in the league this season. I agree, Innocent Maiella. I do. Innocent. Feels weird to refer to you with your first name being Innocent that way, but that is your name, so Innocent. I've come in next. Uh, I've come in with the season over, so let's focus on next season. I'm confident we can challenge for the title. I'm confident we can qualify for the Champions League. That's a target we can all get behind. All right, we're pleased. Um... That'll be all for now. Okay. Good talk, everybody. Everybody seems to like me. That helped the locker room atmosphere. Decent first meeting. Uh, nothing too weird. Zulu joined the party. Uh, no, he has not. Team's moving a little slow, though. It's kind of weird. A save. I haven't saved since we moved. Ukraine games really opening up? How, dude? All Italy has to do is not give up a goal. How are you giving space? All right. Uh, how do I feel to be the new head coach of the Orlando Pirates? I'm very, very proud. Very excited. Very keen to see what we can do. Over your career, you become known for your distinctive brand. I, I don't care. Uh, every group of players brings a different set of strengths and weaknesses, and I'm looking to find the system that suits them best. We talked for a moment about your pre previous job at Black Leopards. Uh, was the, me getting fired a decision I agree with? I don't think it's appropriate to discuss. Uh, you spent very little time away from the game before taking over Orlando Pirates. Was there a conscious effort to ensure you stayed active? I think it's imperative. This is what I want to do. It's a big step up. Are you nervous? 
It's a big jump. Hopefully I'll match the expectations placed on me. If you introduce yourself to the squad, yeah, I feel an urgency. Seems to always come with a new head coach. Everybody, Everybody's fired up. We're excited. Will you be going back to your old club to bring some of your former colleagues uh, into the coaching staff? Uh, I really need to get to know the staff here before I make that decision. Uh, <laughs> no. Anyways, was there something about Orlando Pirates in particular that made you sit up and pay attention? Uh, this is a huge club, and the infrastructure is in place for immediate success. Yeah, a ton of money here. Have I mentioned the money? How much work do you think is needed to bring the squad up to standard? I think we have a great squad, and I'm not sure we need to improve any uh, anywhere at all right now. Um, I don't know. The players will have to show me day in and day out on the training pitch, you know, what's expected, and we'll go from there. And we'll go from there. Wait, pen? Is there a pen shout? Surely it goes to VAR. Surely it goes to VAR. We're waiting. We're waiting. No way there's a last second pen, bro. Oh, this is what it's all about. Mudrick goes down into a challenge. The boxer ref immediately waves away appeals from all players. Oh, it's totally going to VAR, isn't it? Two countries hanging in the balance. One guaranteed to go to the Euros. Slovenia has guaranteed its qualification with the win over Kazakhstan. Kazakhstan officially eliminated. Sad times, but great effort from them. Czechia is guaranteed to go through. Another near run from an underdog in Moldova, but the red card really sank them. North Macedonia is about to draw England, so that's happening. Faroe Islands is about to draw Albania, who is going to Euro the Euros. They've already guaranteed qualification. And a spirited effort from San Marino, only down 2-0. Kazakhstan's in the playoffs? No, I don't think they are. Uh, oh, my God, they are. I literally did that earlier. Kazakhstan is in the playoffs, like I said, so they still have a chance. So sorry, Borat. Uh, Kazakhstan is in the playoffs. Um, that, that is true. Azerbaijan, because Slovenia won, Azerbaijan is officially eliminated. Just the way it works. Azerbaijan's been officially eliminated because Kazakhstan couldn't get an automatic spot. So Slovenia's through. Kazakhstan's in the playoff, like I said. Are we going back to look at this? Wait, San Marino got a penalty? Are you serious? No, well, Tommaso Zaffaroni did just get booked. Has there been a stoppage? Have they reviewed it? No pen. Dang, man. That would have been yeah, that would have been an all-time hype pen there right at the end. Oh. San Marino Twitter accounts going absolutely nuts, right, really. I mean, I was just uh I was just looking at it. Whoa, it is! It's a penalty to San Marino! Come on, lads! He just said it was a pen. Yes, it is! <laughs> and Ukraine goes to the playoff. Italy draws its way into the Euros. Okay. San Marino has a penalty to score a goal against Finland. Dude, they're honestly on a resurgence ever since everybody started paying attention to them. Like, seriously. Away Days goes there and makes a video. I do the whole I can't move until San Marino wins. The San Marino Twitter account continues to blow up. Richard Jensen booked for infringement. Finland is literally going to the playoffs for the Euros. And they're about to get scored on by San Marino. This was a team that scored like once every four years. Oh, they're sitting to their best player, Berardi. Dude's a stud. He's like at least a League Two level winger. Yes! Three in three games for San Marino. The worst team in the world is on the come up, baby. They are on the come up. That is a very respectable loss right there.
2-1 to Finland. But go get another goal. Screw it. Chase it. Chase the unbelievable draw. Chase it. Chase your dreams. 2-1 Finland over San Marino. Did that officially eliminate somebody? Did Ukraine not winning? No, because they were just going to trade who was going into the playoff. So Slovenia winning eliminates Azerbaijan, which is not complicated at all. An offer for 25-year-old winger, Musa Winkosi Mdui. Uh, see you later, Mduli. Um, scouting introduction, assigning scouts, and handling scouting meetings. Both on me, but we don't really have a scouting department right now. Uh, but what do I have scouting budget-wise? 224? Sweet. So I can scout all of Southern Africa. So Zambia, Zimbabwe, Botswana, Angola, we're just, we're, we're in it. Manyane, okay, we are selling to Bisa Manyane. That is something I can get behind. It's kind of already in motion. So I'm, who am I to stand in the way? He is going to Amazulu FC. I feel weird having anything to say to him at all. I wasn't even the person that negotiated the move. And Azola Matrose... I like Azola Matrose right now, so I don't think I'm going to take this loan. Does he have any promise that he's supposed to leave? Oh, boy. Clicking on home is always fun. San Marino Massive. Oh, don't worry. We watched, we watched that pen come in through the live ticker commentary, man. I wasn't going to miss that. I'm so freaking proud of them. I'm canceling this. Azola Matrose is, is sticking around for now. Let's get the rest of our freaking staff in, though. We have no staff running these trainings. <laughs> Roland Sanu. Uh, okay. Siabonga Valane, one of our scouts assigned to Betty. He's gone to Baroka. They barely didn't get relegated. And Ananias Gebhardt. I was literally watching the San Marino match and said about the penalty as it was given and got called a liar for it. That's awesome, dude. There's so many people rooting for San Marino now, and I think that's, you know, the world's just a great place sometimes. Uh, Impelonle Mkise. So we've signed another member of our staff. Coach Impelonle Mkise is our defensive coach. Uh, Tabiso Mignane is in the last year of his contract at Orlando Pirates. So is that part of the reason he moved? Um, we're just primary aim of making the club better with every decision we make. Omar Edwards. Cool. We got both of our Jamaican coaches. Are in. Uh, Vladimir Prushikyevich, our fitness coach, is here. That dude's going to have to learn a few languages. David Priest. Uh, the English goalkeeping coach. Our staff is ready. Now, nah, I mean, it's not all it's not all done, but we're making some moves. David Priest, good. Yebo, yes, United. Okay. Wow, that is an unbelievable score to just see. San Marino to like losing just two to one. You Shah Saeed really turned me down to stay at Swallows. I mean, fair play, man. Tamelo Sidorn is joining as a performance analyst. Wayne Roman's joining as a performance analyst. Mark Matebula's joining as a performance analyst. Quinelle Copo, another part of our scouting department, and we got our analysts. I think Yusha Saeed was supposed to be coming in as a um, San Marino. Yeah, he was he was a recruitment analyst. I think it was like the la it was the second to last thing we were looking for, which sucks. Judging player ability and analyzing data. Aren't a lot of these guys that are any any good at all. Um Sabia and Tabong Zondo. Both have the same stuff there, so. Uh, Tabong Zondo's got better determination. I guess we'll bring him in. Hey, you want to be a recruitment analyst, brother? Looks like something you've wanted your entire life. There you go. 
Da bong zondo. Anybody need uh, to learn how to speak the language? Nope, you all do. Cool. Tapelo Shabalala is coming in as our head of sports science, head performance analyst Shane Dykman in. Walter Steenbach, our last scout, assistant coach Nenad Vukshevich in, and Avie Yamende. How many scouts do I have? Oh, they were all, yeah, okay, never mind. So Nenad Vukshevich needs to learn the language. Yamende there. Uh, Gabuza is coming in as our technical director, and Andy Herman's joining as a coach from Cape Town Spurs. We have assembled the Avengers, chat. We are assembling the Avengers. Oh, so all the matches are done. Nothing changed from the last time we looked at it, but all the matches are done. Huge shout out to the Faroe Islands, by the way, for a very respectable draw for just their second point of qualifying against the team that literally finished on top of the group. Czech Republic going through, and um, I think Poland's in the playoff just because of their position. Um, yeah, Poland's in the playoff. They're the 11th best ranked team in Europe. They're actually Poland's the best team that didn't qualify automatically. They are the best team that didn't qualify automatically. Fair play. This is why you this is why you perform well in the Nations League, you know? Sean Satole, our other sports scientist, that's the guy I was waiting for, Mark Lobo, the Venezuelan chief scout we just brought in. All right, you're asked to recommend a signing. I should have been doing that actually on all of these guys. Okay. Asked to recommend a signing. 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 I think this might be too long ago. Nope. Asked to recommend a signing. Asked to recommend a signing. Asked to recommend a signing. I've got the money to go get these guys if you think they're good, man. I do. I can ask David Priest from England to recommend a signing, which sounds sick. Uh, Omar Edwards. You. So I could just type in the word completes and go down to Villane. Uh, Villan Oh, he was literally the second to last one. So I literally just, I, I figured out such a more efficient way to do it. It's just completely, it's too slow. Oh, what do you mean? I don't have enough coaches. What? Oh, the assistant counts as one. Well, my math sucked. Sorry. Um, I'm going to cancel the transfer. Milan Sirich, you were, you were the guy that was too slow. You don't get to be a part of this po uh, project. Patrick Solomon says, yes, we got the offer out for the, ed uh, the other recruitment analyst. And just like that, our staff is complete. Hot diggity dog, brother. We've got our backroom team in place to try and go win the South African top flight with Orlando Pirates. Hey, you, uh, you got a signing? Patrick Solomon, you want to recommend? All right, so we have our full scouting department, which means we can go to scouting and go to... We have a Southern African range, so we're going to go with any position and any tactic. And we're going to have a nice, this dude's a baller thing going on. And this is going to be ballers. We'll create a recruitment focus specifically for center backs, defensive and center midfielders. Looking for guys at a little bit of a lower level. I'll call this the spine, and that's everybody. No, I, I should. I thought of the coaching badges. I need to go. I need to go ask. We'll go ask. See if we can get a coaching badge. Have I seen that San Marino have scored in three matches in a row? Ah, uh, yes. I am. Uh, we I, we follow each other, me and the San Marinese account, ever since my San Marino adventure. And 
I, I, so I, I am kept abreast of uh, his activities. Let's see if we can get our National A license. That was another reason we wanted to move clubs. Black Leopards was stopping, uh, was stopping us from being able to get our licenses. I'm delighted to welcome the NAD to, uh, to the staff. All right, we're going to go to our responsibilities. We're going to go to staff. Um, now, as for the reserves head coach, this is all going to the technical director. As much as I'd love to give that to Screamer Shabalala, the technical director will organize the staff of our youth teams. Oh, I actually have a reserve team. Yes, Yabo, it looks like. Um, we'll give that to the technical director right there. Technical director, technical director. Set. Oh, I can set all to our technical director. Okay. And that's that. Okay. Technical directors handling all first team hirings and firings in the staff. Contract uh, situations are all going to go to our technical director, such as his job. Track and assess the performance of the staff of all of our affiliated teams while I handle first team staff. Okay, advice and reports. Providing scouting feedback. We absolutely want that from Mark Lobo, and we want uh, recruitment advice from Mark Lobo as well. Player development. Um, Actually, amazingly, that is Zabuza player reports. Ah, I see. Omar Edwards has got good opinions. We'll go with Omar Edwards. He's got a good feel. Uh, provides youth development reports. Technical director in Zabuza and loan feedback. Chief scout Mark Lobo. Miscellaneous coaching feedback. Um, I'm going to go with Nenad Vukshevich and get my staffing advice from my technical director in Zabusa. Okay. Thank you. Sweet. Scouting. Provides scouting fee. Yeah, okay, that's all set. Provides own team analysis report. Siabunga Vellane. Head performance analyst Shane Dykeman should be taking that over. Scouting opposition reports should be Mark Lobo. Mark Lobo is a much better scout than anybody else. When you scout a player, add him to shortlist for or don't shortlist. And, you scout it, and when you scout a player, watch him for two weeks. Not one match. That can take too long. Uh, transfers and contracts. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Offer via transfer room. Don't transfer list of player outgoing development loans. We want 100% of the wage with regular starter. Okay. And then media, I would like to not attend league press conferences um, or domestic cup press conferences or broadcast interviews. I'll attend new signing press conferences to talk about new players, but that's it. All right. Training emails, tactics, provides team analysis ahead of the game. Uh, can I give that to oh, Kale Coates? He's the best guy. Actually, no, it's um, Omar Edwards. He can assess the ability of the guys. And then who leads friendly matches? That would be Ninad Vukshevich. I handle the rest of the touchline stuff, though. I arrange the friendly matches, though. And set pieces, I handle it in the first team. We let the head coach of everybody else handle it for their teams. We're ready. We're ready to go. Oh, come on now. You want me to get a national A license? Are you kidding me? You need your presence at training right now? Um, OK. 
Can't stress how important I believe this to be. We're working on our National A license. I mean, the rest of our coaching staff, the the lowest member of our coaching staff is Impalonle Mkise, and he has a National A, which honestly, I'm going to try and... I'm going to try and get him on a coaching course too. It'll only take four months. So the vast majority of the season, he'll be like, he'll be cooking. He'll be cooking. Cause he's a, he's a good coach. If he starts getting licenses, but everybody else has at least a continental a, it is amazing that I managed to get this job with a national B license. That is absolutely amazing. We're just going to be trying to keep our badges up to date with what our level in the game. That's what we're trying to do. Keep our badges up to date. And we are now settled in with the Orlando Pirates. We got our backroom staff situated. And we're happy with it, which is a huge change of uh, situation from, from last time. Sully Cunietti. I don't know. I just, what, is, what does Sully want? Oh, dude, Black Leopard. No, no. I'm letting Black Leopards have him. I'm letting Black Leopards have him. I'm not getting in their way. No, I was thinking about signing him for my bench, but I got, I've got too much respect for my former club. I'm not getting in their way. All right. He's studying his continental C license, which he absolutely should have it only costs less than a thousand dollars. Um, all right. But what we will do is go to black leopards and there are, you know, Maybe a ladder two that we would love to break. Oh, dude. The purge just happened. Zulu's still here. Nasser Khamed and Ayanda Potosi I signed to try and secure the future of the club. They kept Mukamela in Swane. They brought up Gif Mogale. Uh, I don't remember him. I guess he was from the youth intake. They, yeah, but most of the guy, Cheslin's still there. Most of the guys are gone. Sonele Zulu. The unbelievable goal scoring force. 22 goals all comps last season with seven assists. I just don't know if he can take the step into Orlando Pirates territory. But what happened to the other guy? Well, uh, what was what was the other guy? Florentine Pogba would actually be a very nice addition to the team. I'm sure he's just signed a new contract with Black Leopards, though. They actually got a cut rate price for him. But he's just signed a new contract. Anytime somebody's just signed a new contract, they're not looking good. But we will send scouts to watch Florentine just to assess things, and they'll come back and say that he signed a new contract, so he can't join us. Who is the other striker? Um, who's Alucius Wagaba? Malidzi, thank you. Bugala Malidzi, he's a free agent. There he is. Hey, brother, you want to come in and trial with me? I love you. You developed a ton last season. We'd love to make you a part of the setup here. Well, you know what we could do is go to their transfer history and just see the guys that left. So Freddy Matole is free, Andizwa Nduonde, Mkwanazi, Rafik Namwera, Lepalala, Mareko, Matsuko, Ramuzia, Brighton Mentali. These are all guys that is mostly earlier. Wait, what was so like the date thing is working. It was just Freddie Matole. No, so they would have been why can't I move back? I mean, it goes back. It should be here. Why is this not, why, why is it not here? Why is like Malizzi not here? Oh, there it is. Okay. Ah, oh, thank you. 
All right. So the release was Dabong Mabena. It was, I liked him, but no. Oh, they released Makavu, the goalkeeper. Harsh. Mazeu. Makora Maloko. Oh, they released Pod CC. He's, ah, no, he, he doesn't have anywhere near the technique. Seppo Matsimbi, my right back. Lucky Indu. God, I hated Lucky Indu. Yeah, they they didn't release a lot of the the cooler guys. They just released like the squad, you know. They just released the squad. Malizzi's really the only guy they released that I think they probably shouldn't have. Advancing up a level. Ah, uh, Malizzi's got a he's got a cap, you know. Bugala Malizzi's got a cap. Sile, who's this? Bead vest, wits, and Shunshe. Yeah, no. Not with that athleticism and height. Not at the level we're at right now. Does there no off season at all? I mean, when do we start playing? Where's the calendar? Donde esta el calendar, brother? August 5th, so we are in the preseason. I need to schedule some friendlies, and yeah, they haven't announced the new calendar, but we're just going to need to arrange a few multiple friendly matches. Do that. So we can get Al Nasser come on down here and play. That'd be kind of funny. Calgary Villains. Oh, we'd actually get some good income from that. Or we could just play Richards Bay and make some money. Celta Vigo, Hitafe. We'll likely consider this too far to travel. Leipzig. Oh, I'd make some serious money from playing Leipzig. Oh, I didn't know I could make money from playing these guys. Valencia. If Valencia and Leipzig, you want to come down here? That'd be fun, dude. Little uh, little preseason. Oh, yeah, they're in. We're, I'm managing a match. That might be a speed run. I'm managing a match against a La Liga team. <laughs> I guess it's, a fr it's a friendly, but it's kind of a fair friendly. Oh, they lost to Kaiser Chiefs in the Ned Bank Cup final. That's why they fired their coach, isn't it? They lost to the Kaiser Chiefs in the Ned Bank Cup final. All right, give me, well, give me just a preseason mid and then review and then team bonding. Oh, you already have that in there. Okay, recovery, review. We always sit down and review what we've done here. All right, there you go. Um... I think we do have an open day and training tomorrow, and we're a professional team, so we can't have that. Recovery and match review. Assess our performance against Hotspurs, FC Hotspurs. And we have a big month of transfers coming up to build a championship team here. Siabonga Sulu. Yeah, Swallows are going after him. I kind of want them to. Redebe. Ooh. Kosi Kona Redebe. Polokwane City and Cape Town Spurs are both interested in Co. <sighs> I got to get used to this, but this guy is not good enough. We have better players on our team right now. Such a huge jump up in quality. I got to get my eyes used to looking at that stuff. Do the Black Leopards still like me? I don't know. So contracts expiring. Goodman, Mosele, Butelesi, Radio Bane, Lepasa. Yeah, I'll delay that all for now. Let's see how everybody's playing. Hato, Matrose, Goodman, Mosele, 
They're going to try. I'm going to try and move Goodman Maselli. You want to add a search for a striker? No, I think we got a couple of guys that can play that spot the way I want it played. All right, all right. Ooh, I don't know. Could be. Oh, but he's he's just he's such an athlete, man. We're signing him to play right wing. In case you're worried that I haven't seen his defense, we are not signing him to play right back. We are signing him to play right wing. I just think I can really weaponize somebody with that kind of speed. James Holt, thank you for the tier one, man. I appreciate it. Your defense, defense is cringe anyways. This guy is a bullet out there. He can move. Dapello, Marina. He, uh, he's got good stamina too, so it's... He's not gonna burn out. He can he can go a nine he can go a ninety minute match and pry and get good pace. He was playing for Mamelody Sundowns for the last eight years. Who made the critical mistake of not teaching this guy to knock the ball past opponents? Because that, that's, that's my question. All right. I'm feeling maybe a back five here, but I, I think we say yes. He wants important player, which could get dicey. But I think as a guy that can play on the left and right wing and also play as a fullback when we're playing against bad teams, like... I think there there is a role in this team for somebody that can take players on like that, and I'm really happy to get him into the team. And we're just going to have him go into practice as a winger and just working on his offense, adding to his offensive game. But delay Sean. Oh, Sean, do you're going to no? Well, Sean, do not going to play. Sean, do thinks he's going to play, but he's not. Uh, I don't. Okay, Lorch, never mind, man. Jeez, dude, I just asked you to solve the FM problem. 24 in full swing. Bring on the Zermi man. Oh, attacking fullback Bandile Shandu. I can understand how you'd be looking at this like, yes, that guy's going to take my position because he is. But I was never going to use you anyways, so that's not the point. I appreciate your concerns, but when players of a certain caliber become available, I have to do everything in my power to bring them to this club. Uh, I'm attempting to overhaul the squad and take it in a different tactical direction. I mean, that's obviously true. Rimstar, thank you for the 33 months, by the way. You're awesome. I appreciate it. Thanks for supporting the stream and enjoy your time in the subscribers section of the Discord. <gasps> I am attempting to overhaul the squad and taking a different tactical direction. I what, what is his level-headed balance? All right, level-headed media handling style means there's probably a little more professionalism there. Okay, he feels like he has to leave it, so he's worried, but I have no promises, and now we do have an incoming mutiny where most people agree. So I should have seen that coming, that we were going to get hit with an incoming mutiny. It's immediately torpedoed our truly tremendous club atmosphere. So I have already had enough of Bandile Shandu. And, uh, you know, if uh, what, are, what are your thoughts? You'd be very interested in speaking to other clubs? All right. Well, I, I am not here for uh, I'm not here for this. So if you if you can find a move, then we'll do that. Because if you're concerned, this guy coming in is five times more explosive than you. So I'm gonna make that work. Oh, we're signing a reserves goalkeeping coach. I was like, what's going on here? I didn't okay this. All righty. The 
The more people leave, the more I can remake the squad in my own image. So this is my dream. Just sack him now. I mean, he's very interested in moving to other clubs, and I don't, I, I don't see him having a big role with us this year. So I'm more than happy to move him along. Yeah, this just didn't pop up. We meet expectations. Oh, uh, we won ten to one. Okay, why were we? Why did you schedule that team? Ah, uh, finally. We've hit the point where we'll get our new schedule and our new season is here. Even though we're already in the preseason and have been. Quarterfinal of the Ned Bank, first round of the Telecom knockout. What is... Oh, that's just like the top flight thing. Top four league positions, got it. And quarterfinal. Yeah, dude, I mean... We're not really promising a lot more money, so we'll leave it. Our expectations are intact. Squad selection rules, stunningly lenient outside of our foreign player limit. No age things, nothing. Brainiac, thank you for the four months, dude. This is like a road trip song. It is. It's kind of jamming. Uh, why? Oh, my goodness, man. Our first match is Black Leopards. Yep. Yeah. Our first match of the season is Black Leopards. Literally first match of the season. At the uh, Orlando Pirates Stadium. Oh, that is wild. That is insane that our first match is Black Leopards. It's probably going to be bad. I'm going to feel so bad. I am going to feel so bad. It's probably going to be like a murder. You know, I'm just going to be sitting there like, um, look, guys, we have 10 times the money that you have. Like, this is the reason I moved to this club. I wish them the absolute best. Uh, do we want a bigger field or a smaller field? Um, I'm thinking average size field is fine because we are going to want to press teams off. The data hub is here. Oh, yeah. Uh, what I didn't fail anything. Reach the latter stages of the chip. What? I'm not in that. Ref, all right, referee. Seriously, man. Really? Really, dude? Yeah, I, I think it was just a glitch inbox message because it says they're reserving judgment, but I don't know, like it literally just bled over from the last coach into the new season. So the end of the current season, they want um, me to reach the latter stages of the Champions League, which I will fail because I'm not in the Champions League this year. Because it ended in May, and I lost in the first, or the, 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 sorry, the club lost in the first round. That match was, okay, well, you can't see any of it, but it says we lost in the first round. That round. Orlando Pirates lose to Remo Stars of Nigeria 1-0 on aggregate. Terrible loss. Totally get why this guy was fired. And what happened to those guys? Remo Stars, did they? Oh my goodness, they made the knockouts. What a run by this random Nigerian team I've never heard of. Remo Stars got all the way to the knockouts and lost 7-3 to Tunis in the knockout. Shout out to them, man. Maybe that loss wasn't as bad as they think, but whatever. Uh, hi. Negative atmosphere. What does it mean to sign Morena? Oh, I'm very happy. He's a quality player. Um, he's got everything I want 
player to build. I'm confident he'll deliver in big matches. I hope he can make a big contribution. Um, we brought in a good player that'll only affect the squad positively, allegedly. What's his best spot? I think we're going to be playing him at right wing. He'll mainly play there, but he's got other options. Does deal leave you too many options at right back? Um, uh, you know, I, I think it, it's all about getting good players into the team. Will he go down into history like the other great players? Sky's the limit for him. He's got a ton of experience, and he's still a freak athlete, man. Uh, good players are always able to adapt. I think he'll be able to settle in with our players just fine. Um, yeah, uh, th th that's what I think. All right, let me go to the transfer list. and We do have Bandile Shandu on it. Uh, so he is attracting interest from Al Riyadh. Now, if why is Al Riyadh around here? I don't know. But if he's down, if they're down, I'm down. Dean Hotto. All right, Hotto's looking at moves. We're about to hit the scouting super hard, and we've got some good trials going on right now. Salary raises kicking in. Well, that's not going to eat into too much. No, it was like 200000 Those are low salary raises. There's our last recruitment analyst, and now our staff is fully in place. Let's set our coaches for training. All right, I'm better. I'm, like, not as trash as I was. Uh, this guy is handling both. He's our only fitness coach. I'm placing cones for him to try and take the load off in the preseason. I uh, definitely don't want reserves coaches being guys that are, are leading things. Now, why are you such a good goalkeeping coach? My God. Oh, that wait, sorry. My reserves coach is a decent goalkeeping coach, but our goalkeeping coach is handling both of those things. Anybody have good fitness? Um, defending tactical McKise is that guy he is trying to handle our defending I'm helping out I'm helping out on the defending do we have any reserves coach that has any defensive coaching ability at all this guy kind of does oh yes he's a three star alrighty that works for me man Hey, can you help uh, place cones for the fitness? Thank you. Andy, uh, Andy Herman, this is what he's here to do is he can coach anything. Um, the next coach, Omar Edwards, is doing what he's supposed to be doing. Assistant coach Vukshevich, doing what he's supposed to be doing. Christopher Dawes. All right, he's able to be a tactical possession coach. That works. Um, we do need somebody to help cover that, so I'm going to have you help place the cones there, boss man. And we've got an under-19s coach who's, like, actually good, which is wild. So you just, you, you just take a load off all those spots. Then we've got three-star and average across the board except for set pieces. Um, who's got good set piece coaching? Who do we need to isolate over here? Nobody. Well, I wasn't allowed to bring in a set piece coach. So it's this freaking guy, of course. The decent set piece coach. I'll just take a two star set piece coach and have him reduce the intensity on those two spots. Wow. We're three star at everything but set pieces and average with a pretty small coaching staff. That's that's well done. That is pretty well done. All right, Innocent, Myla, and Richard Afori are supportive of me. What are you going to do to give uh, uh, Bendile Shandu the assurances he wants about his playing time? Great, little little squad mutiny, just figuring that out. Uh, let's not risk ruining a positive atmosphere around the club. Forget about it and focus on the ball. I'm confident that I have the backing of the majority of the squad. I don't. Uh, is there an I'm going to sell him option? There's not. So.
I'd be lying. He'd get those. He'd get those if he deserves them. I'd be lying if I did what you're asking. I, I like that. How bad's red adaptability? I mean, it's a pretty significant problem. Think Luis Fonseca with um, Taunton in his first year there. Think anybody Chelsea signs for their first year. Good to have it all sorted out, boys. Thank you. Really nice to have that sorted out. I appreciate it. We're going to sell the guy, and then you'll forget about this. The promise was to have a word with him, but honestly, my solution is to get rid of him. I don't really see him as a part of my plans anyways. He's a regular starter, so I really don't want to go around promising that sort of playing time. Very happy with the way we were, our staff has come together. I think we've got good opinions on most things. We're as good as we're going to be able to get. We've got a good training environment to keep the guys sharp. Scouting department kind of sucks, but at least we have a really good chief scout who can vet. There is an issue with our depth at center back, which we are going to attempt to rectify. Oh, oh, yes. Oh, yes. Bandile Shandu problem solved. F 250,000, I think 450. Al Riyadh's like, dude, we can spend however much money we want. <laughs> nice. What is be the coach? What is this? The be the coach challenge? What is this? Just a game against Kaiser Chiefs? Sure, I'm in. Any opportunity to beat our hated rival, I'm in. I am all in. Sabia? No, he's the explosive uh, wing guy. I got no reason to sell him. We have no financial pressure to sell at all. Bandile Shandu to Al Riyadh for 450000 though? That's a move that will save my early locker room trouble. Ah, oh, Sabisi. Not my center backs, please. Lose the cup, I retire. Maybe. A fan is the manager of that game, IRL. I volunteer his tribute. That's uh, that is a wild idea. I'd like to state the availability of my client, Antonio Van Wick of Stellenbosch. Okay. Mohamed Husseini. Well, I like the determination on a fullback like that. That's pretty sweet. Um, well, my offer trial's two months, right? I already set that. That doesn't change when we move. Offer trial, two weeks. Scout player, one week. Keep scouting, full knowledge. Yeah, okay. Is it set? Did it change because I didn't click some sort of confirm? No. Okay. So I can just click offer trial, which is not here because I've already done it. Okay. Grant Marjaman of Supersport United. Now that is the type of player that I would love to have on my team. And he matches our recruitment focus. The recruitment focus ballers. What an athletic midfielder. All right, you're going into the good category. We're rebuilding our shortlist. Bungani Zungu of Mamelodi Sundowns. Another egg. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. Look at all those chickens. That dude is sick. Who wants him? Some dude in Romania? Well, I'm a dude in South Africa. I think he's very good. A lot of green circles. Yeah, it is. Consistent. Kind of likes big matches. Screamer Shabalala is the guy providing the opinion, though. And we don't, you know, we love his name, but I don't know if we trust his opinion. 
He often screams it too loudly. It's a little overwhelming. A Danish team's trying to... Oh, Sipo and Boule has 18 acceleration. But really, that five work rate and hating big matches like literally kills it for me. He doesn't have the work rate to be reliable enough for me to be like, yes, I want that guy. Oh, and inside forward off the right. Perfect. Tabiso Kudumela. Instantly onto our good list. Dude, great recommendations by my staff. Kamohelo Mokotjo of Sekuhune United. Are they in the top flight? Yeah, they are. They finished seventh last year, so I'll get familiar with them. It's a pretty cheap option. Uh, very smart. How late are we going? I don't know. I am hungry, though. I have to do some about that soon. Kanyisa Mayo. Oh, he hates big matches. That's going to start to matter because there is a very raucous environment around a lot of the matches that we're going to be playing. So, unfortunately, I don't think I can do that. Dude, who cares if his first touch sucks? This dude's got an hour to take it because nobody's near him. Like, I... Sorry. You don't find athletes like this in a league like this. You don't. You, you, you don't. He needs shoots with power. He doesn't have it. Because that would get rid of the composure problem. But he... I mean... You, like, you don't. And when you do, they're like the guy we just signed. When you do find athletes like this, they're like the guy we just signed, where they don't really do anything else, right? Like, when you find them, they are like Tapella Morena, where they don't really do anything else. You know, maybe they got some dribbling, maybe they got some flair, but they're just fat. This dude's faster. He's faster than that, and he's, like, actually got talent. He has some serious technical ability, the first touch and composure, and he is an idiot. He is a self-admitted idiot. I mean, the anticipation that, it, that, that I'm starting to understand how he's even here, but to have that speed with the rest of that athleticism and the technical ability and the work rate and the stamina and this guy pressing forward, pressing forward, a maniacal pressing forward. Like a just a terrifying, pulverizing pressing forward. Not even that expensive. What do you want playing time wise? Is what I'm curious in. Uh, tried to get more demands. They said you're going to have to make an appropriate offer in the dark uh, for Ikram. Rainers, wow, that is an amazing athlete. Kama Biliat. I don't know if I'm as amazed by Kama Biliat, although he can pass the hell out of a ball. Now, Abubakar Mabara. Oh, it's the center back. Oh, but he's got eight decisions and concentration and determination, and I just don't like it. I mean, he's good technically, can totally play fullback, no problem, but we've got plenty of those. He's going on the loans list. Good player, but we're not sold. Induzu Sabia. Ooh. Oh, he's an outsided left guy. Ah, loans. On to the loans list. No data. Oh, look at the stamina work rate. Oh, ho, ho, ho. God, he's so bad technically. Everybody's always got to have a problem. You know the real success of this guy's life? He's 5'4", and his jumping reach is 6".
Dude gets up. He actually gets up. He's 5'4", but he has six jumping reach. This dude, this dude can get off the ground and make an impact, and he never stops running. And it is really wonderful to have a player that never stops running. And this is a very high level of... This is Premier League... He's like N'Golo Conte without the technical ability. Like, seriously. This is... N'Golo Conte obviously had the 20 work rate, 20 stamina thing going, but... This is Premier League level space eating midfielder in the base attributes like stamina, work rate, and having some speed as well. He's very fast. It, it, there's no getting by Tabo Nodata. And uh, he's not going to score a bunch of sexy goals or anything, but. Oh, wow. Recommended signing from Patrick Solomon, my recruitment analyst, is a goalkeeper from Colo Colo who is very good relative to my other goalkeepers, but he hates big matches. Sorry. Tertius Malepe. That's a recommended signing from Patrick Solomon. And I don't know if I like Tertius Malepe. He has one technical attribute over 10. That's not doing it for me. Although I, I, I very quickly, I feel like I've gotten control of this situation. And there are, we're not the only team looking at Ikram Rainers like dude. Have you seen him run? All right, I'll make an offer. I'm going to feel out Ikram Rainers. We don't know if we're going to go through with it, but I will make an offer. Minimum league goals, 45.5K. Oh, come on. $75,000. I have like 2 point something million in my transfer budget. 80000 You know what we should do? We should go through, like, Europe for guys that aren't at a club. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go to, like, the U.S. I'm be on a team that doesn't have a club. You're looking for somebody that has zero value. You know they're not, the, they're not on a team. Mexico. Uh, we'd probably go through like most of Europe and anybody that's not on a team would be like, all right, Hector Moreno's retiring, whatever. What is the lowest team like Ireland? I mean, you had Shane Long, but if there's like an, oh, we go to both. We'll go to both. Ireland. Eh. Like Moldova, maybe. I like a. I think they had an old center back for a while. Oh yeah, there you go. Yon Shobanu. He's got an offer from Milsami Orhai in the Moldovan Super League. He's an 18 year old in the national team, and they've got a goalkeeper as well, Dorian Raylian. Okay, this is what we should be doing right here. That's what we should be doing. Oh my goodness, I'm not. I'm just trying to click off the thing. Okay, Kazakhstan? Oh, I do have a guy. Yerik Bulin Tugshbaev. Yerik Bulin Tugshbaev. Think he's good enough? Who knows, man? Uh, Slovenia. Dude's wanted by Rosenberg. He definitely wouldn't want to come here. We got to find, like, ooh, 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 Marcel Ratnik. I'm sending a scout. Marcel Ratnik's a wonder kid. I know Marcel Ratnik. I watch Zeeland's wonder kid videos. I know him. Finland, good shout. Good shout. Ah, uh, it's a good guess, though. Frederick Jensen of Augsburg. Uh, you, you know, I don't think he would want to leave, but you never know. We're going to send a scout from Orlando because we have the opportunity. We have, like, money where we can actually, like, go get someone. Like, we can go get a guy. 
and a real rapscallion, you know, like Marcus Holmgren Pedersen. Like we can go get a guy. Now the the one position we wouldn't want that guy to be playing is right back. <laughs> Eintracht Frankfurt's Jens Peter Hauga, yeah. Iceland? Or is Dean Oscarson? He's at Copenhagen. I mean, he's also 19. It's be super hard to convince a young guy that Manchester City is interested in. Elias Rafan Olofsson, good goalkeeper. Had him in another save before. Arner Sigurdsson. It's a Blackburn. Porter Magnuson. Yeah, that'd be fun. Is it Pauk? I feel like that's a team we might be able to strong. I don't know if we can pay that wage, though. I don't know if we can get, like, 700000 as a wage. Bosnia and Herzegovina. That's, I think, honestly, the Balkans is probably where we're going to need to go. That's, my, uh, that's where it feels like there's guys that can, like, Begovic, dude. Asmir Begovic just comes flying in. And, and um... Hi. Like a striker, Riyad Bajic. Where are you? You're in Turkey? God, he's so good, isn't he? This guy's so good. He's stupidly good. We swoop in and somehow cook up like a transfer offer for a guy that just is doesn't belong in the South African League. Akhmadozic is only 24 million. Um, Albania and Hungary are a bit higher level right now. That would be tough. There is this 32-year-old center back. They have a striker, a guy that just started at striker for them. It plays at Mets, but his wage is low. We'll, we'll, we'll fly a scout out there. We got all the money we need to do that sort of thing. Um, Dermaku, oh my God. Oh, he's already got a move deal. Uh, deal done. So is it Hungary? Maybe I'm overestimating them. That was, I would have said Albania was probably less likely to give us somebody good. Center back, dude, we're not getting bought on the ballo. Sneak in for Willy Orban. Um... Kosovo is actually a really good shout. Kosovo is a really good shout. That's a national team that somebody without a job could sneak into for sure. Somebody that just got released. Kind of the level we're looking for. Somebody that plays regularly for a team like that, you know. <laughs> Donis Avdija. Yeah, totally. There's Mile Becca. Right wing Patriot Sedu, who plays for Malmo, which is super approachable for us. He's got interest from Zolt of Aragum and uh, yeah, the people who are looking to loan him. Valon Barisha. Like I've also heard of Valon Barisha. He, he's at Middlesbrough. That would be why I've heard of him. So his wage is dumb high. Anyone? The African teams may have better options. Trust me, we're looking. We're looking. Greece. Most of these guys would be in the Greek league anyways. Might be a league. There it is. There it is. Found one. Available for free transfer. Marios Vruzai. Ten caps for Greece. Recently at Olympiakos. That's the sort of guy we're looking for. And then we give him a call. And we say, hey, man. I know this isn't like the first thing that popped into your mind. But we've got an opportunity. Cyprus. Another good place. We'll go there. Uh, no free agents. Amazingly, no free agents. So there's a starting center back for them. Stelius Andreu. Oh, he plays at uh, Charleroi. Who's interested in him? Young boys. Sus. 
Azerbaijan is another good shout. Oh, yeah, there's one. There's three. Eddie Silvestri, Elvin, whatever that is, and Rahil Mamadov. I need to learn how to say that name if that guy's going to potentially play for us. But three Aziri national team players available for a trial in South Africa. Pick up the phone. China? Bro, that is tough. North Macedonia. Respect to their efforts today. Drawing England. And two. There we go. Tosevsky and Avramovsky. I don't expect all of these trial offers to be accepted. I do, however, expect to sign 7,000 good players. Um, Serbia and Bulgaria are both good. Uh, oh, there's one. Matija Nastasic. Oh, my goodness gracious. If we can get Matija Nastasic in the team. This dude was just at Mallorca for two years. I mean, holy Toledo. Um, Bulgaria, definitely one I should go to. A lot of Player of the Year awards. There is one. Georgi Terziev. Uh, he looks like he's going to Seska Moscow, but we'll throw the line to him if he's not going to accept that Seska Moscow offer. Although we'd be threading a needle if he's not, like, I don't, but I don't know. I don't know. Slovakia. Go to Central Europe. No, Czechia. Pretty big Tom's head. And... All right. Montenegro. I have a Montenegrin member of my staff. It would actually help the adaptability question a lot. Latkovic is a starting player for the Montenegrin national team. And he's playing for Rudish. That might be worth a throw. He just started the last match. And Vukotic also going to be worth a throw at Charleroi. Be a big signing, but Romania. Probably be on the more expensive side. Nobody. But they do have Andre Borza. No way we could sign him, but. Luxembourg. Oh, two. Tim Hall and Yuan Shikanovich. Oh. Uh, Sweden's definitely too high. Already looked at Slovakia. Boa Vista, not Charleroi. Oh, they have very similar looking badges then. Which I, they do. Latvia and Estonia. You guys want me to go to the Baltic for a little while now? We'll go take a peek. Problem is, I don't think these national... I'm, I'm being serious when I say this, but I don't think these national teams are good enough for me to be like, yeah, I think this is worth it, scouting these guys. But Estonia's got four guys. Who knows? Estonia's got four guys that are not under contract at any club, so there, there's no reason not to take a look. Belarus? I mean, I know they've got a bunch of weird stuff going on when it comes to the game mechanics, but oh my goodness, Ilya Shkurin's here. I actually know who that is. I've definitely messed around with Ilya Shkurin in a previous save. We'll throw we'll throw we'll throw him a line. We'll throw him a line. We'll we'll give him a call. Um Croatia's definitely too high. Have we looked at Slovenia? I don't think we have. I think that was actually one of the word, the first teams we looked at, but whatever. Um, Armenia? I'd be right on the line. I'm like, oh, well, there's two guys. Oh, Henrik! Oh, Henrik, please. Oh, dear God, Henrik. 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 Henrik, dear Lord, man. Henrik. Henrik of Katarian, please. This is the opportunity you've been holding out for, Henrik. It's the opportunity you've always been holding out for, Henrik. All right. We have fished with dynamite around Europe's lower to mid-level teams. We have also begun negotiations with Ikram Rainers. Are you serious? Are you serious? I can't do that. Is there any way you could accept this? 
as a regular starter. He said, you got to feel you're not close enough, so I'm going to have to insist we reach a deal. Um, really need to make an effort to improve what's on the table at the moment. All right, I will up your playing time next year. I will assign you as our penalty taker, which is fine for me. I didn't want to give them that much playing time. That, uh, that was a ton of playing time. We'll see. They might come back to the table. We'll see. All right, so Kibanu said yes. Eddie Silvestre said yes. Matia Nastasia said no. Can we just negotiate? Under any... So define any circumstances. Like, you're not willing to negotiate under any circumstances or, like, any circumstances at all. Okay. Rahil Memedov said yes. Yurkabulin Tungishbaev said yes. Henrik. Look, man. Look, dude. Dude. Look. Henrik. Henrik, man. Seriously. I think we could do something awesome. And if you get sad enough, I want you to give me a call. Like, if nobody else comes calling, there is a starting spot here for you. There is. You would be a feature star player in a league that draws a lot of uh, a lot of a lot of viewers, right? Like you'd be playing Champions League ball hopefully next year. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Champions League ball next year. If we produce the right results, I'm looking at Champions League ball. Oh, Eddie Silvestre is pretty good. This dude's from Azerbaijan. I know you wouldn't guess it, but I've run into this guy before and marveled at the fact that his name is Eddie Silvestre. Raheel Memedov's okay. Yurkabulin Tungib... How did this team nearly make it to the freaking Euros? This guy's not even good enough for me to keep looking at. Arsene Beglarian, Dorian Rylean. Sorry, I know you just flew all the way out here, but also not interested. Don't want to make it off. Uh, you know, I don't want to make it awkward. I don't. But I am going to make it awkward. Um, you're not good enough. Tim Hall. Oh, yes. Elia Shkura. Look at the jumping reach. Oh, look at the jumping reach, Chad. And the strength. Oh, he's a hog molly. We're going to bring a Belarusian hog molly into the, uh, the South African League. I the I I know Ilya Shkurin. This is you know I I'm put myself in the game. I know Ilya Shkurin. I know he can make it happen. And look at Mohammed Husseini from Tanzania's national team. What a blessing that would be out of nowhere. It's weirdly strong. All right, you know, lady, your interest in Rainers has now become public knowledge. I'm not talking transfer stories. That is where we're gonna leave it. That is where we're gonna leave it. But don't worry, we will be right here tomorrow to see if we can bring some of these beasts in like Elia Shkaran. Just got to make sure he's good, and then we'll be interested in making that signing. But we are going to raid somebody. Stick around for that. Thank you so much for uh, being a part of the stream. Thank you, everybody that subscribed. Bullen, thank you for the six months. Adam, thank you for the prime. Brainiac, thank you for the four months. Felix, thank you for the four months. Uh, and we had big batches of gifted subs earlier. Appreciate you guys making people's days and supporting the channel and allowing me to do this as a living. It, it's beyond me, and I really appreciate it. Uh, that being said, let's find somebody to raid. Love you guys. Fist bump. Boop. I'll see you tomorrow. We'll be back. Oh, dude, we're so back. Football manisha. Um... All right. So we we found um, somebody we haven't raided, perhaps. Trying to make somebody's day. We got to get a copy pasta together, so I'm counting on you guys to figure that out. Down. Do 
All right, this dude's got 32 followers. He's doing a Bulgarian build a nation. So he's, you know, he's he's in the mold, right? He's one of those guys that's like, I'm thinking outside the box. He's doing a network game, Bulgarian build a nation, from what I can tell from the title here. Looks like we got our copy pasta ready. I'm going to let Karen, a football manager, save about to close it out. My beautiful wife. <laughs> Thank you, Ninja, for one of the greatest copy pastas of all time. All right. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a good one. Orlando Pirates, baby. Orlando Pirates! All right, word of the day. Word of the day, laissez-faire. L-A-I-S-S-E-Z-F-A-I-R-E. Laissez-faire. Well, I am definitely say laissez-faire, and that's probably an American accent thing. Anyways, laissez-faire refers to an economic policy or doctrine that allows businesses to operate with very little interference from the government. Laissez-faire is also used as an adjective, as in laissez-faire capitalism, or laissez-faire. Les How does she say it? Laissez-faire capitalism, and often figuratively used to mean hands-off, as in she took a laissez-faire approach to managing her employees. The newly announced candidate is a strong advocate of laissez-faire. Apparently, I mean, it's a word of the day. I got to be learning here.